Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Oh, there he is. Buddy, mute yourself. Yo. What? No, I'm not gonna mute me. No, oh boy. Silence. you can't oh tell us the truth. Barb, we're live. Get him. Get him. Get him. What's up, everybody? Thanks oh, for coming out. It's another Symbiote Comic Book Club auction. I know you're like, dang, man, we thought you were gone forever. You and your crappy internet and your poor excuses for not showing up to sell comics on your own channel. Well, tonight, we're going to make up for it. Tonight's the night. We're going to blow minds. No tape on nipples, but we're going to blow minds. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we could show some tape on nipples, but I was going to hold off. <laughs> Isn't that for Wednesdays? Yeah, you know, I, I, I caused way too many breakups that night, you know. No. no. Um, and you can never do wrong in my eyes. No. <laughs> really? You know it, man. <laughs> All right, so shout out. We got 13 people up in here right now. Let me go through it real quick. I'm going to mm -hmm. introduce all the sellers for tonight's sale. Tonight's sale is going to be a little bit different. We're going to go until the freaking cows come up, man. We, got, we ain't got no restrictions. We got full car blanche to run until the sun comes up. So y'all strap in. Get ready. It's going to be a long one. Right now, strap. got me. And five other folks in here, and we got other folks coming in that are going to be in here in a little while. So, anything goes tonight bin sales, freaking auctions, buy it nows. It's up to the seller, they're going to do what they want. But oh, excuse me, that was horrible. But first off, uh, I'm going to introduce all my sellers, then we'll run through all these stupid rules, and then we'll get this show on the road. So, first guy I got up over here is Gamers Land. What's up, man? What is happening, everyone? It's nice to see you back, man. Yep. I was one. I was one of those people that thought I'd never see you again. No, I would never just abandon everybody. <laughs> That's not me. Uh, no, but yeah, man. Thanks everyone for coming out, man. Hopefully, have a good, fun night, and um, you guys see some books that you're gonna like. That's the plan. It's always the plan. All right. So next up, y'all's favorite train wreck. It's Peter Parker Comics. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm not prepared. I, I gotta get my mask on. I see that I with my the utmost. My COVID my I used COVID. to have a dog named Trainwreck, and I love that dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. I dug. I let Barbarian out of the basement, so. He's retained his hosting duties for now. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, but yeah, glad to be back. Thanks for having me. Um, so make sure you sub up the panel, and or don't. Whatever. I'm not your mom. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Let's have some fun. Buy some books. Let's look at books. Maybe we'll read some books. I don't know. Who does that anymore? But hey, yeah, uh, cool. He might show up. You never know. All right, so next up, we got everybody's favorite seller. Y'all know him. Y'all love him. It's Shelby. Oh, give me a second. I'm trying to find the stream yard. There we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? Call your mom. Call your girlfriend. Tell them you're going to be late for dinner. Uh, tell your mom not to come in the room. You got the door locked, and you promise you're not masturbating. You're just trying to buy some comic books, okay? It's going to be a late night. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we are here for you. Yes, yes. Now, I can't make all those promises, but yeah, we are definitely here for you. Yeah, I'm only <laughs> we'll, here for about an hour, so they don't leave. You will get wet. You can make that better. promise. You, you will might. get wet. Yeah, well. <laughs> don't spit in the splash zone. You're Zelda on tonight. I think this is Zelda. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. All right, so next up, we got the YouTube power couple. Slanging books, yep. making deals. It's the Cleavers. So what's up, y'all? Hello. Hello. Hope everybody's doing great tonight. Thanks, Foo, for hosting and letting us come on. 
the great panel we have. And if you're looking for something, drop it in the chat. Y'all let us know if there's something you want in particular or you're just expecting awesomeness, which you'll get. Don't make me throw out a Turok, number one. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. You got a signed gold Turok. We might have to talk. Okay, now I might not have gold, but I do have red. <laughs> right on. Well, let's move on over to the coolest cat in comics. We got Cat60 in the house. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing, man? Sweet. Doing That's great. Good. I'm ready. I took a whole yeah, week off, ready to rock it. It seems like I've been sitting here looking into the same freaking camera for like a week straight. <laughs> so I'm, I'm running out of books, but I still got stuff. I got stuff. That's so good. I'll, I'll see if I could turn my stuff into your stuff. Ooh. And then some of their stuff into your stuff, too, because that's kind yeah. of the trade-off. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Digital you know, currency I, for paper comics. For they just keep going in circles. That's right. For, for paper. Awesome. <laughs> right on. Shelby, Shelby, you made it sound like you're here for me, man. That was just so touching. That Oh, I'm always here for you. Here, here. <laughs> and then he cried one tear. That's right. Yeah, you always touch me in that special place that we only discuss. Hey, <laughs> I wish I could quit you. <laughs> Can't quit you, man. I love All right, you, man. Yeah, so let's uh, we'll go through these rules real quick. They're real simple. You got to be eighteen to buy. So don't bid or claim if you're not eighteen, because I'm not responsible right. for you doing bad stuff. So don't put me in that position. Uh, yeah. As far as payment goes, everything you bid on or buy, you will be expected to pay for. And we can take all kinds of different stuff. Like you can see me down here. I got the, the cash app and I got the email from my PayPal. Some folks take other stuff. Uh, if you're going to pay PayPal, please pay friends and family and no notes. You don't need to write anything in the notes. Just pay it and then hit us up on Instagram. We all have Instagrams and for the most part, they're all the same as as like our YouTube name. So it's really easy to find any of us. And uh, we're all mods, so we can just drop our information in there if you need it. Um, but yeah, if you want to pay goods and services because we look nefarious and you don't want to trust us, that's fine. Um, just let us know ahead of time. And then we can send you an invoice. And then all the fees and everything are already combined in it. So that way, you know, we're already trying to give all these deals and make stuff as cheap as we can. It, it makes a big difference when we got to take another, you know, five bucks out of a sale to pay a fee. So it's fine. Just let us know ahead of time and we'll send you an invoice for the goods and services. Um, but yeah, friends and family, if you can, no notes ever. Never. The notes shouldn't, you don't even think they're there anymore. They're gone. Vamanos. Mm. Um, so. Except for some of as far as shipping goes, uh, everything we ship out, it's its a standard flat rate for shipping. It's one to 10 books, nine bucks, 11 books up to like 45 books, 15 bucks. If uh, a seller does something different, they'll let you know. That's just the standard. That's what you should expect to pay something either that or close to it. It's its Everybody knows that. It's standard. It's this, that's just what it is. Um, uh but everything will come, you know, priority mail. You're going to get tracking. You're going to get insurance. If you want to add extra insurance onto something, say you buy something that costs you a grand, you're going to need to let the seller know before you pay, hey, I want to add extra insurance onto it because that does cost more. And that's going to have to come into the figuring of how much the, the shipping costs. So that's all stuff you need to work out with your seller. Communication is a key factor here. Um, but uh, I think other than that, we do have a couple giveaways, same giveaways I always have. So I have this uh, same ASM 252 slab. Where's that thing at? It's, uh, oh, I found it. Let me click my camera so you can see it. This is uh, ASM 252. It's a 7.0. It's the Toy Biz variant reprint, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is going to be given away if we get up to 100, either thumbs up or thumbs down. doesn't matter if it's one or the other, just as long as they add up to 100. 
Been doing that forever. Uh, let's see. What other giveaway? I'm going to do another giveaway. This is going to be a little bit different because normally I just say anybody that buys from anybody will get entered in on it. But I'm going to do this one a little different. So anybody that buys from anybody and spends at least $50. You got to spend at least $50, which you're going to do anyway. But anybody that does that will get put on the wheel and be eligible to win this 9.8. Ooh. This is uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number one. It is the shop exclusive for Rogue's Gallery Comics. Oh. 9.8 white pages. Oh, so all you got to do, it doesn't matter who you buy with. You can buy with anybody, anybody on the, the whole panel. You spend 50 bucks with them, you're going to get your name on the wheel. Oh. And at the end of the show, you don't have to be here. You can, you can spend 50 bucks with the first person and then leave. If you win, we'll get in touch with you. But you'll be eligible to win that. I might have spent money. So there's two that. slabs that can be given away. I love some Sabrina. Um, what else do I have? I didn't. Oh, here I'll do this. So anybody that buys from anybody, I don't have a comic to give away. I usually do. Anybody that buys from anybody is going to get put on the wheel and can win this Moon Knight Marvel Legends. Oh. Apparently, this is popular. People like that. It was hard to find. That is freaking cool. So, yeah, I found it at at Walgreens. Apparently, it's exclusive to there. I found one. I didn't pay much for it. So, yeah, if anybody buys from anybody, you're going to get put on the wheel, and you can win that. Here, I'll leave that sit there. <laughs> you're not supposed to tell people it's cheap. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't make a difference. It's going to be free for them. Uh -huh. Give them the illusion. Oh, yeah, this is the most amazing, expensive toy ever. See? Now they want to, now they're going to come in here and throw money around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, so anyway, get their cheap button. Y'all share the video, get more people in here, get them to hit the thumbs up button. I have this feeling that tonight is the night that we get to 100 thumbs down, and I can't wait for that to happen. I'm so excited. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. If anybody else has giveaways, they'll let you know. Um, and if y'all could try and help me keep track, because I'm not going to keep track of who bought from you and what they spent. So if you can try and keep track of that. So at the end, we'll know who's on the wheel for the $50 slab. Uh, that would be awesome. I didn't tell anybody about that until just now. <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> But anyway, that's going to be it. The only other rule I got, it is the most important rule, and it's the rule that every one of y'all should live by, is have fun. You know, be positive. Get in here. Joke around. Freaking tell dick and fart jokes if you feel like it. Uh, like we said, if there's something in particular you're hunting for, you want freaking Claremont running right. X-Men, you right. want ASM from the 100s to the 400s. If you have specific things that you've been hunting for, let us know in the chat, man. Let us know what you're looking for. Even if it's just I want reflection covers because I want to compete with Steven Spock. Let us know in the chat. That way we can put up stuff that you might want, man. That way you're not staring here at shit that you don't care about and you're just bored. And next thing you know, you don't hit the thumbs up and then no one gets a free slap. You do have to be present at the end of the show, though, to get the, the for free thumbs up slab because that's completely participation based. Uh, so anyway, on that uh, note, on that note, so let's real quick. There was who all Keith and Keith Lackey. Hello. Need more comics. Mr. Unknown Comic Guy. Cyborg Dad. Uh, Michael. I'm, I don't know. your. I can't pronounce your last name. Uh, Max also ben and Benavenante. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's Michael good. B. <laughs> that's Michael B. <laughs> Max Comics. What's up? Flash <laughs> by night. Uh, smiling Tori. That's my daughter's name, Tori, not smiling because that'd be weird. <laughs> um, Southern Comic Geek, Gomez Comic Collector, Jerome, HAQ. That's it. That's hack. Welcome. Oh, yeah. I always forget. I always tell myself I need to shout out the chat before I start, but I always forget to. It's because I say so much beforehand. I think people are just annoyed with my voice. But yeah, shout out to everybody in there in the chat. I see Outcast Raptors in the house. What's up, man? He's one of my symbiote brothers. I don't see him out here very often. So thanks for coming out and hanging out with us. 
Ah. All kinds of folks in here. Steven Spox in yeah. here. Brandon B. What the deuce? What's up? Uh, drum. Actually, uh, Wolverine filler comics. Uh, hey, Cat, do you still have that run of Wolverine? Um, you were trying to sell. Jerome's looking for issues 21 through 30 and issue eight. And I know you just bought a big. I run. just I just sold eight, but I think I think I actually have those. What what issues? 21 20 through 30. I think I have this a lot coming up. Okay, cool. All right, we're already uh, making um making art. dreams come true. There you go. <laughs> Right on. Can come true. Can well, what the heck happened to CLG? He's got the longest name in the world now. CLG hashtag out of retirement for 2021. What's up, man? That's a mouthful. I'm never gonna say that whole thing again. <laughs> so first up, we got we got Gamers Land. It's going up first. So if you are ready and no one else has anything else to add, I'm gonna move it over to you, man. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to do, if anybody was in here yesterday at Gorilla Todd's channel, I'm going to do the same thing I did over there. I'm going to have four <laughs> by nows. So you got letter A, letter B, letter E, and letter F. I'm going to try to throw up a slab every round as a by now, and then we'll do our auction. And this is super, there we go. And we'll do an auction. So this is um, the Immortal She-Hawk issue number one. That's the reprint. I'm going to start this auction off at 20 bucks um, for some She-Hawk action. And your buy it nows are four bucks. And if anybody wants a 9.0 of the Amazing Spider-Man 606, I'm asking 80 plus shipping. So there you go. Oh, get it. I'm trying to find the right timer. <laughs> what? It's gone. How the fuck does a timer just disappear? I'm trying to find. I'm gonna run a three-minute timer today. That gives everybody plenty of time. I gotta make a new fucking timer. I believe that shit. Can you believe that shit? Those are seconds. All right, so there you go. We got the timer running. I already put it in the, the price for the start bid up in the chat. Let's go. So y'all know what to do if anybody wants to get in on that $20 start bid for the Immortal She-Hulk. Drop it in there, man. Now's your chance. But you know, there's something very important that's missing right now. Yes, Max, Max brought it up. No, did she? Yep. <laughs> I was so mad. I think I broke her heart. <laughs> oh, and I didn't say what the books were. This is Justice League issue number 54. This right here is your Fantastic Four number one, little virgin variant. You got Justice League 53 and Justice League Dark 25. So four bucks a piece or 12 bucks for all four if you want to buy them all. And like I said... Amazing Spider-Man, 606. Nice little Campbell artwork. I love that book. Sure. Yeah. 80 bucks plus shipping. There you go. And $20 on the She-Hulk. Starting bid. <laughs> oh, shit. Where's my... Where's, I got a... My freaking there it is. Get over here. Oh, my mouse isn't working on my my new hanky do. Damn it. Got new it. hanky do. Yeah. I write I write all my notes on a board, and my mouse doesn't want to work on the board, so I can't highlight this. Uh, wait, that's the wrong one. That's the one I wanted to highlight. <laughs> Love is like a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably crap. <laughs> 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 we got a minute left on the clock, y'all. One minute left. Anybody wants to get in on this twenty dollars start bid? And no love for the Justice League. Huh? Number one, y'all know Immortal She Hulk. She's bad. She's green. She's really, really mean. Where's Zeke collects when you need him? <laughs> Max, I, if if someone has Ragman, please put it up because Max has been asking for that shit for. Oh, wow. I don't even know how long now. Weeks, months, a millennia. Got 30 seconds left on the chat or on the chat on the clock. I'm out of practice. Yeah. I also got all these nice buy it nows up there. How much were them buy it nows? Four bucks a piece or 12 for all of them. Ooh, that's the eyeball cover. See that? 
Oh, bumping into the camera. Oh, Z is here. He just there joined. Go. There you Something go, Z. Nerd. Another starting bit of Mortal Hulk, She Hulk number one. Just want to see her up close. Look at them glutes and those <laughs> deltoids. All right, that's the timer. I'll give you a couple seconds for the lag, but it looks like nobody's going to jump in on that immortal She Hulk for 20 bucks. No one's loving She Hulk today or Justice League or Fantastic Four. Okay, huh? I'm so confused right now. I need to put Max in timeout. She's oh, she said what's what's under A. That's Justice oh. League issue number 53. Oh. But you can take one look at it real quick, Max, and we'll let him go on to the next. Did, uh, did that She Hulk get you up? What? No, no, no love for the She Hulk. Z I mean, Collect for She Hulk started at $20. If you want to save it for Friday, try again. That's fine, too. Oh, that doesn't matter, bro. I mean, yeah, Z, yeah, if you're interested problem. in it, then just hit up Gamers Land, let him know. It was an auction starting at 20 bucks. So I don't know if he wants to just sell it outright for 20 bucks. Oh, or yeah, what? it sounds like. Sounds like two of us want it, so I would save it for a next round or something. No, right. because I want it too. <laughs> I want it. I want, I want it. it now. Yeah, that's what I said. See. All right, we're gonna move over to Parker now. What's up, man? Hey, Mr. Parker. Hey, Mr. Parker. I missed that. Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker. Okay. Um. Today, Mr. Parker. I got a whole slew of buy it nows, but let's throw an auction up to start it. Yeah, let's do that first so we can get the thing rolling. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my That's real exactly dad. What I'm here to do is to tell you what to do. You're not my real dad, Barb. Blood Syndicate, number one, polybagged, sealed. What? Look at all nice. those hearts and guns. Look at those heart guns. <laughs> Love guns. Uh, five dollars. Five dollars starting bid, please. You get all this stuff that's in it. It's still sealed. Uh, I don't know if it's like it's hardware has the static preview in the back, so maybe there's like a character sketch in the back of this book that's the first appearance. I don't know. But it is the first appearance of Blood Syndicate. All eight of them. You got lots of firsts in here. There's lots of characters. Still sealed. Five dollars. Hey, Max said Probably. that you were blurry. Um, I noticed something on my YouTube, like every video I watch on my phone lately, I've had to reset the, the like pixel count. Every time I open a new video, I got to go in and turn it up to the 780 or whatever. So I don't know if anybody else is having the same issue or not, but that could be why he looks blurry because he looks fine on here. Even Parker doesn't look blurry for once. You saying gamers was or I look blurry right now? No, no. That's what Max said is that gamers look blurry. Well, I mean, to quote her, she said Pluto looks blurry, but that's who she's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Coming from Max, who ends up putting up the most blurry video quality we've ever seen. It could very well be her. That was my internet. fault. That was that was totally like my internet. <laughs> we got T-Pain in a five. We got the, the clock rolling for the Blood Syndicate number one. Still poly bad. That's a good book, man. That has the preview for a static shock in it, right? Is that the no, one? That I don't think that? it has no, that's that other one. Hardware. I think it's hardware. Not hardware. It's uh, oh. the other other one. Icon? Icon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Icon. so there might be like a preview sketch in the back of this book and you get that character's first appearance. I don't know. There it's you go. We got two minutes left on the clock um, right now. Yeah, I owe you your total. I wrote it down here. It's in little pieces. So again, I'll message you after the, the chat. We ended up staying on and chatting for an extra like three hours after the show last night so it was like four in the morning i didn't want to message you that late even. <laughs> but i got your total for you and we can figure it out later i hope you're feeling better you said you had like a ear ear problem you're dizzy you felt like crap or something so i hope you're feeling better sucks to hear <laughs> that's for steven spock We got a minute and a half left on the clock, y'all. Five dollars is what we're at right now. Parker's freezing, but the bid is still at five, and the clock is still rolling. 
That's Easy E. <laughs> Doctor Dre. I see Kelly. Easy E. Is this guy Dre the one that's hidden? I see Easy E. Sure. That's so racist. Oh, shit at the Rona. Not at all. I think they're drawn in homage to that guy. It's not racist at all. Um, do you say so? No, I'm not. I'm being facetious. I don't think it's racist either. I like that. I like that word a lot. All right. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still sealed. I call this a near mint book. Yep. You got 40 seconds left on the clock. If anybody wants to come in on it, yeah, T Pain's right. It was Icon. That's that's right. I couldn't remember Icon. which one it was. You can only see like the very bottom and very top of the book, but they look solid, so I assume it's it's a near mint plus book. Um, you get you get an exclusive cover poster. You get a skybox trading card. You get four what? panels of a giant sixteen panel mural. Panel mural. Can't talk right now. You get them all. You can make the biggest mural ever. I just like the hearts and guns. Oh, I had to buy it now. I think T Pain's taking this for five. Mr. Unknown offer... Comics guy, what is this? Let me see what he's doing one. here. He's dropping Here's, uh, one... another video again. That that guy. Uh, here's my one buy it now if you want this round. Uh, crossover number one. It's the secret variant. You can see by the book she's holding there. I'm asking thirty bucks. It's near mint. Sit me up. Crossover number one, secret variant. First oh, appearance of all the characters in there. Um, yeah, hit me up. You want that? $30? But yeah, T-Pain, I think you're taking this for five. Big guy, I'll put this in your pile. What the fuck? Why won't it let me take shit off of my own video? Where did I put you? Oh, I see why. <laughs> Still not doing it. I'm running out of room. Quit buying things. I can't write down your total anymore. I need a new piece of paper. All right. All right. So we're going to move over to Shelby All real right. quick while I try and figure out how YouTube works. Oh, whoa, you caught me with my toys. Sorry. Sorry. Kirk was scanning uh, the She-Hulk. I'll, I'll put this up. So. Um, whew. how embarrassing. All right, so to uh, try to help out with the $50 prize tonight, uh, as many of y'all know, uh, I have my mystery boxes. Ooh, ooh. Uh, they're on my um, eBay page. You can go to my Instagram. I have a link from one of my posts over to my ebay page um people are starting to get theirs in i just started this about three weeks ago people are getting theirs in if you go check out comic games brand new video that dropped uh yesterday they are unboxing one of my mystery boxes and you can see some of the good stuff they got from just the 30 dollars mystery box what i'm gonna do tonight to help out with y'all getting that big 50 dollar prize that um, uh, Barbarian is giving away, I will be selling my $50 mystery boxes, okay, the mixed ones, and I will throw in for free crossover exclusive, limited to 500 copies, the trade dress, and the virgin oh, nice. for free. We've been selling these on eBay for $50 a set, so basically you get the mystery box for free. So tonight only, I will sell $50 mystery, free shipping too, free shipping. Um, so you will get a $50 mystery box plus crossover one, um, 500, only limited 500 copies of the trade dress and the virgin for free. So basically this $50 value, so you get the mystery box for free. So $50 uh, free shipping. Um, you can do buy it now, 50 in the chat, and, uh, yeah, we can get you set up. Uh, several people, I almost copied and pasted uh, some of the comments, but I thought that would seem arrogant. But I had about three people message me today on IG tell me how much they loved uh, what they got in. I've had no complaints whatsoever. 
Um, there were a couple of damaged books that I didn't realize, and I made uh, I made it right with the customers. And that was only two. Uh, the cat bit a bit a comic book that I didn't know, but they said they had cats, so they understood. All right. I like cats. I mean, no, I don't. Hey. <laughs> All right, Weapon X uh, is going to jump yeah. on that. And that is a crossover. Yeah, my cats don't bite books. They just push them off the, the, the table. Yeah, uh, he understood. And actually, um, it was an accident. I sent him more than what he's supposed to have gotten anyway. Um, so, uh, you know, he was cool with it. And then one person, I had bought a book off the shelf, bag and boarded it, uh, put it in as a filler book and it had a hole in the back that I knew nothing about, but I went ahead and gave him a $10 refund because, um, on his stuff. So that was only two issues I've had. So anyway, thank you, Weapon X. Um, anybody else? Fifty dollar mystery box. You get a whole bunch of variants. Most things are going to be mylard. Um, then you'll get either a um, more expensive variant or a signed book. And if you actually look at my video that I dropped today on YouTube, you could see some of the signed books that I'm offering. Um, so yes, thank you, Weapon X, and that will be um, anytime tonight. All right, for my auction. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, huh? That's what we're doing. I think we're doing an auction. <laughs> um, how about Black Widow? See if anybody likes seeing Black Widow. Uh, I'll start this at $20. So this is a 1 in 25 variant. Um, New Avengers with a Black Widow cover. Uh, the second is um, also 1 in 25 variant. Uh, for Avengers number four. And then I'll do a Black Widow number one variant and then a Black Widow number two variant. So $20 starting bid. $20. Everybody at $20 bid. Start at $20 bid. Yeah, these two variants here, um, if you look them up, they go for about $15, $20 on eBay. So that right there is already $40. And then the two variants, I just put them as cover price, uh, which is $5 each, and that's $10. So you're looking at about um, $55 in books starting at half price. So. We got the timer rolling. We got just over two minutes on the clock, y'all. So if anybody's interested in this lot of books, $20 is what's going to get it started. Drop it in the chat. Let him know. Let me get in on that scrap. Yeah. And uh, y'all let me know if my music's too loud. Like with this microphone, right. it picks up like every single thing in the world. So, uh, the perfect, perfect uh, volume to me. Cool. So it's New Avengers number 17. That's from several years back. I am here in America, though. Um, Avengers, number four. Black Widow, number one variant. And this is the Jacinto just, just, just variant. And then Black Widow, number two variant, which is the D. Julius variant. So for your Black Widow enjoyment, uh, you can um, fantasize that it's really Scarlett Johansson. And, um, you know, what you do with it after that is your own business. So <laughs> we do not judge. Oh, Everyone enjoys their comics differently. That's right. Look at that. Oh, minute left on the clock, y'all. One more minute. Still no Very cool. Very cool. She's shopping. I think she bought pickles. I don't know what she bought. She looks like pickles to me, but 
I'm not sure if that means she's pregnant or not. Um, oh, that's impossible. I mean, is it though? Movies, it's impossible. Is it? Is it impossible? Maybe they unsterilized her. Or maybe yeah. it's a clone. Maybe. Maybe it's somebody else's. Whoa. Oh, that's the. <laughs> I'll give you all another <laughs> second. <laughs> I'll give you all another chance to try and get in on that $50 prize tonight. I have a New Mutants 98, but it's actually Cable 150 lens ticular cover. Um, 9.8 for $50. So if anybody wants that, want this one, you can say buy it now, 50. Uh, so sticky pages not included. You are warm, percent right. That's why I keep my stuff in bags and boards until it gets shipped. It's easy to wipe. Anyway, yes, New Mutants, cable number 150, lens ticular cover, uh, $9.8, $50. I don't think you can beat that price. Uh, so if you want to get in on that big $50 deal tonight with Barbarian, here's your chance. Go ahead and pick you up a beautiful yeah. 9.8 book. It's a one-shot deal right there. All right, so uh, right. looks like no takers on the Avengers. Yeah. Stuff. A lot so we're gonna move over to the cleavers and if anybody, sorry, my widow. <laughs> if anybody shows up and wants to open, you uh you got HMO claiming you're a new mutants now, you understand you understand HGM law that that's not a new mutants 87 no he put claim new mutants 87 <laughs> yeah no it's uh I, like I said is a cable 150 lens ticular cover he may be not listening. He may be just. Yeah, that says. Well, you can see it says cable on there, and it doesn't say New Mutants. Yeah, uh, he may be just. Um, yeah, now, when you turn it like that, it does. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he's listening. I think he's just watching. No, well, that's cool. I just want to make sure. So. Uh, yeah. Maybe you write him in the chat. And make sure he understands if he's not hearing everything. But oh. We're gonna move over to the Cleavers right now, and we'll see what they got for us. Yeah, he said never mind. Never mind. All right. Thumbs up, buddy. Never mind. Hello. 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 Lens um, particular. <laughs> God. We take Venmo and Cash App as a preference. So you can hit us up on IG. Yeah, that'll work. As I that was the best escape escape route for the sign. Right, right. Um, I'm gonna start out with uh, Marvel Boy number one. Um. First appearance of him, and I can never remember his name. And Luke Cage Noir, number <laughs> right. one. This is the cover. Um, I'm going to start it out at five bucks. All right, there you go. Five dollars starting bid, y'all. Five bucks. You can get on these books. You got the timer going. So if anybody's interested, Huh? Now's your chance. Ah, yeah, I do. I do still have a couple of these Batman and Three Jokers. I've got the crowbar, number book one with the crowbar, book one with the happy fish, book one with the happy shark. And book three with a not so happy Red Hood. Um, I'm asking six bucks a piece for him, please. Is uh, Luke Cage number one? Is Luke Cage number one? Luke Cage is noir number one. I'm in. Yeah. Are you able to type stuff in the chat? Yeah, I just did. Okay. All right, so we got Parker in at five dollars. We got just over a minute and a half left on the clock. Parker's in at five. Anybody else is interested and want to get in on these books? Don't forget, anybody that buys anything from anybody is going to get entered in to win the Moon Knight toy. And fifty dollars, spend fifty bucks, you get entered in to win a slab. And you hit the thumbs up and share it with a hundred people that all hit the thumbs up or down. You can win another slab. Slabs galore. Galorb. I 
Um, Weapon X, I just dropped my, if I remember right, I, I know you and I have chatted and we've sold together, but I, for some reason I cannot find your, I can't find you in my IG. Do you mind hitting me up over an IG, buddy? Uh, Weapon X is in our, uh, I think he's in our chat for this auction. Is it? So okay. you can, yeah, you can go over there and get him that right. way. Cool. Thank you, Barbarian. And and just in case people uh, overlooked it, Weapon X is the first person in the running to get the free slab. So he spent 50 bucks already. Cha-ching. You can get one of Shelby's mystery boxes and potentially win a slab that goes along with it. Ooh. Just saying. You know, just throwing that out there. <laughs> we got 20 seconds left on the clock right now. Parker's in the lead of five bucks. If anybody else wants to jump in here and take Parker's books, feel free to do so now or forever. Hold your peace. Yeah. No, I thought that was the Weapon X. For some reason, it wouldn't come up on my phone. Let me try it again. Oh, that's the timer. So it looks like Parker's going to snatch these books for five bucks. Parker. Cool. Thank, Thank you, Parker. You. Thank you. T-Pain came in at six. Did he beat the timer? If y'all in the chat can let me know with the lag. Yes. I, don't know how much, I don't know. He did. Um, yeah, I don't know how much lag we got right YouTube. now. So somebody in the chat, let us know if he beat it or not. I defer to my mods. Because I'm watching YouTube on my iPad, and he was in yeah, before Cyborg the timer. Dad said, yeah, Cyborg yeah, Dad I, I said yes. I see it. I just can't hear, so I don't know. All right, so we got T-Pain in the sixth then. So now we're in sudden death extra innings overtime. We're waiting to see what Parker's going to do. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a payment plan for 50 bucks? By 40 seconds? There's that much lag? Do we really have that much lag? VK came in at 7 first. Yeah, VK came in at 7 before Parker did. Then Parker folds. I missed No, that. I only okay, got like Parker. 7 seconds of lag right now. So we're not that bad. Parker folded. Wait. How many? Oh. VK uh -huh. came in at seven now, so we got VK at seven. T Pain still in there. Parker folded. No, it's not. It's, it's just for these no, two books. The yeah. auction is for these. These over here are buy it, the now, buy it now at six dollars a piece. Yeah, hopefully VK. Hopefully you understood that that it was just for the two books, not for the. The three Joker books. Yeah. T Pain went to eight, so hopefully he house. understands the same. Okay, he said yeah, they put at nine now. Yeah. T Pain folded, so VK is gonna take these books for nine dollars. Oh. Thank you, BK. Thank you, BK. Sweet. All right, all right. So let's move on over to Cat Sixty and see what he's got for us this round. I've got a Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Avengers lot, eight books starting at a dollar. Yeah, you can't beat that. that. You got fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four. 55, 56, 57, and 58, which brings us back to 51. Dang, y'all. That's a good lot of books right there. You get a straight run starting at a buck. Come on now. One dollar. We got the timer rolling. I expect to see some bids flooding in here any second. <laughs> wow. Stars Cream comes in at three dollars. What's up? I think, I think Captain America is getting violated. 
<laughs> that's a shocking end. <laughs> hey. Come on, that's worth that's worth ten bucks on its own. Emmy Comics is in at five. Look, screen came back at six. Look, and Iron Man's over here getting ready, getting ready to be <laughs> <Yeah>. next. <laughs> Elbow deep up in this mug. <laughs> that's funny. It's like iron. It's like muscles through his armor. <laughs> Oh, there's a reflection in that shield right there. Man, freaking nineties. <laughs> I can see a reflection. Oh yeah. It, it's showing my future or past, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Cap does look like he's loving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Emmy at eight right now. Well, I mean, go back one book. Go back one book. Okay. Uh, okay. It, his arm looked weird, like his arm was behind his back or something, because it's red on red. It's like, is he scratching his butt or something? Look how small <laughs> that waist is compared to the shoulders and stuff. It's like, dude, he, he's Barbie. He's Barbie style. He's Barbie style. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe maybe that can explain uh, uh, this cover right here. They mistook him for Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> you see the way he's gritting his teeth and holding on to his shield like okay fine just get it over with. <laughs> both of the other two guys got their hands in the air like here it comes I'm open fisting that shit <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn dude <laughs> man reminds me when I go and get my physical you know <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> your doctor mean boy <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't everybody's doctor unzip their pants when they ask you? To <laughs> no, only mine. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait a second. Why are both of your hands on the table, Doc? <laughs> I don't think you know, John. I don't think anybody's scared, man. They want to see it. Drop that hammer. That's right. We ain't scared. What you gonna do, man? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's the timer. We still got multiple bidders right now. We're waiting to see what Starscream wants to do. Starscream folded. He uses the icon. He uses the folder icon to. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is Emmy's. You just trying to confuse me. That's what it is. Yeah. He thinks it's, he's he got thinks it's cute because his name is because his name is Starscream. Starscream. <laughs> All right, all right. There you go. So, uh, oh wait, it's my turn. Shit, I always do this. Okay, let me type this in here. So obviously, from the appearance of my selling table, I'm going to be doing some buy it nows here. So uh, this is going to be a two dollar round. Buy it now. Claim after the starting line, please. Uh, first one to claim gets it. Y'all know how that shit works. I shouldn't have to tell anybody. Um, if anybody wants to claim the whole table, I got eight spots. It's going to be $14, so you get a free book. Everything else is $2. All the books are going to be near mint, unless I say otherwise. They're going to be, you know, like very fine near mint condition. Mostly they're all unread, near mint, modern stuff. So some of them might have a tick or two in it. But first book up we got, this is Spider-Gwen number three. First print, going in the A spot. Next up, we got Wolverine and the X-Men Alpha and Omega, number two of five. It's a dope Mark Brooks cover. We got X-Men. This is Astonishing X-Men, number one. I think that's a JR, JR chin cover. Uh, in the D spot, we got some Heroes for Hire, number two. This is the best cover ever. It's got Ghost Rider, T-Bag, and Silver Sable. Love it. You got to love that. Uh, we got Fantastic Four, number 536. Nice Mirror Mirror cover. You like Mirror Mirror covers? This is my favorite. This is a Ghost Joe. This is the Punisher War Journal, number seven. So this is the variant where he's wearing, like, the Captain America Punisher outfit. There's another one where he just had – he didn't have the hood on, and it's just the Punisher. So cool book. like that. We got Superior Iron Man, number one. First appearance of that silly white outfit that he's wearing right there. And last but not least, this is Marvel X-Men. This is the Jim Lee uh, 
it's like the cards, you know, the action, the cards that they did in the 90s, they did comics for them too. So that's the one Jim Lee. Uh, I don't think it has a number on it. If it does, wait. It's number three. My bad. It's number three. It says it right there. Two bucks a book. 14 takes the whole table. Wait for the starting line. Anybody that claims before the starting line, I'm just going to ignore it. So if anybody wants them, I'm going to drop the starting line, and you can get the books that you want. And I'm only going to do like a minute and a half timer here. So if you want them, claim them. Otherwise, holy shit, there they go. Let me get my pen out. I wasn't prepared. We got Cyborg Dad getting letter F. I totally spelled that wrong. And, oh, I got T-Pain first with letter A. Do y'all see that? Or do you see Amy Cleaver? Uh, I see Amy first. Oh, no, I see T-Pain. Yeah, I see. I got T-Pain first on my end. We got T-Pain okay. first. Okay. So I got, uh, Dang it, T-Pain. It's that lightning fast internet. Right. But Joe has E first. Did anybody else claim? Oh, T Paint claimed to get the bottom. Okay, so we got T Paint with A and C. There is no letter T, Cyborg. You can't fool me. You got to wake up way earlier than that to fool me. So A and C is going to T Pain. So we got four books left up there. So if anybody wants to drop six bucks and clear the table, we can do that. Still get you a free book. Just make it known that you want to do that. Still got like two seconds left on the clock, though. Oh, that's the timer. So, y'all know what that means. We got three new people on the board on this big rigged wheel to win a Moon Knight toy. And we're going to move back over to Gamers Land. Appreciate everybody. What you got, Mike? Hello? Hello, sir. Are you there? Oh, uh, once again, the stupid mic. All right. So what we got here for our auction is this Captain America. This is the Death of Captain America, issue number 25. So you get the raw book, and it has the awesome newspaper still on the back of it. And you get the slab at a 9.8. So I'm going to start this off at 70 bucks on the auction. So you get a 9.8 slab of it. And you get the raw book with the uh, newspaper on it, which I think is pretty cool. You said $70? Yep. $70 okay. starting bid. And for your buy it nows, these are going to be $5 a piece. On the flash, you're going to get $758. And the letter A spot, $759, $760, and $761. So you get all those for five buckaroos. In the B spot, you get Batman Europa, issue number two. Two, oh, so one, one and two. You're going to get one and two. Let me organize those. That'll be in the B spot. In the E spot, you're going to get six issues. You're going to get Words of Sorrow, Swords of Sorrow, one, two, and three of Red Sony on Jungle, jo Jungle Girl. Can't even talk today. And you get Vampirella and Jennifer Blood, also issue one through three. So six books for five bucks there. And in the F spot, you're going to get a whole stack of Teen Titans for five bucks. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get like 10 books. It's either 10 or 11 books in the F spot of Teen Titans for five bucks. Oh, and our slab is going to be a Stan Lee and Campbell signature for 400 plus shipping if anybody's interested and wants to get cool. their first Stan Lee. So that's cool. All right, you got some claims. You got yep. Starscream claiming A and B. A and B. You got nice T Pain claiming letter E. Oh, T Pain with E. You got just over two minutes left on the clock, y'all. Seventy dollars starting bid on the. This is a Civil War epilogue where you know Captain America dies in this. I hate to break it to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they killed the guy. <laughs> Yeah, then he comes back as a agent of, agent of Hydra. Well, now you're just spoiling everything. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they were supposed to read it to see what happened. Yeah, y'all yeah, get in on that $50 prize tonight. Wants to eat. 
$70 starting bid. We'll make it happen for you. And hey, shout out to, uh, to Papa Willie. He picked up the first appearance of Crossbone from me. Crossbones, mm -hmm. dude, they killed Captain America, man. He killed him. Can't believe that. They just let it go. We got just over a minute left on the clock. $70 is the starting bid if you want to get it on that. You get the raw book and a slab. 9.8. You can't get no better than that. I don't care what anybody says. Nine nine nines don't exist. And the, and the coolest part, man, you still get the, the newspaper. That's awesome because I have to find. <laughs> I, I, I kept all them newspapers when they brought them out. The Daily Bugles, <laughs> yeah. they're all freaking brown and crest, crusty looking. Right. So I don't see where someone claimed F. Nobody claimed F. No one claimed F, um, gamers. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You know, he he claimed claimed e. lot, no one gained. No one oh, you're right. Starts with A and B. Oh, you're right. He got E. Yeah, E. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I missed all that one. That was yeah. the T Pain got E. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He got that Swords of Sorrow. And um we can take this sticker off because this used to be bundled up. Four bucks a piece, man, for some Wonder Woman and four bucks for that stack of Teen Titans if anybody wants them. Really? Oh, he's gonna drop the price. Four dollars. Y'all got ten yeah. seconds left. It's your last chance. Yeah, seven maybe. bucks get you in on the slab and the and the extra books that come with it. Four bucks for the lots. Four hundred for Stan Lee Campbell's signature. I want that book, man. I can't afford it. Though. <laughs> right, so I want a bit too. I know. Yeah, the movie Wonder Woman movie drops in uh, eighteen days. Hey, that was the timer. So if anybody wants to uh, get any of this stuff, just hit up Gamers Land. Let them know. Hey, let me get them books. And we're gonna move on over to Parker, who is obviously not prepared. Big shot there. Thanks, you, Penny Star Screen. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally get it, man. I totally, yeah, I totally get it. No, I totally understand. <laughs> Nobody say do they wait time. <sighs> yeah, it would help if I wasn't fucking muted. Yeah. I even put a supervisor on the screen on my just for you. You have your supervisor there in the corner. Yeah. This guy? Yeah. <laughs> this guy? Yeah. <laughs> He's there to make sure you stay in line. You gotta keep him in line. I just like smack him around a little bit. <laughs> Okay, uh, go ahead and start my timer. I'm gonna, I know this one, so okay, prove me wrong. I dare you. Um, whole run of Venom one through 27, 26, one through 26. I mean, if you need 27, 28, 29, 30, the most recent issues just add like five bucks a piece, and I'll I can pack them on. But for these specifically, one through 26 in the free comic book day, um. All first print, all near mint. Uh, $500 starting bid. Oh. That's, that's $25 down from my uh, Instagram asking price. And that I had been saying, that's my low. That's the lowest I can go. Lowest I can go was $525. i will kick off another $25, bucks, but this is the absolute lowest it's going to go. Um, I've had offers on eBay for around... The low 500 and i was like ah, i, I want to get a little more because the fees um i'm not going any lower beyond that i'll just do ebay and i'll deal with the hassle so right, we got five hundred dollars five hundred dollars starting bid have at it they're all near mint if you want to see any of them more specifically you want to do this deal later on i can send you exact jumping from three to six i guess um i can show you picture better pictures of all these uh, through Instagram or through email. That's my email right there. It's the same as my PayPal email. So we can always, if you want to see these better, I can show you with the variant for number seven, Frank Cho. But they're all here. Um, not that one. But I try and move these pretty much every fucking auction. Here's number nine. You get in the Philip Tan variant. It's still a first print. Um, and... Yeah, you guys know what they look like. I don't need to keep going through it. If you're interested, you're interested. If you're not, 
Let's not waste yeah, any more time. On the clock, five hundred dollars is the starting bid to get in on the full run of Venom up to twenty six. All the keys. Yes. Even throwing in a free comic book day book with it. There's a twenty six. Yeah, um, here's some buy it nows in the meantime. You, I mean, if, again, I don't need to show them all, but if you want to see them, just hit me up. And we can uh, I can send better picks and we can work out a deal later. But 500 is the lowest I can go. Um, that's starting bid. You, <laughs> you like that? You like that, Kachum? He's yep. our he's our um, supervisor. <laughs> here's my buy it nows. I have Captain Marvel 23 for seven bucks. Here's number 22 for seven bucks. These are first print, near mint, first appearance of Sora. In both of these, this might be her first full. Let's just introduce her. Those are $7 each if you're interested. I have a first print of Red Mother number one for $8. And that pretty much wraps up my time. So I guess, yeah, again, if you're interested in the full run of Venom, they're all here. One through, one through 26. Including one, three, two, four, seven, nine. They're all there. All the keys. Um, five hundred dollars. But if time's up, it's now going to be jumping up to a five hundred and twenty-five dollar thing. And you have to buy it through my Instagram. Hey, what's up, Dennis? How you doing, man? The Dens is in the house. All right, y'all, hit up Parker if you want to get some of them books. We're gonna move over to Shelby now, who once again is playing with his toys. Making us all so jealous. Sorry. Captain Kirk is macking up on Dazzler in the Batmobile. Like he wouldn't. Yeah. Got his arm around her and stuff. So. <laughs> okay. All right. We still got. So you can get in on that $50 prize. That Barbarian's giving away. I got $50 mystery boxes made up. And just for tonight only, I will throw in exclusive $50 value crossover. Number one, limited 500 copies. The trade dress and the virgin Tron um, homage exclusive. So it's like getting the mystery box for free. So $50 free shipping. Tonight only, you get oh hundred dollars in books for fifty dollars. All right. Also, go to buy it now for the cable one hundred and fifty lens ticular cover nine point eight fifty dollars. That will also get you into the drawing for tonight. And um, I'll put this up real quick. So for thirty five dollars, you can get a nine point eight. This is Van Helsing versus the League of Monsters. So that looks like a very happy alligator there. $35 will get you a 9.8 book. That's freaking amazing. And you get a hot chick on the back. All right. For my auction, um, I will do... All right, starting at $10, a uh, little Venom lot here. Um, sh well, She-Hulk is trying to fight them, so, you know. Uh, Venom, this is the, not this volume, but the volume before um, Costa. So, number six. Oh, Venom man. Unleashed, number one. Venom Space Knight, number one, first print. And Flash Thompson. Uh, and then Absolute Carnage, number five. The very cool, like, eh, gooey stuff and people drowning and trying to reach up and all that good stuff. So, um, normally I've been selling these for $5 each, but half price right now. Um, $10 starting bid, and I've got some other Venom books I can add to it. It's a good price, y'all. Ten boats, starting bid. Got the timer rolling. Get in there and get you some nice Venom books. Rash Lab is not sticky. I don't think it is. I'll check if someone buys it. Okay. That's good. I mean, slabs clean up really easy with a little yeah. bit of stuffy water. 
Yeah. Just don't use a, uh, a magic eraser on them. Yeah. So buy it now. Fifty dollars. Nine point eight. Um, cable one hundred and fifty lens ticular cover. Van Helsing League of Monsters little meow, little sexy cover. The happy alligator on the front. Um, is that an alligator or a crocodile? That is a crocodile. I apologize to all the alligators out there. That is a crocodile. Um, thirty-five dollars. You can tell somebody the, explained to me the difference. You can tell by the snout. Um, if it's a pointed snout like that, it's a crocodile. Alligators have a flat snout because I grew in Louisiana and I know something about gators. Mm. So okay. we got a minute and a half left on the clock, y'all. Ten dollars is the starting bid for these four venom books. Oh, you got some nice books there, man. For for ten bucks, that's a good deal. Space Night One. Yeah, the cool absolute carnage. Um, Papa Wheelie. That's a variant. And like I said, you know, bid ten dollars, and we get a little bit, a little bit, a couple more bids. I've got some other venoms down here. I can start throwing in. And don't forget, anybody that buys anything is going to get added into the giveaway. That's right. Uh, um, crocodiles have an Aussie accent. They're like, "I' gonna bite your knee off," or something, or. <laughs> Crikey. Oh, Crikey, I'm going to eat your foot. Oh, we got gamers laying in at $10. He sees the value. He knows. All right. Be paying in at 12 A little bit more, guys. Um, if we get up to, I'll do 15 We have 15 I will throw in this really rad-looking Venom number 20. Oh, wow. That's the dope. Codex variant. So at 15, I'll throw this in. Codex right. variant, Venom 20. Three more bucks, y'all. Three more dollars that your book gets thrown in. We got like five seconds left on the clock, so it's not even going to matter because we got two people in. Right now, gamers, you are the buyer. Do it, gamers. No, T-Pain is at 12. T-Pain went up to 15. Oh, he wants that okay. extra book. All right. Um, T Pain's already got most of these in my, in my pile for him. <laughs> now you're going to get double. Do what? Does he already uh, have these? He's got a couple of those in his pile with me already. That's why I was trying to say, right, Gamers, so go Gamer, for it. Gamers is folding. So that means that T Pain is taking that lot of books for 15 bucks. Okay. Well, if T Pain doesn't want duplicates or something, you know. Uh, I think I think he gets comics for other people, and he has gotten doubles just straight from me. So I'm. Sure oh, okay. Okay. I'm I was just gonna say is, you know, um, um, Peter and I can work together, T Pain, and um, uh, you know, if you didn't want duplicates, we could figure something out. So since only T Pain, I'm going to stop there. Um, I do have some other Venom books, and I'll. Um, we'll try them in another uh, auction. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. All right. Well, let's move over to the Cleavers now and see what they got for us. Hello. 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 Um. Hello. Uh -oh. A little bit of a. Uh oh. Hello, Tubby. Hello. 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 Wick, Wonder Wick, Woman. Wick, Wick, Wick. I have Batman. I am Batman. Wonder Woman. They have the complete set of Batman 66 and Wonder Woman 77. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm out of fingers. Six. Six. Okay. Whew. What's how you do that one? Not a different um, one. I can put this <laughs> set up at, at ten. Ten dollars. Nice. There you go, y'all. Ten dollars starting bid. Get in there and get you off the whole run. You can read the entire story from beginning to end. There's no spoilers wait, wait, wait. necessary. Let me turn this so you can see number one. I don't want to lose number six, so there we go. And ASMR. Popular. 
I'm going to still buy it now Woo! up. Ow. Number 30, the Ryan Stegman. Now, it's a color one. It's not the fancy high-dollar one. Um, I'm going to ask six. Let's see how that goes over. Yeah. All right, we got the timer rolling. We got just over two minutes left on the clock. $10 is the starting bid if somebody wants to get in on these. The full run of Batman, Wonder Woman, Batman 66, Wonder Woman 77. You see, we have 11 fingers. Hey, Papa Willie, how's it going? Uh, Weapon X, I have eight fingers and three thumbs. I don't know about you. Get? I have nine toes. I don't know. I'm trying to make a little dick joke. Right now we have 43 thumbs up and zero thumbs down. Remember, this is Wonder Woman 77. So that was the Wonder Woman of the era of the free your mind. And the rest will follow. Free your mind so I can lasso you up with my rope and tell the truth. Yeah. You know, we don't have the smartest panels. So if they had a count to 21, he'd have to take his pants off. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, that's 20 and a half. <laughs> Thanks, John. I appreciate it. We, uh, let's see. We, oh, we got T-Pain in at 10. That's the way you do a penis joke. <laughs> Can we play the penis game? You got to get louder and louder. T-Pain's in at 10. And Mr. Unknown Comic Guy is laughing out loud. Even though he's typing really quietly. I can yeah. hear him laughing from all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, no big deal, T Pain. I just saw your message. All right, some great books Batman, uh, Wonder Woman, goodness. Uh, all of them look like Mike All Red Art, but I don't think it is. Um, but it is that cool kind of 60s type of art. Then you get uh, Wonder Woman uh, 77. Uh, which was when, what what was that? Was that when the Linda Carter? Yeah, yeah. In 77. Linda Carter. Yeah. 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 That Linda Carter goodness, I remember. I remember watching that first spinning around. <laughs> oh. All right, there you go, y'all. That was the timer. So it looks like T-Pain is going to take these books for $10. Cool. Thank you, T-Pain. Uh, Thanks, T-Pain. Goodbye, uh, T -Pain. Goodbye. Don't leave, but nice purchase. Man. We're gonna move over to Cat 60 and see what he's got for us this round. You know Adam West hit that shit, man. Like he wouldn't. Mark and Draco was the artist. Mark and Draco. Okay. So I have another eight book lot. I'm going to start at a dollar. Um, DC Universe Rebirth Justice League. So I got, it's not a complete run, but four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's where it gets wonky. Ten. Oh, nope, it's still going. Eleven. I guess it was. Four. Uh, yeah, I guess it was. I must oh, have you got the other yeah, Three. I knew he was going to jump on that one. Yeah, also. Yeah. I, I actually put a card up for him. So. <laughs> A little profiling, are we? That's yeah. All we got I was going to sell this last night, and I didn't see him in the chat, so I saved it for when next time I saw him. There you go. We got Starscream at seven now. We got just over uh, – we got like two minutes and two and a half minutes on the clock. Cyborg's in at eight. Got Starscream coming in at nine, Cyborg coming in at ten. They duking it out back and forth, kicking each other, square in the nuts. Who's gonna give up first? They still print Justice League comics. Oh man, I'm getting old. I'm when did Justice League premiere? 1960, 59. Uh, Star Screen folds. Uh, uh, no, Justice League was from the 60s, wasn't it? Star Screen's at 11. 
I think it was nice. Oh no, it, I thought that, that was a, I thought that was a folder. It, it looks like a folder. Oh, it's a fist bunch. Yeah. He's, he's giving him a, a, the, the five knuckle sandwich. What's up, Papa? Huh? Uh -huh, side What's up, Louis oh. BC? Thanks for coming out, man. Cyborg folded, so it looks like Starscream's in the lead at 11. We still got hey, a, I, 20 seconds left on the clock. Talk, talk to Starscream. Maybe he'll give it up. You never know. He's a good guy. Some people yeah, are more willing right? to give it up than others. Maybe he's one of them people. You just never know until you ask. Um, whoever needs a four, Cyborg Dad, I think I got you. I have like one through 13, and I have doubles of most of them. <laughs> Papa feels. <laughs> well, now, screw you. I can't help you now. You need five. <laughs> oh, you mean you I need five. Yeah. Uh, I think I only have the B covers, though. I think the Jim Lee was doing the B covers. Yeah, these are all the A covers. <laughs> you just need 69. 69. Let's see, which one is it? Like, like Go the burgers, figure. Mr. Unknown? Go figure, this is the one he needs. Hmm. <laughs> We got 10 seconds left on the clock. It looks like we're going to be giving this to Starscream. It looks like he's going to be walking away with a big lot Me of boots. Too. Me too, Louis BC. Just no one's ever willing to take it. <laughs> All right, Starscream, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> oh, wait. You got to see this. Okay, first off, anyone like Wendy's? What about Wendy's? Hot and Burger? juicy. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Dave. I miss Dave Thomas. Because you're going to love when these nuts hit your face. Oh. Wow. You're fired. Somebody's getting fired. Womp, womp, Thanks, Cap. Let's see. We're going to move over to me. This is another $2 claim round. So let me get the. I should just copy and paste this. I don't have to type it every time. $2 round. Start the little starty line. So it's two bucks a book. 14 is going to take the whole table. You just got to claim all after the starting line before anyone claims anything else. This is going to be all DC books in this round. I'm trying to keep my rounds cohesive so that they all go together. First book is uh, Flash number 80. Got this nice shiny, foily Flash, Golden God goodness. And these are the same. These are all near mint. There ain't nothing wrong with any of them. We got Batman and Robin number one, the lenticular cover. Or how does how does uh, how does shall we say it? The, the, the lenticular, the lecticular. A lecticular. Uh, we got Superman uh, two hundred three. Oh golly! Nice Michael Turner goodness. I like Michael Turner. He's good. Uh, this is uh, Superman two hundred four. This is a variant, I guess, to it. It matches up with a Batman book. And they both are facing each other. Then we got Superman, Man of Steel, number 19. Newsstand copy. Okay. It's a newsstand, though. Two bucks. You don't get that. B is claimed if you want to put a new one in B's place. No, I wait till the starting line. That way, if somebody wants to claim them all, they might be waiting to claim them all. Uh, After the starting an line, auction format where your time starts right away. Yeah, you want to buy a now sale? You can go to number one from Vertigo Comics. The rules are easy to follow, man. They're, they're real simple. Green Arrow, Rebirth, number one. Do you know how many times you've done the, I'm going to start the timer as soon as the screen goes to you, and you can bid immediately. You've said that several times. Not so, to me. Follow your own rules. Yes. This isn't an auction. There's no bidding going on. Don't question my this methods. Whole, this whole show is an auction. Night Force number one. I'm gonna, I need to go ahead and take care of Parker here real quick. So uh, $2 a book. 14 takes the whole table. Just claim all before anyone else claims anything after the starting line. And uh, they can be yours. There you go. See, now you can claim any book you want. How hard was that? Jeez. 
Thank you. Thank you, Starscream. We're getting letter B. We got Papa Wheelie taking C and D. Therefore, no, they're not. Therefore, Papa, we leave. Joey Mega Sevens getting letter A. Got like 30 seconds left on the clock. So if anybody wants to grab the rest of them books for, what, six bucks and still get a free book, feel free to do so. And. Looks like Papa Wheelie's getting on the on the wheel. Star Screen's getting on the wheel. Joey was already on the wheel. All right, that's the timer. So just to remind everybody, anybody that buys anything from anybody in today's sale is going to get this Marvel Legends Moon Knight Walgreens. Uh, I guess they only sell them at Walgreens, but I don't know for sure. Uh, so that's going to go to anybody that buys from anything is going to get on the wheel to win that. Anybody that spends over 50 bucks with anybody in today's sale will be put on the wheel to win this Sabrina. This is the Chili Adventures of Sabrina number one. The Rogue Gallery Comics shop variant, 9.8 white pages. And anybody will be eligible to get in on the ASM 252 Toy Biz CGC 7.0. Uh, we just got to get to 100 thumbs up or thumbs down. So keep that all in mind. Oh, wait. I see T-Pain claim letter F. I got you, T-Pain. And... Uh, We'll go ahead and jump over to Gamers Land. Thank you, everybody, for your claims. Barb, to... Papa Wheelie was wondering if you got his claim for E. I don't see a claim for E. I only see C and D, but I can give him E all day long. Give him E. Give him D first. Give him E. You got to give him some E to give him some D. How about that? I mean, I'm not going to, like, give him E. <laughs> <laughs> that would be illegal. <laughs> But yeah, I'll uh, I'll make sure you get the comic that is in letter E, uh, just in case you know the uh, D E A is listening in on that. Uh, hey, for, you're me. saying for that for the fifty dollar right. freebie thingy, do they have to spend fifty um, with each like one person, or what if they spend ten with each person? No, it's fifty dollars with one person. One person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like like if you spend fifty Wait, bucks, way you described it last time. Yeah. Okay. Not good. fifty dollars total check. because that would be way too yeah, hard yeah. for us to figure out. So yeah, like <laughs> you spend fifty bucks with Shelby, you get on the wheel, or you spend fifty bucks with gamers, yeah, yeah. you get on the wheel. That's All right. Okay. I'm a simple right. man. Hey, you um, you want to skip me for two seconds? Little man just bumped his head. Oh, there's a baby. What's wrong? <laughs> Actually, he's fine now. Let's just do it. All right, so my auction is going to be some Vampirillas. You get three issues right here. We're going to start it off at 10 bucks, And I'm going to do a builder lot. So I got plenty of Vampirilla to throw in there. So we're going to start this off at $10 for three issues. And then you got some buy it nows. You have your Spider-Woman, the Michael Turner version, and this one, both for 40 You got Venom 3, the fourth print printing for 60 Web of Spider-Man issue number one for 50 plus shipping. And I have a Walking Dead... 180 and 9.8 70 shipped on um, on quick mr unknown comics guy uh barbarian so won't cover up what oh my bad i didn't even realize i was still on there what's up issues you like that right we got us a supervisor up in the corner tonight making sure we do everything on the up and up all right, T Pain said buy it now on the Spider Woman's. So forty dollars for the Spider Woman's T Pain. Good deal, man. That's a great deal. I love yeah. that virgin cover. Yeah, that thing's gorgeous. Yeah. I just walked in. What's the condition on that Venom three? 
Uh, in terms of condition, it's a fourth printing. Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, so, I personally don't see anything wrong with it, but you know me, man. I'm new at this. I can't really grade books for you. Let me see that bottom bottom left corner. Yeah, it's there. Just a little pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. It does have a little. Thing. Yeah. Hey. How much? How much for slot E? For the slab is uh fifty plus shipping. No, uh, for for the child's hands, I want those. Oh, for the child's hands, you can't have the child's hand. I don't know what you're gonna do with them. <laughs> well, uh, we never really question things with Peter. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if anybody likes good books to invest in, that Venom three fourth print. Yeah, that's at, at some point that's gonna surpass the the first print. I feel I feel that way. Yeah, the it's first second and third print is so out of out of range right now. The fourth print's moving up. So fourth screen uh grades it at a nine point six. There you go. And I threw in a Perilla. If anybody wants to bid on the Vampirilla, you get four books for ten bucks starting bid. And like I said, we have a whole stack. That we can add on them if anybody's into some vampirilla. Right, we've got just under a minute left on the clock. T pain on that gorgeous spider woman. Yeah, it's a great boy. Yeah, man. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had gotten here sooner. I would have done that one for sure. Yeah, I, I, you don't see that virgin very often, and um, it's expensive. Yeah. I'd love to get that Walking Dead, but uh Or if anybody wants a GI Joe signed by Jamie Sullivan, nine eight, I'm doing this one for oh, 70, yeah. seventy-five plus shipping. Yeah, I went to school with him. Papa Wheeler's in at 10 for the Vampies. Take All right, y'all, that's the timer. Uh, Papa Wheelie is in at 10, so uh, give it a second for the lag, but it looks like he's going to walk away with the Vampirella book, man. He is. That Perillo alone is worth your 10 bucks, man. Yeah. There you go. All right, so congratulations, Papa Wheelie. Thank you, Papa Wheelie. Appreciate you. Move on over to Parker and see what he's got for us this round. Okay. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Will. Just got some buy it now as claim as I go. Price will be marked. If you want to see something clear, just ask. Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Number one. New stand copy. Asking six dollars. Six dollars. This is a very fine, very fine plus copy. Newsy, it's real nice. Asking six dollars. What's up, Patrick Wall? How you doing, man? Um, if you're looking for a copy of crossover number one, the regular cover. That's six dollars on that. Crossover number one, the regular cover A, near mint. Six dollars. Looking for King in Black number one, the regular A cover. All of my four LCSs are sold out completely. They have people still looking for them. He asked me to bring this in. He's like, dude, I'll give you a dollar more than cover if you can bring it in. I was like, well, that would be seven dollars. So let me see if I can sell it to someone else before that. Um, yeah, I mean, these. 
I know it's mass produced. There's like 200,000 is the print count. There's a ton of variants. But most shops don't have them anymore. They're already sold out. Dexter, stop. Go down. Max is asking for information on the Vision book, the Vision Scarlet Witch. Sure. Um, it's Vision and Scarlet Witch. It's number one. It's a newsstand, and it's like very fine, very fine plus condition. The uh, title of it is Lovers and Zombies, and it came out in 1985. If there's anything else you want to know, just ask. It's number one in a 12 issue limited series. The spine looks great. Song is good. I mean, I'm saying good in the comic grading world is not good at all. Real fucking good. How about that for grading? Is it a key though? I don't know. Why don't you download the app that tells you if books are keys or not? <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you what. It's a number one. It's a key. All first issues, all last issues, keys. It's a key. It may not be the key people care about. It's not a first appearance. It's a key. Every first issue is a key. Every anniversary issue is a key. Every number 10, number 25, number 50, those are keys because they are anniversary. Still got these available. Captain Marvel 22 for 7. Captain Marvel 22, 23, excuse me, for 7. Red Mother number 1, $8. First printing, near mint. Crisis, crisis on Infinite Earths, number one. In a VF condition, it's at least a very fine. First appearance of the new Blue Beetle. This is a wraparound cover for those who collect those. Pretty cool. I think you get Origin of the Monitor, some other first in, in here as well. Um, 22 Brides, number one. It's your first appearance of Painkiller... Painkiller Jane, $10. You get a bunch of other first appearances as well, but Painkiller Jane's really the only one that ever panned out and got her own series. She appeared in a Marvel book, a couple Marvel books, Punisher. So, yeah, I think so. Herbzilla. That's $10 if you're interested. I got a Daredevil number one, first print from the current run, epic run, Chip Zarsky. Gorgeous Tedesco cover. First print, near mint, $10. For anybody that maybe 25, this new Electra book was the first Daredevil you got. Just like, oh, Daredevil has a series right now? Oh, it's good? Oh, I better go back and get those. Well, you can start right here. Um, Venom 26, your first second appearance of Virus. First regular cover appearance of virus. Near mint, ten dollars. It's under the cheapest eBay price. Cannot get it cheaper. Hulk 181 facsimile, fifteen dollars. Hulk 181 facsimile, fifteen dollars. I don't think they're going to have a new character come along and kill Black Panther. I don't know. It's going to be hard to say. Werewolf by Night, number nine. $25. Uh, first Tatter Medallion. Tatter Malian. I can't even say his fucking name. Tatter Demalion. Tatter Demalion. $25. This is in very fine. It's very fine. Maybe very fine minus to very fine. Maybe in the lower end of very fine. Still high grade. I don't know. Oh, and my last book that I have time for, Avengers number 96, The Origin of Vision. This is in a fine plus, fine to very fine condition. Maybe you can press it, get it bumped up a little more. I don't know. $50, and that's about what they go for. They go for anywhere from 50 60 and then lower grade. The Origin of Vision, hot book right now. So if you're interested in any of those, or you see this on the Rewind, I will probably have these just... Drop a comment on the video. Maybe you can message Barb or message me on IG, and we can hook you up. We can make it happen. Yeah, Thank just you. don't leave porn links on the comments, you know. That's not Yeah, necessary. Mr. Unknown Comic Guy. <clears throat> you. Somebody's Ronnie, been doing you're it. In your 
every sale porn. within a minute of it reposting, I get like five links to porn. I don't even watch. Really? Porn. Yeah. All right, Shelby, what's up, man? What you got this time? The thing is beating up Batwoman. Oh, she probably really likes that. I've heard that like Batwoman loves to get manhandled. By you, own a Batwoman you own a Batwoman figure? Yes, man. Why? Isn't it cool. Far. Uh, you got Squirrel uh, Girl too, don't you? This was. Oh, yeah. But I mean, yeah. this was before the uh, TV show. This was when. Yeah, because uh, have the red hair. Michael, whatever, you know, did the artwork and stuff. That was a great series when he did the artwork. So you should really check that out. Okay. Like, the, right. like the new 52 run, you mean? Uh, yeah, after that, like, that. Oh, could be, could be. What's yeah, up, Mr. Taz? I, did, I didn't uh, like the Rebirth Batwoman at all. Just no, no, that. not that one, not that one. It was yeah. uh, William, whatever, the third... Whenever he was doing the art, then he did the writing. But yeah, great art, great writing. It was from like 2014. Okay, if you want to get on the wheel to win that $50 uh, prize from Barbarian, you have a chance. You can purchase a Shelby Comics mystery box, a $50 mystery box. And for tonight and tonight only, I will throw in a crossover exclusive Limited to 500 printings, Tron uh, homage cover, uh, the trade dress, and the Virgin. We sell these for $50, so basically you're getting the mystery box for free. Free shipping if you pay with PayPal, but tonight, tonight only, $50 mystery boxes, and you get the crossover trade dress and Virgin thrown in for free. I had several other buy it nails. Uh, we had a sexy woman cover. Um, this is Van Helsing in the League of Monsters for 35. We have a cable 150 lens ticular cover for 59.8. Um, and then I have an X Force gold. Wrap around gold, so it's the second printing 9.8 for $80. If anybody's interested in any of those, you can say buy it now, X Force Cable, or Sexy Girl. Oh, then I got a cat running What's around. Up, Billy? Come on, move, move. Oh, oh nice, Billy. Thanks for coming out, man. All right, speaking of <laughs> sexy girls. <laughs> Um, I will start this off at, um, oh, thank you, Billy. Great. Good. Good. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you feel like you got your money's worth. Um, you know, definitely, uh, let us know. So, um, this is my last, uh, copy of this book. So it's a trade dress, but it's a cool Batman. The Adventures Continues, number three with, uh, Batwoman kind of swinging around, or Batgirl swinging around the Batarang. Really cool cover. I'll start this off at $5 if anybody's interested. All right, y'all. $5 starting bid. We got the timer rolling. Drop it in the chat. I'm going to get in on some Batman, Batgirl hotness. Oh, cat is going crazy. All right, Star Screams in at five. Yeah, this is um, sold out, I believe. Uh, I was lucky to get a few copies. I was only able to get, I think, one copy of the Virgin. I'm going to keep it for my PC. Um, but I was able to get two, two or three copies of this, and one of them went immediately. And so this is my last. Uh, um, copy that I can sell so <laughs> looks like star screams in at five yep star screams in at five so that cool 
Batman. I love this cover because it's kind of being a little flirty, flicking the batarang around. Um, so again, remember guys, $50 gets you not just the $50 mystery box. If y'all are curious if this is any good, Billy uh, ordered one. You can talk to him, ask him if it's worth the money. Um, and for tonight only, I will throw in the crossover exclusives. Uh, limited to 500 copies of the trade dress and the virgin and um, I will throw those in for free so basically it's like getting your mystery box for free all right yeah mr. Taz got one thank you mr. Taz for the shout out on that uh, we liked our box very much cool um, I heard licking the batarang no I said flicking not licking Oh, hat. Oh, anyway. Um, yeah, it's flicking the batarang. So I think uh, Louis B.C. Bye, gamers. Love you. Louis B.C. came in uh, um, Starscream said I can't go another dollar, which Starscream got uh, is going to be getting a huge box. What's up, G? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got the Silver Age box, yep. And, yeah, and, I, Cola, and at 10. Cool, and I do um, customize boxes if you ask me nicely. So, like Billy said, hey, Shelby, you know I'm not much into the moderns. Instead of a signed book, can we do something else? Because in the $50 boxes, you're either getting a more expensive variant or a signed book. And he said, yeah, I'm not really interested in either ones. And I said, hey, dude, I know you like Silver Age. How about a nice Silver Age book? He said, dude, do it. Um, I had, col I think Collector's Den said, I'm opening it up with my son. Can we get more kids-friendly stuff? I said, sure, no problem. I had someone ask me for Donnie Cates only, and I made a Donnie Cates box for them. So I will be, I, I can make you some custom boxes if you ask. All right, we got Louis B.C. folding, so it looks like, is anybody else in besides him? No, that's it. Starscream was in at five. Did Starscream folded? He folded, fold? he folded. He folded, okay. So Carlos Bulla is taking this for $10. Uh, really have y'all ever bought, uh, dealt with Carlos before? The cat trying to, I have never met Carlos Bulla before. I don't think we have either. What? No, okay, Carlos, okay. if you would, please. You got Shelby's PayPal right there. And his Instagram right there on the screen. That's what we had. Um, that was ten dollars. Uh, Shelby, let him know how much shipping is going to be. If we can get you to pay right away, Carlos, that way we can verify that you are a legitimate buyer and not somebody that uh, is just in here trying to be funny. Um, and it's just because I've never seen you in here before. But I appreciate you coming out. Once we get verification, you know that you're legit and for sure buy everything you want. We make you all the deals. <clears throat> oh, I thought you were saying, Pete, you wanted one customized of my private photos. I about to say we could make that happen for you. We can drop some custom photos right now if you want to. <laughs> He's like, oh no, I should not. <sighs> <laughs> Just get ready to hit print screen. All right, yeah, there go, you go, Shelby. <laughs> All right, let's move over to the Cleavers and Shelby. If you can just let us know whenever you get payment from Carlos. Yeah, I'm 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 sending Carlos right now my info on the chat. Uh, Carlos, I just dropped my Instagram link so you can click that easily. Um, hit me up over on IG uh, if you don't mind. Um, if you don't have IG, then uh, send me an email. All the stuffs right there. Take a screenshot if you need to. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay, so Cleavers, what you got for us? Hello. We got some Mighty Morphin. Power Ranger. No, it does not say Power oh, Ranger. It says Power Mighty Rangers. Morphin, and it says number one, and it says Yo, Boom. Up, How you doing, man? Go I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna try this out at five dollars. 
There you go. Five dollars starting bid. Got some mighty morphin rangers. Check it down. See, I don't Yeah, I, I don't really know. <clears throat> I don't know the song. <clears throat> I just know that like, there isn't the like the Green Ranger the coolest. He gets the most cons. I've met him I don't know how many times. The Pink Ranger is the coolest. The Pink Ranger. Yeah. Really? Now, I remember buying the Pink Ranger for my daughter when she was younger. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Miller Ranger. And then I bought the Pink Ranger blow up for my. Oh, shit. This is still on. Never mind. <laughs> What's up? I remember How are you doing? I remember back in the day watching Micro Sled. She was dressed up like a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger in a couple of the scenes. Y'all Google it and you'll see what I'm saying. VR Troopers are where it's at. That was some way back in the day stuff there. Nobody likes mm. power. Oh, oh shit, I forgot to throw the timer. So we got three minutes left on the timer, y'all. Anybody want to get in on some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for $5? Drop it in the chat. Let us know. Hey, give me some, some Rangers. I need some Ranger, Ranger Danger for $5. Make a do for five dollar. Make a ranger book. Go bye bye into your box. Are you okay over there, Pooh? Who me? Yeah, you. Yeah, why? What I do? One too many. I didn't know if you drank one too many monsters or like three five hour energies in a row or something or. No, I haven't had any. Wow. I drank a coffee like seven or eight hours ago. You hit that little wacko weed too much. I what? what? I do have a migraine. No. Maybe that's why. Nah, nah, boo. Ah. To be a kung fu fighter, you have to be primo primo donna. Hey, what's up, Snatch Face? Thanks for coming out. No, man, I have a government job. I can't smoke weed. <laughs> you can't see me winking off to the Much? side. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, Patrick. Good Maybe one, Maybe I'm these off. Five dollars, y'all. Five dollars starting bid. Nobody, likes, nobody wants number one. Who it buys is. number one? Losers. Three? Did you say three? Yeah, she, somebody wanted for three bucks. She she said drop it to three. Three dollars. Just bypass four altogether. Bypass four. Just drop it to three, like it's high. Three dollars, y'all. Three dollars. You got three. like a minute and ten seconds. Three dollars. Just snatch that away from us. Get in there. I hope for it goes bucks. more than five. That's that's less than a dollar a ranger, y'all. You got Papa Wheelie in at three dollars. He said he'll jump on hey, that. Papa Wheelie's looking right there. I can tell that. Okay. I know what he's thinking. Give me that pink ranger. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the red ranger. I thought the pink ranger was in the front. Pink ranger's behind the red ranger. I wonder what she's doing back there. I was about to say that's a first. I don't know. Jason David Frank <laughs> probably takes a lot from behind. We got 30 seconds left on the clock right now. We got Papa Wheelie in at three dollars on some Power Ranger number one. Sorry, Mighty Morphin number one. He does have that long hair that's made for the pulling. That blue <laughs> ring, like all that stuff that I don't even know anything about it. All yeah, I know is like they have they have big machines, mechazords or something. Yeah, no, Chris, absolutely. JDF would lay me the fuck out, dude. dude they dude, could dude, swap the blue guy. ranger for a purple ranger. Dude's a kung fu. Yeah, that's master. funny. Like if uh, you know, issues is probably going to get really into Mar Mighty Morphin Power Rangers now and start going. Max just hit four. Like four. We heard there. it before the timer. Did anybody yeah. else hear that? I mean. Yeah, oh, yeah, we see first. Max in there at four. Uh, it, she probably beat the timer because it was right after the timer. Y'all in the chat can she let us know for sure, but I think she beat the timer. Definitely, Trappy <laughs> Trickster. Not at all. It's your Mortal Kombat. Trappy Trickster. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, we got Papa Wheelie folding, so Max is going to take it for four Max hours. Max is going to snatch that one up. Wow, nice yeah. sight, Max. Gonna take advantage of that no shipping local delivery option. Yes, she is. It's the way to do it, man. I'd do that, too, if I had that option. All right, well, let's move Thanks, on Max. over to Cat60. Congratulations, Max. What you got for us, Cat? I'm going to keep in the spirit with my dollar start and do a... A six book lot, one dollar mighty Thor's. So it's uh three fifty four, uh three fifty six, three fifty seven, three seventy six. This is four oh two, and then I'm I'm throwing in a Thor annual number twelve. They're they're uh they need press and clean if if you're gonna do anything special with them. Um so there you go. <laughs> and I, I I call the beginning of this lot Thor getting getting uh owned. Because I mean every one of these pictures at the beginning, he's just totally getting manhandled. On and this one, I don't understand what happened to his leg. I mean, you know, look, what happened to his leg here? So I'm saying, fucking Simonson has the most misproportioned things ever. What happened well, to his leg? He's it's gone. Life, it's like that thing, that thing, like sliced through his leg or something. I don't know. Biggest kneecap ever. <laughs> Round friend. Man, you got some good books there for starting at a buck. Right now, we got uh, Starscream in the lead, lead at three. I do it for the people, man. I I, I am going to butcher that name, so we're just going to call him As Sterling. Sterling. Call him Sterling. Yeah, well. Astra. Astra. Or AZ. So Sterling came in at two. Now Sterling's at five. Starscream is folding. Yeah, we all call him Sterling. We, we all just call him Sterling. <laughs> He's part of our crew. He's part of your what? Your crew? Y'all roll our deep? Crew. You trying to take over this turf, yo? Yeah. Man, we don't play that shit. Yeah. You better come correct, strap with the gat and all that. Well, Tricky... I am a cat. I am godless. <laughs> we got like a minute and a half left on the clock. Still plenty of time for anybody else to come in and get in on these books. Some nice newsies. Got some Beta Ray on the cover. Well, everybody loves Beta Ray Bill. Is that the absorbent? I don't know who that is, but they have beautiful hair. <laughs> they have beautiful hair. <laughs> yeah, Hercules. Hercules, stiff Hercules. Store, like, Hercules. Hercules said, get out of here, man. I'm, I'm oh, where's my little baby Hercules? I got, I got dibs. <laughs> You got one minute left on the clock, y'all. One more minute. See if anybody's going to come in and snatch these books from Sterling. Trappy trickster. <laughs> Ask him about his uh, um, tricky uh, AOK. -okay. He, he likes that. Oh, did somebody get that? I know he said something about it. He told me about one person that he sent it to. You know, I'm not going to say nothing because I don't know if he wants it out there, but I think it's hilarious as shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, man. I think it's uh, that's a genius idea. I don't well, have, like, garbage books to send somebody. <laughs> you know who else did it really well is, is Comic Book Poser because he, he talks about cleaning out his garbage or something. 
<laughs> I bought one of those uh, get this crap out of my house boxes. Yeah, get this <laughs> crap out of my house. I was like, yeah, man, I'll help you, you know. And it, it was, it was crap. <laughs> I used most of it for packing material. Nice. Right, well, that was the timer. So it looks like Sterling's going to take these books for a steal at four bucks. Man, Thank you, Sterling. Deal. Hit me up on IG. It's uh, right there. We've, uh, we've already chatted. My freaking YouTube, for some reason, it keeps going back to 240p instead of staying at 720. All right, so my turn again. Let's see uh, another $2 round. But I did that. Two bucks a book. 14 wow. table. I think this, uh, this is probably going to be my last $2 round. And then I'm going to move up to some a little bit better stuff. But uh, these books, not all these books are near mint. These are a little bit older. Some of them are, some of them are. But uh, so first off, we got Un Uncanny X Men two thirty four. It's a real nice copy, but it does have a little bit of water damage. It's kind of hard to see the like browning that's in the letters. If you look real close in the X, you can see it. But uh, other than that, the spine's in great shape. It doesn't have barely. I don't think it's got any spine ticks on it for that black cover. But it is what it is. Two bucks, man. Uh, we got Fantastic Four number two sixteen. It's a pretty nice copy of that. I mean, it's it's got like a couple little spine ticks in it. Uh, these books are all nice, clean copies. These are Ultimate Spider-Man one twenty five. That Spidey with the Venom goo on him. You got one twenty eight. You got a big, massive, ugly looking Venom on the cover. And number one twenty three. Another nice Venom cover for Ultimate Spider-Man. Those are all near mint. Those are all nice books. Uh, in the F spot, we got this is uh, ASM 400. This is a lower grade copy. If you know anything about this, it's supposed to have like a white tombstone wrapped around the cover. And obviously that's um, not there. So, you know, really? it's technically incomplete because it is missing that. If it was a newsstand, it wouldn't matter because... The newsstands didn't have that, but it is what it is. It's two bucks for ASM 400, and it's not near mint. It doesn't. It's got a couple of spine sticks on it, but that's a book like if you want to get it and read it. There you go for two bucks. And then we also got ASM 281. This is the same way. It's a nice copy. It does have a couple of spine ticks in it though. And then last but not least, Damage Control number one. This is, this is in good shape. It could use a press. It's got like one or two spine ticks in it. Well, I see a couple more now. It's not near mint. It's $2. And it's from the freaking 80s. So. so I just got payment from Carlos Bola. He is good. Nice. Welcome the family, Carlos. Right on, right on. Okay, so I'm going to drop this starting line. $2 a letter or claim all for 14 You know what to do. And I just saw in the chat where Nemo said he's about to come on, so uh, we will have another seller here shortly. All right, Peter claims F, Amy claims G, T Payne claims C. Lubick, you were a little late, I think. Uh, got Peter, you were late. And then I see Amy got G. Yeah. All right, so Peter got F, Amy got G. All right, we got two Payne. Oh, I got C. Right now, T Payne only has D and E. No, E. T Payne's got E, I think. I have T Payne for C before I yeah, have Parker. Yeah, T Payne got C. Yeah. yeah, I see that. I got Louis B. C. in between them. Yeah, Louie, oh, yeah, Louie got in. And I'm, on, I'm on actual YouTube live chat. and I know. I switched it. over to StreamYard because I think we go by StreamYard. So I, I go by whatever the live chat says. Well, even even on YouTube, I still have T-Pain. I, I don't know. Know. on YouTube. And, and whatever and you I guys see. is T-Pain before it parked up. Starscream 2, please uh, remember to do one letter per D. line. Oh, Louis B.C. Parker already got F. You can't have that. I wrote that out and didn't even need to. Uh, T-Pain got D. D. 
though, before Parker. Starscream, you can't yeah, do three at a time. Mm -hmm. T-Pain for E also. So T-Pain for E and D. He got D too? Okay. Yeah. And um, yeah. Tricky got A. So we still have B and H left. No love for Fantastic Four? Y'all break my heart. Tricky Traptor said no A. Okay. Yeah, I don't see no A. Star I don't Star see where he claimed A. He claimed A right above OEBC. Yeah, I yeah, see I it on that. Right here. I can see it right That's here. Right. Star it's, Scream then wanted a. A. it's all good. Star Scream wanted A then. Star Scream wants A. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tricky said give it to Star Scream. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, Tricky. That is very, yeah, very nice of you, sir. I will take back one bad thing I said. <laughs> all right. So uh T Pain. T Pain. T Pain. And we got Starscream already has a spot in here somewhere. And the Cleavers and Parker are going to get added into the wheel of riggedness. That's funny, Parker. I'm just not going to repeat it. Um, all right, so that'll end that. Just remember, anybody that buys from anybody is going to get entered in to win the Mar the Moon Knight Marvel Legends toy. That's and right. Anybody that spends 50 bucks with any specific seller, doesn't have to be anybody in particular, doesn't have to be me, me anybody, but it has to be with one person because I'm not trying to add everybody else's shit up, is uh, going to get entered in to win the Chilling Tales of Sabrina number one. Rose Gallery, shop exclusive, 9.8. $50 with any person will get you in on that. 100 thumbs up or thumbs down. So get the thumb in. Get to stick in those thumbs somewhere. Barb, what would, what's your best for, would you do B and H together? For $3? For, for, for three? Mm. Ah, I'll pass. Well, fine then. Yeah. I'm gonna offer you two. I can offer you. Two. You want me to just give them to you? I can just give them to you. I don't need money. It's okay. My kids got me Christmas. I'll give you two dollars for them. I'll give you one of them for two dollars and the other one for one dollar. Uh -huh, I'll, I'll pass. I'll find the damage control one more. It's two dollars. <laughs> okay. Dollar bin book. I'll, you got? I'll find it. Today. Um. We got <coughs> I got mail. Yay. Let's see. Two doll hairs. There you go. Well, this will just be buy nows again. Same thing. Claim as I go. I have auction stuff ready. Oh, um, team 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 trying to put together that uh, ultimate Spider Man run. Send me your list, man. My shop just got a collection. There's a shitload of it. Uh, uh, uh. Last Ronin. $30. $30 buy it now if you want. It's a little bit cheaper than, I think, eBay. There's, they're up to like $35, $40 now. Um, I can get $30. Bucks if anyone needs one? Are these going to be all claim as you go? Yeah. Just buy it now. Two doll pairs. Yeah, thirty dollars. If anyone's interested, it's new. It's unread. Near mint. I can. Uh, I'll get a bag for a bag and board. I'll find one that can fit it well. I know it's a taller book, and you need like a custom bag. But I got uh, plenty of magazine bag. Yeah, a golden it. age or magazine bag. Yep. So this is thirty dollars. If anyone's interested. Um, I have another copy that I'll do for thirty-five. But that 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 one's my personal copy, and I don't really want to part with it. But 
If this one sells and we still have another person interested, just let me know. This is thirty dollars for the last round in. Um same price. I got thirty dollars on Venom number seven. It's a first print, Cho variant. Asking thirty dollars, it's near mint. Thirty on Venom seven. First cameo of Dylan Brock, Marvel Knights Anniversary, Spider Man cover appearance. Venom with wings. Uh, I think this is only the second, could be third, time that Venom has ever had wings on a cover. It's a key. Stupid. I love pointing out like the most ridiculous things that you could you could make a key. This is the first time Spider-Man's ever been knocked out with his right arm draping over a building. First 20 block cover. Yeah. Uh, here's Venom 7, the second print. From Captain Stegman. Near Mint, $30. First cameo of Dylan Brock. Yep, if anyone's interested in any of these, hit me up. I can always send better picks. You can always work out a deal on IG. Anything I have for sale on my Instagram page. Um, I do multi-purchase discounts, so the more you buy, the more you can save. Um, I do holds. You can build a box. So you can save on shipping. You know, if you just get one book, you don't have to pay that the big. Blah, blah, blah. I don't have to ship it out right away. You can let your box build up and take advantage of my flat rate shipping costs. Because essentially, once you buy that first book and pay the shipping, every book after that is free shipping. So, um, I know it's a little pricey, but it's what I'm looking for. Daredevil 25, Electra Dawn's the Daredevil costume, near mint, first print, the nullified variant. Asking forty five on this. Forty five dollars. If you're interested, just let me know. Ben Ben mm. Daredevil. Hit me up on IG. Mm. I can't do any better because I've already had fifty dollar offers on eBay. I have it for fifty five on eBay. I've been getting offers like fifty, fifty two, like eh. Let me see what I can get on like Instagram without the fee. Maybe I can get forty five fifty to justify this route. But yeah. So if you're interested, forty five. I love that That's cover. All, all right, yeah, all nice. right. So hit up Parker if you want any of them books. And we're gonna move over to Shelby. <laughs> I like that read. Nice. Oh yeah. So we got Mr. Fantastic, all stretchy, and a Falcon. Oh, wow. You don't see those often. You do not see these very often. So every time I play with them, I always make think that his, he sounds like Mr. T. Like, you ain't going to get me, sucker. Why are you trying to reach me? You know, and, you know, why are you guys black people in Fantastic Four? What's up with you? But anyway. So racist. <laughs> what? How? How was <laughs> not? <laughs> uh, why can't I, you sound like Urkel? <laughs> I I did not watch a uh, show. The views watched, of Shelby Comics are not the views of Symbiote Comics. I watched the A Team. So, all right, we still have Shelby Comics mystery boxes, uh, fifty dollars, and just for tonight only, you get crossover uh, limited to five hundred copies: the trade dress and the Virgin which is a $50 value. So basically you're getting the mystery box for free. So tonight, tonight only, um, just to help you to get on to that $50 wheel, man, don't give up on that $50 wheel. Get that Sabrina book. I want that Sabrina book. You can also uh, purchase an Xbox number one gold edition uh, wraparound cover. 
Uh, 9.8. Oh, beautiful book. Ooh. Beautiful book. Um, what else do I have? Oh, this is cool. How about uh, for 9.8, A Big Trouble in Little China, Escape from New York, number one. Virgin cover for $40. So you can see on the back, it's Kurt Russell versus Kurt Russell. Jack versus Snake, throw down in Chinatown. So, um, so you know, Kurt Russell was the star of both of those movies, Big Big Trouble in Little China and uh, Escape from New York. I just watched Escape from L.A. the other night. Uh, right. so yeah, $40 for a 9.8 virgin cover. Very cool. Uh, for, my, for my auction... Uh, we will start out with, um, we'll start out with these two. So we will start this at a crazy $5 for Venom, number 151, Mary Jane variant. I love this variant. So freaking cool. And uh, Venom, number 153 variant. Uh, this is a Marvel versus Capcom variant. So normally this would be $10, but for tonight I'm doing everything half price. So I'll start this at $5 and I've got some more Venoms I can add in. All right, y'all, we got the timer started and we got a $5 starting bid. Anybody wants to get in on them books, drop a five in there or go higher. Yep. And, um, yeah, I can't control the post office, Keith. Uh, uh, Tricky, didn't you order something? Did you get, did you get yours? Were you happy? If it smelled suspicious, I swear I did not rub my junk on it. Nice. However, I did. So. Wow. Oh, okay. Papa will lay in at five dollars. And see, Keith. Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, because you paid through PayPal, so it doesn't say when. I mean, but it's it says, yeah, priority one to three days. So I guess post office doesn't understand what priority means. Where do you live at? I won't shout it out or anything. Oh, that's not very far from me. I don't know what the heck. All right, $5 starting bid. Uh, Papa Will is in for $5 for these two great, beautiful copies of Venom 150, 153. Both of them are variants. Uh, the really cool Mary Jane variant. You know, not much for uh, symbiote ladies, but I got to say, Mary Jane looks kind of hot. And she's holding a little Peter skull. Um, a little Peter. <laughs> holding a little Peter skull. Oh, just the head? Just the head, yeah. She's all the just the head. Just a little head. All right, we got 30 seconds left on the clock. Papa Willie's taking this right now for $5. Yeah. You want to get in Hagar. On you want to go Hagar over Hagar. Papa Willie. you got to go over five. So drop it in the chat now before the time runs out. Yeah, and then the Marvel versus Capcom, uh, Venom 153. I never played this game, so I have no idea who this guy is. But, you know. Uh, big... Hagar. He's from Street Fighter or whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Guy. And he's got a moustache. Moustache. So he's got that 70s porn mustache. <laughs> That's a timer. So it looks like Papa Wheelie. Oh, I see what you're saying, Keith. Okay. Okay, so three out of the four made it there, but then one of them. That's weird. <laughs> it does look like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a buff ass Freddie Mercury. A really buff Freddie Mercury. Yeah, I know, right? I yeah, I was thinking Freddie Mercury. 
All right, so there you go. Congrats on that one, Papa Wheelie. All right, we got you. Yeah, we got you a box made, and um, uh, I think you still. We'll talk. Ah, where did my knife go? I want to cut. Ah, ah, there it goes. All right, all right. Let's see here. Uh, so we're gonna move over to the Cleavers. See what they got for us. If y'all could check the private chat when you get a second. I would appreciate it. I mean, everybody, not just the. Damn it! I to keep okay, up with everything go. that's going on in the private chat. Y'all been chatty tonight. There's only one thing in it. I'm talking about the private chat okay. on Streamyard. Oh, never mind. Then I can do that. <laughs> the other private chat. There we go. All right, we have the Future Foundation, um, kind of a rehash of the Power Pack. What well, a little bit. Number is one, two, three, four, and five. Um, they're all the A covers. None of the variants, unfortunately. But um, I'm going to start this out at five dollars. That's a buck a book. A buck a book, y'all. A buck a book. A buck a book. Five dollars starting bid. A buck a book to get all these good books. All right, y'all, you know what to do. Five dollars starting bid. Drop your bid in the chat. Get you some future foundation goodness. You got the whole one through five set up there. What that did you say? Was the buck a book? A buck a buck. Shit, that's a good deal. What a bargain. That is a bargain for me. I think I will buy some. The, the future foundation. Y'all calling call me racist. What the hell? You it's, it's the updated power pack. What are you talking about? I'm not. There's nothing racist. Oh. Talking? I'm just talking. Slap at the bird. Big time. Me and my friend over here. Oh. He really likes selling stuff for a buck a book. What can I say? Oh, yeah, I like a buck a book. That's the way to go. Thank you. Come again. They're, they're new, Papa Wheelie. I mean, Future Foundation has been around for 10 years, but it's always been an FF thing. But this book I mean, has only come out earlier this year. How many times do you get to see a girl with a rainbow coming out of her? In literally every issue of Power Pack. It's not scheduled. Yeah. <laughs> every uh, issue of Power Pack. There was a show I went to down in Mexico once, but that wasn't a rainbow. Yeah, we, we uh, Matt, oh, Matt, <laughs> Mexico is <laughs> talking about Kinky You Kelly. didn't eat the worm, did you? Was there donkeys involved? Is it Kinky Kelly and the sexy stud? All right, y'all, we got just over a minute left on the clock, so if anybody wants to get in on this $5 starting bid, now's your chance to drop it in the chat. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it in the chat. Drop it like it's hot. No, you can't have more than one racist in the chat, in, a, in an auction. Only one. That can be only one. I don't think that it's at all racist to talk to my my friend that's sitting next to me. And I let him on the mic anytime he wants to be on the mic. You cannot stop me. I want to be on the mic. I'm going to get on the mic. Put the needle on the record. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds, get a $5 bid. Anybody want to drop five bucks on five books? That's a buck a book. No love for the power pack kind of grown up? People just don't know. And if oh, you don't know, man. You don't show. I got a short box full of power pack. Try and power take it. Cool I back in the day. Try and take it. I dare you. It's, it's going with me to the grave. That's the timer. Looks like no love for the Future Foundation. No love. 
So if anybody comes in here wanting to pick these books up, the Cleavers would really like it if you'd hit them up on the Instagrams. And uh, we're going to move over to Cat 60. All right. I'm moving away from the dollar start. Um, I got God Country 5 Spawn Variant. Um, it's an homage to 285. Power I'm gonna, pack, pack. Sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this at 30 bucks. Shirty dollar. Shirty dollar. All right, we got the starting bid down, $30 starting bid. We got the timer rolling. Y'all get it in there. Drop your bid in there in the chat. You got some nice God Country up in here. God Country is a really good story. I actually liked it a lot. Yeah, it is a good story. Looks like uh, so red, is that so is Redneck. Cover? Whoa, yeah. what's that? Where'd that come from? You can't just do that. You that came from right field. You can't just flop it out and then put it away without like letting us admire it. Cheese and rednecks around here. I know, uh, especially some shiny rednecks. Shiny, shiny. Where'd that come from? It came from the store. Can I have I it? it sure, you could have it. Is that enough? Thank you. I Absolutely, you could have it. I don't mind paying for shipping. <laughs> okay. Shipping's uh fifty dollars. <laughs> Is that with the insurance? Because I mean, it might get lost when it gets to my house. Way, Come on, y'all. We, we got a minute and a half left on the clock. This is a good book, y'all. Go look it up. See what it goes for. Thirty dollars ain't shit. It's Spawn Country. Dude, we have ah. some massive specs coming out of the out of uh, crossover too. Like this is an homage to um, Spawn two eighty five, um, or an homage, however you want to say it. Um, and what it is is like in uh, Spawn ten, Spawn captures all the superheroes and he takes their powers, and um. So in 285, Spawn winds up in jail. So there's going to be something that has the has the. There's going to be something that comes out of that. I don't know what it is yet, but you got Keith Lackey in there at 30. Still got a minute left on the clock, y'all. Cat country. <laughs> I was ranting last night, wasn't I, man? That is the timer. Looks like Keith Lackey's going to take that for 30 bucks. Great deal. Mr. Lackey, congratulations. Sweet. All right, all right. And now we got a new panel member joining us tonight. First triumphant return is Nemo Comics. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? What's going on? Are you on the laptop? Yeah. The laptop's working? Mm-hmm. I'm a genius. Thank you. Thank you. I much <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, I do see what you were talking about on the side of the screen, but it, it's not a problem. Um, yeah, thank you for uh, having me back on. Uh, I want to shout out Bill Economics and Comics for shouting us out with this auction tonight as well. Um, he didn't have to do that, but he went on his way to do so. Um, yeah, let me start off with something small. Maybe not small, small, but... Um, if you can't get it, ASM 129, how about a reprint? Or not a reprint, but what do you call it? Marvel Tales. Yeah. yeah. Is it a reprint? 
Yeah. Well, well, it's it's just the story, but it's the, but it's the first time it was in Marvel Tales. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, uh, not in the highest of grades, but it's not you know let's say about a mid. Yeah. Let me show you the spine and everything. I'll show it this way. Yeah, that's a cool book, man. I like that one. Yeah, I mean that book even is go. That book is even valuable because it is the first reprint of yep. that first Punisher appearance, and exactly uh, right. So yeah, and, uh, it, it's still worth a little bit. I don't know if you uh, still want to do combined shipping, Foo. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, if you already purchased with Foo tonight and uh, you want something from me, it goes on with the shipping, so you don't have to pay double shipping. That we do combined shipping. If it does go into a bigger box, we'll talk about that and add a little bit more on the, the shipping. But other than that, twenty dollars starting bid, uh, nine dollars ship. If you haven't bought the food. I'm sorry. What did you say the starting bid was? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Okay, dropping that in the chat. Got this time. What number is that, please? Yeah. Thank you. One oh six. It says in near mint condition is a forty dollar book. Yep. I'll give you guys a little bit of a deal. Written by Jerry Con Con Conway. Conway. I don't know why I wanted to say Conan. <laughs> Drawn by Gil Kane. I think Gil Kane did the original one too. Yeah. And it is a new stand. New stand. New stand. Got just over two minutes in the on the clock. But yeah, this is an you don't want to pay uh, twelve hundred dollars for a mid grade of one of these. This is your next specs best option. No. The blood red reprint because this is bloody and red. Yeah. <laughs> people prefer the red cover, which you know, it's cool. you know, yellow is really nice too. Uh, but usually, when you associate yellow, you're thinking Daredevil. Um, but yeah, uh, good story to read. You know, you don't want to open up your ASM 129 of keeping it nice and pristine. This is a nice way to get yourself a copy, not only to look nice, but to read. Get that story in if you haven't read it yet. For real. Twenty dollars starting bid, y'all. We got just over a minute left on the clock. We got 30 seconds left on the clock. Still no takers at $20 starting bid. What's up, Terrell? Thanks for coming out. You've been with us the whole night in spirit, and now he's with us. <laughs> I noticed the uh, your little uh, stream yard emblem there. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I first saw that, I, I he's a supervisor. Yeah. He watches, <laughs> watches over us as we do our auction. What's um? Did you give the grade on that. How you doing, Mo? Good to see you. How are you doing, Parker? I said about a mid grade, right. maybe a little higher than a mid grade. Uh, I mean, you can always hit me up, Parker. Uh, but I was just selling for twenty. If not, you guys can always hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I know I have my cash app there, cash app uh, as payment there. I can do Venmo or uh, PayPal. Um, I just don't prefer them. But who let Billy in here? But yeah. Oh, Get Bill. Oh, out of here. Heck yeah. Shout out to Bill again. Thank you, Bill, uh, for, you know, shouting us out for tonight. Hope you're doing well. But, yeah, uh, go ahead. You can go on with the next person. Just hit me up if you guys are interested. Sorry, I was writing somebody something on Instagram. 
Um, yeah, yeah, Mix was in at 20. That book. Just hit my what, man? Yeah, just hit me up. No, I, I want it. I won at 21. We did a. Yeah, uh, Peter, a Peter got it at oh. 21. Economics folded. Oh, look at there. See, I was on my phone. I didn't notice. I'm such I'm, a bad host. I didn't see that either, but yeah. All right. You got your Peter. All right, Parker. Cool, cool, cool. There you go. <laughs> Parker, Parker got it for $21. Thank you, thank you. That's a good deal, man. Okay. okay. So, uh, this uh, $3 round. Let me get, I gotta pull this stuff back up again. Three dollars each letter. The whole table, instead of being 24, I'm gonna do 20 dollars. So you get a free book and you get a dollar off, right? So uh, just claim the letter after the starting line goes down. You want to claim all, do it after the starting line, just be the first one to claim it. You can have them all for 20 bucks. Uh, first up, we got Fantastic Four number one. This is like the venomized. Variant. Everyone's got venom tons. And then we got Immortal Hulk number 34. The big brain leader hanging out. It's still like a dollar under cover price, y'all. Wait. Yeah, it's four dollar cover price. So it's cheaper than cover price. Uh then we got this is the hunger number one. That's galactic cover. Galactic Galactus cover. Nice high grade copy of that. And everybody's favorite clown. It's Obnoxio the clown. And he's gonna fight the X-Men. This is uh it's a new stand. It's got a little bit of like color smear right there by Colossus's shoulder. You kind of see it. But it's in really good shape. Definitely a three dollar at least book, probably more. Um we got some DC books next. We got Weird War Tales number 72. You're into like Nazi covers. I know everybody was talking about us being racist. I, I swear I didn't plan that. <laughs> um, What's up, Glitter and Duct Tape? Here we got Green Lantern number 54. Uh, this is a cool book. This is the one after Kyle Rayner finds his girlfriend all chopped up in the refrigerator and he goes out for blood and he finds it. Yeah. We're not racist. We just sound like it sometimes. We just say racist things. No, not really. Uh, then we got Green Lantern this is number 81. Near mint copy. Nothing wrong with this book at all. Oh. It's worth more than $3. Oh. Look it up. You're touching my fully heart. Uh, this Ugh. is uh, Superman number 74. This is like the last final battle with, with you know, Doomsday. Before the inevitable, not really demise of Superman. So three bucks a book, twenty bucks takes them all. Just be the first one in the chat to drop it, and it can be yours. Yeah, man, we got a lot of people just joined. So Flash by Night, welcome. Glitter and duct tape. Max is back. Guess who's back? T Pain just claimed E. Keep paying for E, Max for C, M E for D. Sorry, Marco, you were a little late. Max also gets F and G. So Max gets C, F, and G. And then. And then uh, M.E. got D. M.E. Comics is here. What's up, man? Yeah, what's up, M.E.? Why don't I see him on my... Oh, he's up there. Okay. Yep, so M.E. got D as in uh, Dingleberry. The Obnoxio? Yeah. It's just me, Obnoxio. Yeah, Steven. Right, we just got A, B, and H left. Steven Fox said they wanted X. We got Cameron Wood claiming B. Cameron, I don't think I've ever seen you in here before. I've never met Cameron either. Um, if you would, uh, I'm going to drop my Instagram link. If you would hit me up on Instagram, that way I can get all your information and uh, we can get you, you know, verified that you're, um, what would you, what, what do you call it? Uh, legitimate. Real? 
awesome. Yeah, a real person that really wants to buy comics and not just somebody out for a good time. Is this real life? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll drop it here in the chat in a second. Um, Make sure you're bona fide. Okay, well, you see my email right there. You can go ahead and send me an email. That way, uh, I can yeah, I can verify you my comments. Okay, oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. All right, we know Mike. We're good friends with Mike. All right, so we just got A and H left. If anybody's interested in them, that would be six bucks. So, uh, shoot, I'll do four. I'll do them both for two bucks each if anybody wants them both. Four dollars. That's a steal for that Fantastic Four number one Venomized cover. If I didn't already have it, I'd be jumping on that like white on rice. And don't forget, anybody that buys from anybody tonight, I'm going to show this at, at the end of each one of my turns. Everybody that buys from anybody is going to get on the wheel to win the Moon Knight Marvel Legends toy. All you got to do is buy something from somebody. Anybody that spends $50 with any particular seller just has to be $50 with the same seller. It's going to get on the wheel to win the Sabrina, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number one. Um, this is the Rogue Gallery Comics store exclusive that they did for some Chilling Adventures. And if we get up to 100 likes or dislikes, giving away the ASM 252 slab. So hit that thumb button. I don't care which way it points as long as you hit it. Oh, T Pain said he wanted letter A. Well, no, no, it's it's if you want, if you just want one of them, it's three dollars. If you want to take them both, I'll do them both for two dollars each. If you feel what I'm saying, <laughs> give the man one more dollar, T Pain. <laughs> one dollar, come on. It's actually, yeah, it's only one dollar more, and you can have both of them. That's right. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So. Max is getting on the wheel. Yep, Max said she gets on that wheel. All right, T-Pain said he'd take both of them. Um, All right, cool, man. Yeah. Emmy's getting on the wheel. Yeah, Keith, it just has to add up to 50 with an individual seller. Does it, or is it 50 at one time? No, no, no it's not 50 for the whole show. With one seller, oh. it's it's just not going to spread across all the sellers. So oh, I got spending you. fifty dollars tonight. It's spending fifty dollars oh. this person, or whatever. Okay, my mistake. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I know it's confusing, and I didn't really put a whole lot of forethought into it. But you know what? Great things happen for the moment. Like. All kinds of things. And we got Cameron getting on the wheel. To win the moon night. To win the moon night. Okay, so I uh, appreciate all those claims, y'all. Yeah, uh, stock, any one seller that adds up to $50. So you could do 10, 20, and 20. Or you can do... Five 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 What's that? Like if you if you it's pretty simple. If you buy enough books from one person, you spend more than fifty bucks, you get on the wheel. But it's just not if you buy a little bit from this person and that person and that person and it adds up to fifty. That's not how it works. You gotta buy fifty dollars from one person. You can spend fifty dollars with each one of us, and you'll get on the wheel. <laughs> Does that make sense? Would you get on the wheel six times? No, you're still just gonna get on the wheel once. Oh, fifty dollars. Cameron said he sent you an email. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna move over to Parker now. Let's see what Parker's got going. Bye. I would do that if you want to do fifty-one dollar sales. You just want me to say one fifty times. <laughs> Please don't. Okale, dokale. It's web slugging time. All right. Yeah, uh, my office. I want to shove these mystery boxes. That's 50 bucks. You're automatically in. Yeah, I think it was too, but I got, work. I got stuck. Tell you what, you want to get in right now? You want to cut to the chase and just buy one book? This is uh, extra credit too. Thor number two, 60 bucks. All right, well, here's my auction first. Um, 
Mortal Hulk number one. Hey, is that our lighting? <laughs> Struggle is real. All right, Mortal Hulk number one. Uh, it started at a dollar. Screw it. Oh, my gosh. Because if I just said 30 or 40, it ain't going to sell. So let's just do one and see where it goes. If this sells for three dollars, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, you know it's preferred, Max, but you fought with me before, so um, you can do Venmo or uh, Cash App. So you're mostly seeing glare there. There's not that color rub that this book's notorious for. It doesn't really have that. I definitely call it near mint. If the graders having a bad day, this might be a nine six copy, but. It's still near mint, but it's it's basically perfect. I don't even think it would benefit from a press. Boom. I like PayPal. Yeah, I like PayPal too. Max is good with PP. <laughs> I bet you are into PP. E. Not my initial thing. Real piece. Mortal Hulk number one. Al you Joe Bennett. Alex Ross. Homaging the beautiful Marie Severin. Mirthful Marie. You're like, what? It's a cover swipe? Yeah, man. Right there. What is that? Hulk 105. Hulk 105. I highly recommend you all get that book. One of the greatest comic covers of all time. And this swipes it. And then this is one of the greatest, best stories of all time. 30, yeah. Got my gold. Yeah, as I said, it's uh, it's near mint. I'd almost call it near mint minus to near mint, but I'm I'm meaning more like a nine six. It's not like a nine oh nine two. It's, it's high nine 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 six. Looks like we're up to thirty dollars with Cameron Wood right now. Right on. We got Keith Lackey in there. It looks like him and Cameron are going at it. Sterling came in a little low, a little late. my light up a little bit oh we got keith folding so right now we got a uh, we got about 30 seconds left on the clock and cameron is in the lead at 30 bucks and i did any more cameron back Should have poked at your initials. <laughs> um if anyone needs any other issues i have like two or three full runs um i want to keep one to sell as a set but if someone's like oh i need like Three, six, and nine. Well, hey, I got you. Or I just need number twelve or thirteen. Or I need the the keys. I can probably get them for you. What if so you if need you like seven and four? four? Who? What? <laughs> but yeah, if anyone needs Venom, the current Venom run, or the current Mortal Hulk run, or Daredevil, I have pretty much doubles and triples of all of them. So I should, I can hook up anybody's list that you have. Just send it to me. All right, Cameron out. is picking that up for thirty dollars. That was the timer. Sounds good to me. Cool. So there you go. Uh, we haven't done business before, so just email me there or send payment there or hit me up on Instagram or whatever works for you. He said he go doesn't right. have Instagram, but he just oh, emailed you? Okay. And yeah, uh, I thought that might emailed him back. Yeah. So I sh whenever I get his payment, I can confirm all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, that's my email to Michael at. Michael821 at gmail.com. We can trade info there and whatnot. I trust you. Thank you. Right on, right on. Let's move on over to Shelby, who isn't playing with toys this time. Shock. No, I got busy. Some people was hitting me up on IG about some things. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to continue with the Venom. So, here is Venom number... Uh, I'll start this at $10. Venom number 20. Very cool cover. 
Venom number 21, little Venom Island, and Venom number 27. First print. So I will start there at $10 for these three books. And that's the last of the Venom books that I have tonight. So $10, great deal. All right. So um, I just sold, that's what I was busy doing. I sold um, two more of the mystery boxes. So we have the $50 mystery boxes. Uh, you'll get a bunch of variants, high grade stuff, all high grade. Uh, in the $50 box, you either get signed a signed uh, book or a high value variant. Um, it's random. I don't even know what the boxes are. All right, you got uh, 15 in at 10 right now. And nice. just for tonight, I'm going to throw in Crossover. This is a 500 print exclusive, uh, the Tron variant. Uh, you get the trade dress and the Virgin. This is a $50 value in itself. So basically, you get this. Uh, it's like getting the mystery box for free. Um, so this is a $50 value that I'll throw in for free tonight. Only. Um, so showing uh, the Venoms again. Number 20. Number 21. And then number 27. And right now we're at $10. Uh, we got just over two minutes left on the clock. So a couple of other buy it nows if you wanted. I have a 9.8 Han Solo number one for 40. Dang. Super great deal. I still have uh, the cable number 150 lens ticular cover uh, that reprints the I'm um, not sure if it reprints or if it's a. No, it's just a cover a homage. Uh, 9.8 for uh, 50. Yeah, that one's a fresh story. Yeah, it's a fresh story. Uh, X Force One, the gold variant. So it's a wraparound cover. $80, 9.8. Big Trouble in Little China slash um, Escape from New York. So you get um, Kurt Russell against Kurt Russell. Nine point eight forty $40. Right now, up for sale or auction, I should say, is the Venom, number 20, number 21, and number 27. So T Pain is in at 10 still. Yep, we got 45 seconds left on the clock. Yep. I think it's all I kind of have for sale. All right. Yeah, I love cover 20, uh, the cover number 20. It's it's uh, like half um, of the uh, Kodak and then half Venom. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, that's just the regular cover. So, but uh, all right, T Pain, super great, buddy. Let me mark you down. And um, Max, I'll now get back with you and um i had uh, one other person that i was working something with over an ig i'll get back with y'all guys right now all right all right we're gonna move on over to the cleavers and see what they got for us hey parker real quick if you get a minute check ig okay Go ahead. um i got a dc auction I got Wonder Woman 750, which is the Torpedo Comics exclusive. I have Batman Gotham Adventures number nine and Superman number one Rebirth. 
No, Superman does have a color rub from here to here. Um, I'm going to start this at five bucks. Five dollar. Five dollar. Five dollar. Yep. Five dollars. All right, there you go, y'all. Five dollars is the starting bid. Get in there and get your books for five bucks. Books for five bucks. Do we have any buy it now or no? I don't know. I can know. buy it. I gotta buy it now. I've been pushing this one a little bit, but I'm still kind of. I still got my Batman, Winter Force, Glow in the Dark. Mission Masters number four from what did I say it was 2001. 2001. Um, I'm asking 10 on it. If anybody's interested, no, Steven Spot Cat did not rub it. I can rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Now we rubbed it. Now I rubbed it. Wow, wow, rubbed it. I rubbed it. And notice earlier I was called Klondike. Now I got called Kevin. Uh -huh. That's scary. Uh -huh. Is anybody out there? Very quiet. They left me. They abandoned me. I'm gonna, sending somebody a link. Five dollars for some decent. Tricky. Five dollars. Tricky truck. If you're still in here, I sent you a link. If, if you DC still want to do out. comics, or they only do like four comics a month. I always said Marvel was better. I don't know if it's Marvel's better or. If it's the independents are a whole lot better nowadays. T Pain's in at five. T Pain's in at five. T Pain's stealing the books away from me again. <sighs> That's all right. He's looking at that bat girl right there. She backs up to the ledge. I know what T Pain's doing. Shut up. <laughs> You're so bad. It's so funny, even when I minimize the thing on my screen, on my telephone, on my phone, I can still see Mr. Gorilla's face perfectly. <laughs> no matter what size it is, it still stands out so well. We got your bid, T-Pain, and we your box you, should be showing up soon, too. We got you, T-Pain. Oh, yeah, we got you. You're good. Let's see. We got 30 seconds left on the clock. T Pain is in the lead at five. Look, anybody got Transformers? Transformers? I don't have any Transformers, but somebody might. I we thought I did. But they were more than Actually, I do have Transformers. What were you last night, Starscream? Who is it? Is it Starscream asking for it? Of course yeah. it is. Do you want Generation 1 Transformers? Do you want comic books? How do you want it? How do, you, how do you want to do this? You said, how do you want it? Now, you just put your foot in your mouth there on that question. How do you want it? <laughs> right? Damn. All right, there you go. That is the timer. Thank you, T-Pain. So, uh, yep, T-Pain's snatching that one up. Any and generation. Star said, any way you got it. All right, all right. So, let's, uh, let's see. Let's move on over to Cat60, see what he's got. I got redneck number one, silver foil. I mean, I, I really have to start this off at forty dollars. It's a cool book, man. No doubt. All right, y'all see it? It's down in there, forty dollars starting bid. If you don't know, go look it up. Redneck number one. That's like the one per store, right? Like they sent out one gold foil per store. Well, th this is the silver foil. The gold foil is more common. So. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's weird. So 
So what kind of ratio does that book have on it? Do you know? I don't even know. I'm serious. I don't know. They, I, I, I know they have some variants. Like they have a gay pride one, which is really bizarre. I was kind of shocked to see it, but they have it. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong it's, with it. Yeah, it's a it's a one per store. Also, it's a retail appreciation variant. One per one per store. So you figure it's less than five thousand copies. Silver foil. There we go. Redneck number one, silver foil, 2017, at a 9.8 fair market value is $65. Yeah. So he's coming in about 25 bucks under what it's worth. <laughs> and, and the sad part is, is that I may want to go in. This is my last one. I may want to go ahead and get another one so i would give this to somebody and pay more to get it back <laughs> <laughs> isn't that crazy the way that works <laughs> yeah. all right we got just under a minute left on the clock 40 dollars starting bid redneck number one one per store silver foil edition that's yep. a dope book man and it costs about 25 to get it rated get you some donny kate's before he was drawing like writing Thor and freaking everything, Venom and Venom. all that. Hell, yeah. Iron Man. He's written all kinds of crap, dude. Yeah, it's a really great story, man. It's uh about a barbecue joint that's run by vampires, and so instead of drinking human blood, they drink like you know cattle blood, and the yeah they raise they raise the cattle and butcher them for the meat. And they take the blood and use that to, to survive on. Yep. Just when you okay, thought there's definitely. nothing else you can do with vampires. <laughs> all, right. all right. So no takers on that. It looks like the chat went totally silent on that. They were all in awe. Nobody knew what to think. They were all like, <laughs> should I bid? Should I not? Whatever. What? And what yeah. shall I do? They absolutely went silent, didn't they? Holy yeah. shit. So if anybody There's like, out there watching this on the rewind does want to pick that up, just hit Cat 60 up. See if he'll make a deal with you. He probably won't sell for 40 bucks, but hey, you could probably get a good deal for it. What's up, Mo? Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> so uh this next um book that I'm putting up, um, wasn't really trying to sell it, but you know, everybody knows with COVID and how businesses are kind of taking a hit theater companies taking a big hit but um i'm putting up thor 109 this is about another mid-grade dang um, that's a magneto yeah unfortunately <laughs> um of all the books that i have i mean i I'd, I'd let this go and then maybe eventually get one again later down the road but as of right now kind of have to part with this um, I say mid-grade. Uh, the spine isn't really that bad. It's got like a little bit of rough right there on the uh, staple. A little bit of a, a tick. Well, more than a little bit, but yeah, on there. And then, of course, it's written on with the date. I don't know if that was from the um, comic shop that originally did it or if that was someone else that did it, but yeah. Uh, it looks like it could could come off. Um, so. Yeah, it, it's it's called Grease Pencil, and it's what magazine distributors would write on. So, like, they would know when to pull a comic book off of the shelf and replace it with something okay. else. Cool. Thanks for the info. Um, but yeah, uh, Thor 109. Um, I'm going to start this off at $30, $9 ship. Thirty dollars, you said? Yeah. 
There you go. Starting bid, 30 bucks, y'all. Crazy. Got this timer going. Yeah, I'm trying to look it up right now while we're yeah. doing this. Kirby, Kirby uh, goodness. Uh, it's, yeah, that's one of my favorite. Probably movies. the first, first <laughs> meeting between Magneto and Thor, uh, which I can't think of them meeting that often anyway. Nope. A little X Men and Avenger clash up. Um, don't know what. I don't like this website. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they met to ultimatum again, which is, God, thirty years later. You never know with the MCU later. how they're gonna combine some of the villains with uh, uh, X Men and uh, Marvel. Uh, the oh, that's not even a Thor. That's a journey into mystery. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm not finding it any in Thor. It's journey yeah, into journey into mystery. Oh, okay. I I, I never could remember which uh, issue it switched from Thor from uh, journey into mystery. 121 or 127, something like that. Right. 126. 126. Thank you, sir. Oh, not that one. Go back. Help out the old man. Remember. Journey into Mystery 109, Magneto Appearance. First crossover, it is. Mm -hmm. In mid-grade, like a 6.0, Overstreet claims it's 138. So even a 4.0, it's $92. Yeah. So, there's a lot of meat left on this bone, even if it comes out as a 4.0. Uh, yeah, a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. Right now, Cat 60 is in at 35. Parker's in at 3 or 30. Yeah, CGC does not count off for grease pencils. So you said, really, that's the only defect is the top staple? I mean, what yeah, up? Yeah, I mean, uh, the spine Purple. is pretty nice. It's, I mean, of course, it's kind of a little rough for a mid grade. Um, I mean, not super rough, but I can just show you guys. You know if you guys see that well. Yeah, a little bit. Sorry, any, kind of big, any other kind of big creases in it or anything? Not that I can tell. Let me look at the light. And there's no like middle spine crease or anything on it. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, Go at the top collector, the low grade 2.0 sells for 40. So you don't even reach what a 2.0 sells for. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. it's much better than a two point Let me, I can even show you guys the back if you want. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It says a a, a mid grade, which you know, what would that be on this? A five, a five sells for one twenty. Right. Uh, that's why I said a four point oh grades at ninety two. Yeah, so that's just, that's a good deal. We still got multiple bidders in here right now, so the clock don't really matter right now. Shelby's in at fifty dollars. We still got Parker in. We still got Cat sixty in. Well, Cat sixty folded. I'm a bitch. It's okay, man. We all need one. Damn. <laughs> hey, it's a little uh, you know, keep browning it to you, just so you know. That's but again, there's no uh, no creases, no splits, no nothing in the back, no cuts, right. no nothing. That's so, fine. I'm just waiting on Parker to fold. <laughs> no, I'm 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 good with it. I'm just waiting for Parker to fold. What if he What if he four quarters you? You think Parker's gonna fold? Shit! How can I? Parker's uh, almost like a guy. He's almost like a guy. Almost. Almost. He's like one surgery oh away. <laughs> you and I have not talked in IG need mo since July. I told okay. you he was gonna four quarter you. That's been a minute. Yeah, freaking so. dust that boy. <laughs> Oh, one. Go ahead. Parker's at 51, bit. man. Parker's at 51. There Parker folds. Shelby Thomas. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
I appreciate it, Toby. Uh, again, if you um, got something with uh, Barb, uh, just let me know on Instagram. Um, yeah, I got some stuff here for Shelby. And I could just combine ship that so you don't have to pay extra on shipping. Oh, uh, okay. And that's also going to get Shelby on the wheel of uh -oh. Slabbage. Nice. 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 What the heck do I have with you, Barbarian? You bought books for me before. I got some, like, freaking America number one and some other. Oh, uh, like, yeah, stuff. yeah, the variant stuff. Yeah, and then you won a giveaway, too. So I got a. I got a oh, really? Oh, he's, got that, he's got oh, that cross dresser number four. Yeah, man, you're the big I'm winner. Wiener. I'll have to show you one time. All right, so this is going to be a $4 round. Four bucks. I'm going up now. We're just going to keep on climbing. Got to keep on climbing. Um, <laughs> I love so you, Peter. That's this is what we're going to do. $4. What's four yeah. times eight? That's like 28 32. Is that right? 32. 32. That's 32. 32. So $28 will claim the whole table. That means you get a free book. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go through. I'm going to tell you the grades on these books. I'm not going to tell you every defect that's on these books because most of these are Silver Age, lower grade. Like when I say lower grade, I mean like, you know, they're Crap. definitely not near mint. But they're, uh, they're still, there's still value there. But they're only four dollars too, so keep that in mind. But uh, I'll tell you what I have them graded at, and you can go from there and decide whether you want to pay four bucks for them. It's pretty simple. Uh, the first two though are, are easy. They're Amazing Spider-Man books, and they're in good shape. We got ASM two fourteen. Uh, this one's in nice shape. It does have a couple spine takes, but it is in good shape. We also got ASM two fifteen. This one does have a couple more spine takes on it than the other one. So it's a little bit lower grade than the other one. Uh, I'd say this one is at least very fine. This one's probably fine minus somewhere in there. But that's what that was. The rest of these are the ones I graded each one of these. I took them all out of the bags, looked at everything on them, and gave them all grades. Uh, so the first book we got, this is a 2.5 to a 3.0. It's Adventure Comics number 275. Nice. DC. Uh, let's see. I don't. Oh, this is the origin of Superman and Batman's teaming up. So it explains to you the first time Superman and Batman teamed up. Uh, next one we got is Adventure Comics 335. First appearance of Star Fingers. He's got stars on his fingers. That's a. Uh... It at a three to a four. You can see on the cover there's a little bit. This could use cleaning really good. Uh, definitely could use a good cleaning. Uh, popular with the girls. Yeah, oh God, you got to know it. Well, uh, later, he was part of the ambiguously gay duo. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the dude's got uh, he's got glutes on his back. Wow, <laughs> he's got a back that goes all the way down. <laughs> okay, uh, world's finest number one forty-two. First appearance of the composite Superman. That's Superman, uh -huh. Batman. It's like an android mixed together. Uh, I have this graded at a 2.5 to 3.0. Obvious spine roll there. You can see that. Biggest shit. Yeah, freaking great book, though. Yeah. Oh, that's, God. God. that's why you, it's, you it's are you're, all around. <laughs> you are tickling my Silver Age itch. We got, yeah, we got World's Finest number 114. Another 10 cent DC book. This is, uh, I got this graded at a 2 to a 2.5. You got a bunch of balls. You got Batman and Robin in balls on that one. Uh, Superman put Batman and Robin in balls. There you go. Here's some Action Comics. You got Supergirl. This is Action Comics 373. And I have this. This is a square bound book. I got this graded at a 1.8 to a 2.0. Uh. Spine, like the spine looked pretty crushed. All of these books could benefit from a clean and press. Full disclosure, all of these books when I bought them all have extra staples in them. And I had to remove extra staples. So they all have extra staple holes in the covers. That's why they all grade so low. Well, I mean, that's one of the reasons that they all grade so low. Um, last one we got here. This is Action Comics 281. Another 10 cent Action Comics. Got this one graded at a 1.8 to 2.0. It's got some writing at the very top. 
kind of hard to see right above Action Comics. Somebody wrote their name on it. That's just one of the defects on it. But it's four bucks. Four dollars. So, like I said, claim all for 28 or four dollars a book. I'm going to drop the starting line in here. If you want them all, do it after the starting line. Make all your claims after the starting line. And you can make that happen. So if anybody wants any, starting line is down. Feel free to claim away. What is up? My chat is like so slow. Uh, you've got to claim one letter per line. You, you can't claim them all at once. Um, I mean, you still get the. It's yeah, day, right? I didn't say we didn't make that specifically clear because I just assumed everybody knew it. So I'm I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. Yeah, Cameron's yeah, in, the, in the first. Yeah, I think like, you know, first line, in the future, yeah. please just do one claim per line. Sorry, Amy. I know you wanted both of them, and you did it right. It's all good. Ooh, those got the Kirby crackle. Well, he does anyway. Yeah, they're, hey, they're, you'd rather. They're consecutive. He's the better for us. One right after he's another. Better. And Cameron, I sent you an email. I hope you got it. I haven't heard back from you yet. Uh, let's see. We got T Pain getting G D C. Yeah, Cameron paid me, so I mean, he's good for it. So whether he's responded yet, I don't know. G, D, C. All right, so we just got E, F, and H left. Oh, Max came in way late on the B. <laughs> Sorry, Max. I didn't start a timer because I talked so long that I figured by the time I get done explaining everything. Also, don't forget... Thumbs up or thumbs down. We get to 100. I give away the ASM 252 slab. Anybody that spends 50 bucks with anybody in here is going to get the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. You're going to get on the wheel. And give away the, the, the Rogue Gallery Comics exclusive. Anybody that buys from anybody that hasn't already bought from anybody is going to get on the wheel to win the Moon Knight toy from Marvel Legends Moon Knight. And unless somebody else, oh wait, we got ME came in. What letter E? So if anybody else wants any of these, drop it in the chat with the quickness, because then we're going to move on over. Where's ME? All right, well, let's move on over to Parker and see what Parker. he's got for us. If anybody wants any of these other two that are left up there, F and H, then you just drop it in the chat, four bucks each, and they're yours. Uh, where am I at here? Parker. Hey, that's me. That's Steve. Um, sorry, Thor 3. Trying to price trick. <laughs> Trying to price check something. Holy cow. Uh, let's do a Daredevil lot this round. Any Daredevil fans out there? 40 bucks. Sorry, they're out of order. Uh, we'll start at... Let's start at a dollar. Fine. We're going to put this up the starting line. Make it do for a buck or two. Two, three, four, five. Okay. <clears throat> so, here's a little Daredevil lot, and we can definitely build onto it. I've got a whole big stack of Daredevil like this high. Um, so, for one dollar, you'll start with these five books. Oh, and I should discuss this. I don't think I've shown this all night. Um, my shipping rates are $9 flat rate. That's all you pay. Um, and the pay PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. You can do cash and money order. If you want to send it by mail, that's your own prerogative. That's your own peril. Um, yeah, shipping, flat rate, $9. Feel free to build a box with me. Um, I can do holds. I'll do layaway. 
I'm free, flexible, just message me as long as we communicate. Communicate what you need. Communication is key. Especially if you can give me like, hey, I'm broke until X date or until this so-and-so or until next bit. As long as you tell me, I don't care. That's fine. That's great. Bring it on. I want your business. Five dollars starting bid. No, one dollar starting bid. Five books. You get a David Finch cover of Daredevil Shadowland After the Fall number one. Like, like, like. Uh, man, I'm so not ready. I should actually say, don't start the timer till I show all these books, because that's kind of the I format. I haven't started the timer yet. Okay, cool. All right. I always wait so till you start till you show yeah, your books, right. and then I start it. All right. Like, man, my time's gonna run out before I even get through the fifth book. That's why I'm uh, always like, you don't need to explain them so much. Just show them. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Daredevil 334 with the pink and gray costume. Esau Ribich art. Daredevil 501, there's 505, and then this is Daredevil 87, DD versus DD. Double so that's D. Your five starter. <laughs> double, double D. Double, double, double D. D. Double, double D, double wood. You got Cameron Wood in a dollar. Who's this fresh news guy? Talking crap. Fresh. You got Max in at two. Okay, okay. If we can get up to five, I'll throw in this cool variant cover to 602, and it's like a Deadpool homage. It was like unofficial Deadpool variant month. There's a couple books that had like Daredevil, no, Deadpool styled covers. That comes in at five. I like Boom. that. Comment. I'm going to pin that up to the top. The F is the trash. <laughs> so five dollars. We are in. That's in there too? Yeah. <laughs> You're willing to go to 10. I got two more to add. I will add Daredevil one half. Dang, we're up to 69. Don't be scared. Push dude. It a little farther. You never this is know. This the wizard. Wizard Ace comes with the COA signed. Wait, what? Book one half. What? Wizard one half. Wizard Ace book. This will come in at 10 along with this book, too. I'll throw in Beware the Daredevil number one. Yeah, cool, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Taz in there. Max came back at six. Yes, nine people thumbing up and down. There's thumbs so right going now. Up at six, six, nine. Max is in. So we're at ten with all these. No, nah, we're at sixty-seven and one thumb down. Somebody did something. Okay. Um. At fifteen, I'll add these books. You'll get Daredevil Bullseye number one, and you'll get Daredevil Punisher. Number one. Oh, nice. So those will come oh, in at Max 15. At 12. How much for the Hulk fillers? I don't know what you mean. If you're looking for like a Mortal Hulk, like two through, they're on 30 something now. You just got to let me know. I mean, issue two is a $50, $60 book. Um, three and four, those are like all. Pretty much the single digits are $20 books, so it just depends what you're looking for. The fillers would be in the 20s, and yeah, those are like cover price books. But the, the early Immortal Hulks are all in the 20 to 30 range, if not 40, 50, 60, and they're all they're pretty up there. 15, all right. So we've got the, the Punisher and Bullseye are coming in. At 20, I'll add three more books. I will add uh, number two from the Kevin Smith run. Daredevil's trying to kill a baby. And I'll add the Ben Affleck movie uh -huh. number one. Oh, uh -huh. you got the best. Yeah. That's the best Daredevil ever. Yeah. Right there. It's just plummeted the value. Everybody's going to fold now. Everybody's folding right now. I see it. The Earth's and folding. Daredevil father number one. So <coughs> three, more, three more number ones will go in at $20. Last three books. Otherwise, we're at 16 right now. You got Max for everything I'm doing. 16, you're getting all these. At 20, I'll show I'll add the last three books I just added. And I have a few more. Now we're kind of breaking into the keys that I can add to it. So I mean we can get this up to a $50 lot to get some of you on the wheel if you want. But if we're gonna hold here at 16, I guess. We got 16 for those. At $20, I kick these in, all three. You get the movie number one, movie adaptation. You get Daredevil Father number one. 
Daredevil number two from Kevin Smith run. Posada cover. Those come in at 20. Kevin Smith did that run? Yep. One through at least like 20. He did like the first volume or two. Oh, well, okay. I got that. Um, at 25, I will add 610, the first appearance of the Vigil. It's the first you got, printing. You got Max in at 20. Okay, this comes in at 25. Otherwise, right now, Max is getting all these other ones for 20. Decent side lot. This comes in at 25. So for another $5, I mean, that's like a, like a $15 book right there. Yeah. Let's say at 30. I don't want to drag this on all night if you want me to wrap it up. But there are a couple books. All right, man. Ahead. We got all night. It's, it's, it's barely even 1030. Okay. At 25, I'll add. So you're at 20. At 25, this comes in, which is like the second McFarlane art for Marvel. Classic book. It's in high grade. It's a Zek cover. This is the issue that they were putting in reprints of it for the Daredevil Marvel Legend. So it's like... Of all the issues, this is the one they wanted to make reprints of. It's key. It's a key issue for sure. First appearance of the Trickster. It's a Christmas issue. If you're, you need a Christmas comic. This is a good Christmas comic right here. Um, early McFarlane work. That comes in at 25. I think you meant Miller work. Nope. Early McFarlane work. This is McFarlane's really? second work for Marvel. Yep. Oh, wow. The interior. This cover is it's a Zek cover, but McFarlane wow. did the interior. I think after the, very cool. Yeah. How so much you add? Max had how much to add? Twenty four. Two four one 241 comes in at twenty five. You got twenty. No, you were at twenty. This is twenty five. This is thirty. If you want this, but then if you want to go up to forty, I'll add this Black Widow book. That's Frank Miller for sure. Yeah. High grade too. And at 50, I'll add this Frank Miller work. 170. And I'll even tack in an extra, I got a couple extra random higher numbers in the 300s. I'll put those in here. The max and is still 20, and the timer's yeah. up. So it, we're just waiting to see. Did Mr. Taz fold, or is Mr. Taz still in there? Mr. Taz right. is still in. Cameron's still in, it looks like. So yeah. Max said she was more interested in the 241 than the other one. Okay, well, it would be fifty for everything it. here. Let me so go Cameron, back. To wait to see what Cameron Wood wants to do. He's gonna bid or fold. He's uh, what the what deuce, the deuce, deuce came in at twenty-five. So what okay. the deuce wants to get that, add that one book in. Yeah, what the deuce uh, woke up or popped in or something. Okay, you said well, what? I have another one I can add too. Let me backtrack. We are at... Yeah, get back to what he's got for 25. We're at 25 at this one. So this came in at, at 20, first vigil. Now this is in at 25. Um, I think I only set a $5 in. Should have been 10, but if you do 30, yeah, you go up to 30, I'll add the... Oh, I did these backwards. Okay, this is where you messed up. Hang on. That book yeah. you have right there in the front... The one right there that you have in the front is supposed 25. to come in at 30. The one that with the vigil was supposed to come in at 25. That one right there was supposed to come in at 25. Oh, okay, that explains it then, because I thought this put me at a solid number. Okay, I'm sorry. And this is at where we're at with 25. Yeah, that's where you're at right now at 25. You're welcome to add this at 30. I'm sorry about that, guys. Thank you, Barbara. Max is folding. 30. 40. 50. <laughs> <laughs> what did you did you expect any less? <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to go all the way to sixty, you'll get all these. If you want to just do fifty, you'll get all these. If you want to do just forty, you'll get all these. If you want to go up to thirty, you'll that's get this guy. That's two forty one right there. Two forty one right here. At okay. Thirty dollars. So Otherwise, basically, if what the deuce doesn't go up to thirty, max. Well, Max is, yeah, Max is, is yeah. yeah, Max just wants the 141, basically. Great. So right now you're getting all of these at 25. Uh, what the news came in late and just bid, so he asked, can he see the lot? All right, there you go. 
Yeah, and we're still waiting with Cameron to see what Cameron wants to do too, Cameron. So if you can, but uh, if you can let us know if you're going to continue to bid or fold. I really hate to do dusted timers. Like, it's not yeah. necessary. It shouldn't be necessary. But and I, uh, I've counted six yeah. number ones so far. So you're getting at least six number ones. Count that the one half. That's seven. That's sign. That the that's the only one I want. Send me that one. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Deadpool. Oh, there variant. you go. Cameron's folding. So right now, what the deuce? It's just up to him if he wants to continue to go because he's got those at twenty-five. Okay, yeah, you're at these at 20, 25. This would come in at 30. This comes in at 40. High grade. This comes in at 50. This comes in at 60. 50, 40, 30, 25, where you're at. For all these. Shipping is $9. No matter if you don't add more, if you add all of them, it's still $9. And just He's throw good. it out cool. there. Right? If you go up to 50, then you'll be in on the slab giveaway. Yeah. So now, if you spend 25 more with me in coming rounds, you'll get put on this uh, wheel for a giveaway. Yeah, you're good, 25. My IG name is right here, Peter Parker Comics. Um, my payment info's there, but feel free to just message me on IG. We can exchange details and go from there. And if you want to, I can do holds or we can build a box. With shipping, you will be at 34 right now. But thank you. Yeah, all yours, man. I'll start you a box. Thanks all right. Me. And nice Max, I'll, Goodbye. Max, I'll Goodbye. Goodbye. Up, uh, Don't leave. I'm just saying. You about this, Max. You're done good, kid. All right, so Shelby's up next. What's up, Shelby? Hopefully you What's up? I heard What's you up? say What's you up? didn't have anything else to sell. Hopefully you didn't wait this whole time to not have anything. Oh, no, no, no. I've got a few more things. Okay, good. Here. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Um, I don't know. This is weird. I rarely throw up. I rarely throw in DC. Throw I only throw up when I drink too much. Yeah. Um, so, again, I'm starting these at half price, so $10. Uh, we And they're all variants. So, this is the Flash... Number 80, um, the DC deceased uh, variant. Flash, number 81. Flash, number 84. And then, very cool cover, Flash, 86. So, all variants, all in Mylar. I'm starting these at half price of what I usually sell them at which is uh, $5 each, which is basically cover because they're all $4.99. Um, so I'm starting these at half a cover price. So Star Screams in at 10. That's weird. What? I just put Parker's IG link into into the chat and it didn't turn blue so you can't click on it and go to his ig oh hmm. i mean i only see his i don't see it on his side excuse me it, talk. Go away. that's weird i wonder why it did that it shouldn't have um if you want to go to uh 15 and it didn't even show up no Fucking if you want to go to 15 star scream there. Oh. And these two, these two flashes. This is flash number fifty-five variant and flash number fifty-six variant. So I'll throw in these two at fifteen. Oh shit! See, I'm doing other things and I keep forgetting to start the stupid ass timer. Okay, we got the timer going now. Three minutes on the clock. We got Star Scream in at fifteen dollars. Cool. And that's all the flashes I have. I, I honestly don't have that much DC, but um, I picked these up for mystery boxes. No, that's all I got in flash. Um, I picked these up for mystery boxes, and um, so that's what I'm kind of working with tonight till I can start organizing some books around the bedroom. My bedroom's a mess right now. Uh, and, and, hey, it's a good... It, it's. 
it's a good complaint to have because last week I sent out over 60 boxes. Heck yeah. So I really appreciate everybody. Um, check IG when I get a chance. Yeah, I'll do that. So we still have the $50 mystery boxes. Um, I think I've sold three of them tonight. Um, plus someone bought a, a lot that I had on um ebay so i do have an ebay store you can go to my ig and i have a ig post about my ebay store and you can go there and so if you want to save yourself some money and things like that you can say hey shelby i saw you you know you saw i saw you had that can i make you an offer and then we can pay outside of ebay and stuff and um take care of that so Mystery box, two dollar mystery box, and then for free, I'm going to throw in the crossover number one Tron um, exclusive, limited to 500 copies. So hey, you get the gray dress and the uh, Virgin uh, for free. These usually sell for fifty dollars, and so it's like getting your fifty dollar box for free. Yeah, so we do that for fifty dollars. If anybody's mm -hmm. interested. Um, right now for the auction, we have these five, six, six flash books, all variant covers, um, for 15. So basically half price. So there's still meat on the bone if anybody's interested. Yeah. Right now we still got Starscream at 15. Yeah. Got like 30 seconds left so, on the clock. So did Gamer, Gamers Land drop? He had to go handle his children oh that's right that's he right he, he said he might be back here whenever uh i don't know if he was waiting on somebody to get home or what but he said he'd, he'd try and stop back in all right we also yeah. had uh, <clears throat> a couple other people said they might show up late so okay well and and i might um drop out to let someone else get a chance and um i'll just move over to the chat and uh just harass and slow down progress it's all good, man. They're, we we only got six people right now. It's not slowing down nothing. But that was the timer, so it looks like uh, looks like Starscream's gonna hold Star that fifteen bucks. Yep. <laughs> Starscream's gotta start another box with me. What's up, Brian? How you doing, man? What's this? Shit? Okie dokie, so we're going to move 15, cool. We're going to move over to the Cleavers and see what they got for us. What you got for us, man? Hello. Hello. Um, first off, this is our last round. We told another community member would jump on to help them out, so we're going to bail after this one. Sorry. Just just leave then. <laughs> just abandon me. Sorry, we told them a couple days ago. It's all good, man. I'm just joking. Okay. I don't know. I got Thor number nine, the Fortnite variant. I have the New Warriors number one, second print, and the Immortal Hulk um, number 20. It's the Comics Elite Unknown Comics exclusive. Um, I'm going to start these at $5. Five dollar books, y'all. Get in there and get you some five dollar books. You got a Mortal Hulk, New Warriors number one, second print. That's an awesome book right there. Thor with some creepy little dude. <laughs> you don't look like he's gonna do any good. I don't know. Maybe he is pure of heart and worthy of the the, the hammer. The cat's trying to get into the bag of donuts. I don't think it's gonna work too good. Give him a few minutes and he will. Five bucks, that's where you're starting at. We got the timer rolling, y'all. Let's send the cleavers off with the bang. Wait, who's got, who's got donuts? I want donuts. We do. Our oh, cat's oh, I, I was thinking, too. It's like, what? Donuts? Where's donuts at? Man, Louis BC, you are not playing Fortnite right now. Well, there, Louis, you need to. Ooh. Oh, I got T-Pain in first at five. I got T-Pain first, yeah. I got Cat Design at 60. There you go. Cat's coming in. It's $7. 
We will be hanging out in the chat. So if we happen to get super lucky and win that moon night on the wheel, somebody let us know. Or if somebody would like to no. gift that to us for Christmas, we would greatly appreciate it because we've been trying to find that character forever. Right. That's oh, really? Your favorite. You're not eating the computer cord. I heard it was hard to find, but like I went in there and found it on the clearance. Oh, yeah. We've been looking for that. Ke Moon Knight is Kevin's I, favorite. We've been trying to find characters. it forever. Oh, okay. Well, I'll look around. Uh, get up on Walgreens now. Yeah, it's only at Walgreens, and they, they only had one. Ours is out of it, and we checked a few other stores, and we just can't find Check them. Check all around. We collect stuff around here. Now, Pops. That is store stuff. number nine, the Fortnite variant. It is uh, somebody. Oh, what the heck is the guy's name now? Um, Salvador Uaroka? Oh, yeah, Uaroka did the cover, yeah. All right, we got T Pain coming in at 10. T Pain's in at 10. What the deuce? We're heading over to Thunder God to help him with uh, his like subs and giveaways and all that stuff. We told him the other day it would come over and give him a hand. So that's where we're heading. He's doing a sub push. So, y'all, uh, I don't know if anybody has his his uh, stuff. You can drop his. Oh, shit. Jerome D. Uh, uh, whatever. Looking, People can what, go sub him up if they want to. What, what Wolverines are you looking for, dude? 21 through 30. Man, I sold that lot last week that had a bunch of Wolverines in it. Oh, no, we're looking for the Moon Knight figure that um, Fu has that he's given away. It's a oh. Walgreens exclusive. Okay, Keith, the, um, the Immortal Hulk is issue number 20. It's the Comics Elite Unknown Comics variant. All right, we got like five seconds left. We still got multiple bidders in here right now. We got Cat60. We got uh, T-Pain is in at 10. Emmy Comics came in with an underbid. So Emmy Comics, if you're still interested in these, feel free to bid. Hmm. But right now, we're just waiting to see what Cat60 wants to do, if he's going to bid up or if he's going to fold. Are we going to give this to T-Pain for 10 bucks, or is Cat60 going to walk away with it? Dude, I'm gonna bucks. I'm gonna fold, but can I switch my spot with um who comes up after me? Uh Nemo does. Can I would it be okay if I switch my spot? Because I'm gonna see if I can find this guy's books. Yeah, are you ready to go next, Mo? Oh, thanks, T Pain. That's very sweet. Mo has his mic off, so I can't hear him. If not, you know, Perhaps. Perhaps we, uh, not. we can always come back. To I'm you. sorry. What happened? Yeah. Are you ready to go? Cat 60 needs a minute before he can go. Yeah. 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 I apologize. Right. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. right, so, uh, Cat 60 said he's folding. So that means T Pain's going to win this for $10. $10. Thank you so much, Fu, for letting us come on. Thanks for everybody who come out, everybody in the chat. Um, I'll hit people up on IG later. I'll I'll still be in the chat watch in case something good comes up. We want, but y'all stay safe and take care. Have right a good night. It's great having y'all. Thanks for uh, sure. Uh, if you, if you could, before y'all leave out for good in the private chat, if you could write everybody that sold that you bought us that bought That's from you, no so yeah, I can add them to the list, compare it to everything, and uh, cool, cool. We'll right. move on over to Mo and give. Cat sixty a minute to collect his thoughts and align his chi and everything else that he needs to do. Yeah. Line his right. chakras. Um, I was a little dual book combo here. Uh, nothing really related to each other other than uh, mutants. Um, this is X Men Annual Number Fourteen, which is um, been. Uh, Debated between whether it's the first issue or not of Gambit, um, it's definitely got it. Um, the panels and everything in it that prove that you know this is a first appearance, but cameo appearance, whatever, however you would like it. But what is that junk? Yeah, it's Gambit. True first. This is uh, <laughs> it's a really nice new man copy. Uh, the only thing that I'd say that it has is like a little bit like rolled right here. But it's not even like color breaking or anything to the book. You can definitely get that pressed out if you want. Uh, everything else on it is really clean. 
It's got a super clean spine. It is, I know. Um, we call it. Uh, yeah, like a thick book bound or whatever. I forget how you call it, but yeah. Near mint copy of that, and then a near mint copy of Alpha Flight number one, which is the very first issue of Alpha Flight Team. Well, not them as a group, but their first issue book. Yeah. Uh, also, another near mint copy. Super clean spine. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. So I it's existence nice is what's wrong with it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, shout out to our, our, our club member, Hoser. Uh, yeah, they make up with the Canadian A. They pour hot syrup all over your ass, Parker. Uh, $30 starting bid. Uh, $9. Dang. All right, y'all. Starting bid, 30 bucks. That's some killer books for 30 bucks. I mean, you're looking like $15 each book, and each book's worth more than 30 bucks. Crazy. All right, we got the timer rolling. Y'all jump so in there. What the deuce is in at 30? Parker coming in at 35. Still so much speculation between these two. I mean, you know, Marvel having the MCU now, or the um, X-Men and all the properties for that. You know, you could definitely bring in Gambit anytime soon, especially Alpha Flight is another team that they can do that's kind of like Guardians, an obscure team. It's not a bad team, but, you know, not the greatest. <laughs> but neither are the Guardians, but, you know. Somehow they're like super amazing now. <laughs> Shout out to issues on that one. His favorite. Uh, Nemo, do you take Venmo? Uh, yeah, Venmo, uh, PayPal. I do take all those again. What the deuce is the 42? Parker has folded. So, Pete, that's a yes. Oh, I'm Oh, nice. Oh, very cool, Jerome. Well, that probably means that I've shipped to you then, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, uh, if you haven't heard it from before, me and Fu, our barbarian, do uh, combined shipping. So if you have purchased something from him um, and you purchase from me, we'll combine shipping so you don't have to worry about shipment. Uh, if you haven't paid food, but he'd get he'd be the one that'd be getting the shipping payment for everything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that I have anything for what the deuce. I don't remember I don't remember having anything for what the deuce. So you would have to pay shipping still. If I already have books for you, then yeah, we just combine them. Parker, why'd you leave? What did, what did it do? It put you back in on its own. I didn't ask. <laughs> if you're leaving, you can stay gone. Just get out. You're the get out. You go now. You here for hours. Again, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. Uh, we appreciate your support uh, in the group and everyone here. You know. Hey Jerome, I'm sorry, dude. I just looked at somebody else's box. I have that exact run in his box. So it was bought the other night. I sold so many lots in the past in the uh, past week. Don't break the person's heart. Um I feel horrible, man. It's like, oh I thought I had him. All right. I think the Wolverines from volume one. Oh, I think I just yeah. finished all my IGs. What? Hey, we got Smokey coming in at 45, so right, right now we got What the Deuce and Smokey in there. So what are we bidding on? Is that an Alpha Flight Canadian variant? Canadian variant? I don't believe it's a Canadian variant. Okay. I mean, how much How much was the... Uh, so it's just the normal, so it's just the normal Alpha Flight 1? Yeah, I mean, I... I I wouldn't know what the Canadian variant would be. Uh, I, would, yeah. price I know it's a dollar right here. Okay. Yeah, it'd be a so, dollar twenty-five or something. Okay. All right, I got the other book. Never mind. Y'all carry on. All good. Well, thank you for your permission, Shelby. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Go back to play. Hey, ne Nemo is throwing up fire tonight, man. I wanted to keep up. Oh. I know. I know. 
So we got Smokey is in there at $50. We got What the Deuce has folded. So that is the time. So What the Deuce is going to bow out to Smokey. And Smokey's going to pick these up for $50. Congratulations, Smokey. You're also going to get it on the wheel for that slab that we're giving away tonight. Uh, hit me up on Instagram, uh, What the Deuce. Uh, with your shipping info, uh, if you could do Cash App, that'd be great. I got to put the little dollar sign in front of Mo. Um, if you don't do Cash App, you know, just hit me up on Instagram, and we'll work something out. Uh, if you said Ben Mo, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like I have anything for Smokey either, so he will have to get on the insurance or the insurance, the shipping on that. Okay, so the shipping would be nine uh, for the flat rate amp, uh, bubble envelope that we do. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, Cat Six, are you ready to rock and roll now? Yeah, I'll go. So, I got these uh, foily good uh, Dark Knight death metal. I got number one and number two. And I'll start this off at All right, y'all. Fifteen dollars starting bid. We got the timer rolling. You know what to do. Drop them bids in there. Get you some books. Grab them while they're hot. What the dude? Shout out to the thirty-four people we still got hanging out with us just before eleven o'clock at night. I'm on a highway to hell. So what the deuce is in at 15. We got two minutes left on the clock. Uh, Starscream is asking how many books there are. Mm, I think if... This is number one and two. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say there's there's just <laughs> two books right now. If you're if you're asking about this lot, what do you what do you want more books, dude? I mean, I got enough books here, man, to, to build a to build an apartment building for you. I'm gonna throw <laughs> want to throw something like this in Batman Two Face. How about Penguin? You like Penguin? Well, those I'll are the those prestige in. books. Okay. I'll throw Can you show the in. penguin again? Those are nice. They said it looks like 4,275 books. Yeah, yeah. I it's almost like it's almost like four more books because they're huge. They're square bounds. They're so big. They're so big. <laughs> so big. All right, so we got huge. a minute left on the clock. Still got uh what the deuce in at 15. Penguin Triumphant Two Face. <clears throat> I sold the I sold the Riddler yesterday. I should have kept I should have kept it as a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. We are at 18. Hold on, Papa. We are at 20. We're at 22. We are right at the time or two. All right, that was the timer, but we still got multiple bidders. So y'all know what that means. We're going to go until the last person standing. Who's it going to be? Is it going to sure be? Sure, is it going to be me? Is it going to be what the deuce? Anybody can still get in on the action while people are still bidding. But once we get a fold from the last person, then we're going to know who's going to win. That's just the way auctions work. This 
Mr. Taz came back in at twenty three. Twenty three dollars. Dollars. Somebody should go fifty five. Oh yeah, and you know, uh, you drop a fifty on there, and you're gonna get on the wheel to win that slap. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, you might as well double down on it. And somebody's gonna slap you around silly because you spent fifty bucks on them. <laughs> I mean, technically, um, you'd be spending twenty five on these and then twenty five on the slab. But I'm trying to help you out here, man. <laughs> I know, bro. Hey, I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. <laughs> Barbarian Amy dropped theirs over in the private chat. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. They okay. didn't tell me if anybody bought fifty dollars worth of books from them, though. Oh, okay. I think T Pain's close to being at fifty dollars with me. T Pain, of course, course T Pain already is on the wheel, so. Yeah, T Pain is up to twenty five with me, so he's almost there with me too. What the deuce at twenty four? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, we have got a fold from Mister Tess. So what the deuce is taking it for twenty four dollars? Look at you go, brown chicken, brown cow. So hit up Cat sixty. You know what to do. You know the drill. You know what time is it? Thank you, sir. Okay. We'll hop over. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. So this is another $4 round, I, I believe. Yeah. $4 round. Um, yes. So that's uh, that's $28. If you want to claim the whole board, it's 28 bucks. You just claim all after the starting line. Otherwise, it's $4. Shit. I just freaking wrote down Parker's. IG. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Four dollars a letter. Twenty-eight will take the whole table. Just claim all before anyone else claims anything. One claim per line. I know I didn't say that last time, but in case anybody just came in, <clears throat> four bucks a letter though. Uh, let's see. I think I think all of these are going to be good high grade books. Uh, don't think any of them are old, so they're not really all beat up or anything. So first off, first book we got X Men number one. You say that's not a four dollar book, but this is a newsstand X Men number one. High grade, hard to find newsstands of these books. So there you go. We got Lady Rawhide number three, Adam Hughes cover. Nice copy of that. We got Alpha Flight number one oh six. This is where uh, uh, what's his face comes out of the closet says tells the world he's gay uh god i can't remember what his name is right now what's his name parker you know north star north star there you go uh next up this is the extraordinary x-men this is a variant from hastings you got all the nice lovely ladies of the extraordinary x-men on there next up is a venomized x-men prime Got the all these venomized awesome people on there hanging out. Nice high grade copy of that. Four bucks, man. Four dollars. Uh, in the F spot, we got X Factor 19, first appearance of the Four Horsemen of Apocalypse. <clears throat> this is probably gonna be a very fine copy. It has a couple really small ticks. Uh, the main thing that I don't like about this is on the X. See that little purple on the X? That's there from like it was printed on there. It's ink from the person who worked the press. They got their fingerprint on it. Bastards. Why would they do that? Uh, next is ROM 75. It says the last book in the run. It's also the death of Trapper and Scanner, who are very, very important ROM characters. Uh, this is also probably very fine plus the near mint minus copy. And in the A spot, you're going to get Bloodshot number six and Bloodshot number seven. First appearance of Ninjak out of costume and in costume. Both of these are good, very fine copies. Not good. They're, both of these are very fine copies or better. Uh, four bucks a letter. 28 takes the whole table. Y'all know the drill. 
just one claim per line unless you claim all, but you got to do it before anybody else. So I got the starting line down, and you all know what to do with that. And if nobody wants any of them, that's fine. Oh, shit, we got Max taking letter E. Cameron taking letter G. We got what the deuce taking letter C. What the deuce took the D also. Um, I think I got Max before. Yeah, I got Max with letter D before him. Unless you see something I don't. No. I, I see it now. We got Flash by Night taking letter A. Max taking F. A booty book under B. It's a good one. All right, uh, let's see. Max is B. Max is B also. She got B too. Raha. Dang, Max is clearing the house. And then uh, Emmy got H. Is that right? Is F on? Yeah. Oh, Max. What's up? Who? The rod. What, what's the name of it though on, on B? Sorry, I'm, I was it's, doing I. It's late. Lady, lady rawhide rawhide. number three. Oh, ah, okay. Gotcha. Pops. Yeah, okay, I got M E with letter. letter Whoever got A is a was a steal. That shit's like a twenty dollar book now out of nowhere. A. What the X Men one? Yeah, just the Magneto cover is worth a bunch. The other ones aren't. And that's a new stand. Go figure. God All right, it. I think that's the whole table. So appreciate that. Everybody that claimed books. Don't forget everybody that claimed a book. If you weren't already on the wheel, you're gonna be on the wheel now for the Moon Knight toy. If we can get our thumbs up. We were at 69 last time I looked. We get up to hundred, we can give away the ASN slab and spend fifty bucks or more. And you get the chilling, you get to be on the wheel to win the chilly adventures of Sabrina. Number one, Rogue Gallery exclusive. Thanks, everybody, and uh, we're going to move over. It looks like I got Shelby up here first. Let me uh, first, I want to introduce our next seller, or not next, our newest seller. Tricky Trapster's here. Hey, Tricky! Hey, woo -woo. What's up, Trappy Trickster? <laughs> hey, man, where's your logo? Glad to be on the panel with y'all. <laughs> Finally. Weirded out by Mr. Carell standing over your shoulder the whole time, are you? Uh, no, I kind of turns me off. Okay, good. I was hoping that that would be the case. All right, cool. So, Shelby, it's up to you, buddy. What you got for us? Uh, all right. Uh, so, again, good to have. Thank you, all of y'all that have been hitting me up in IG. Um, your name is going on the list for the $50 prize. Um, so, I'm going to have some extra people for you, uh, Barbarian, that didn't do, you know, buy it now in the chat. But um, so I guess they're still eligible because they did it during the show, right? Yeah, that's hey, fine. As long, as, you, uh, as long as you let me know, everybody that that got in on it. That's okay. Me. Anybody? Yeah, that I don't want to interrupt, but I got hey, skipped hey. over. Shelby's gone twice since I went last, but it's not a big deal. I don't. I mean, we're all getting fair turns at it. <laughs> Rather you go in whatever order you're comfortable oh, with, Barb. Oh, he popped out. So yeah, because he popped out. I How did you. I pop? I've been in the whole time. When did I pop out? It popped out and popped you back in at the end of the list. Oh, okay. That's whatever. That's why I went to him because he was. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. On you. But Shelby's about to leave it's anyway. Conspiracy. So. Shelby, do it. Go sell some books. Who cares? All right. Um. 
all for these last night. See if anybody's interested. So this is a nice set. Um, I didn't know there was a number 30. I'm kind of disappointed now. But um, the Venom, Tyler Kirkham, uh, I'll do a buy it now for 80. So number 26, 27, 28, and 29. So I'll do that as a buy it now for 30. Um, sorry, I got backwards again, Barbarian. Sorry, right, I'll let it slide since it's your last time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and actually, Barbarian's probably going to remember these. Uh, I'm going to do this for a dollar a book, so eight dollars, eight books. This is Todd McFarlane, uh, Kirkham, and Capillo Haunt. So, Haunt number one, number 21. Number 22, number 23, 24, 25, 26, 28. Man, that cover looks really familiar. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought it for you uh, a long time ago, and I thought about making the set, but I've kind of lost interest. So um, I was going to make sets of all the spawn stuff, but I just kind of lost interest. Uh, so I thought I would just go ahead and pass these along for a dollar book if anybody's interested. Um, I think it's a cool book. I mean, it has McFarlane and Kirk on How Mc much? What's the start? Hulu, $8, dollar book, eight books. Pretty cool lot. Yeah, so haunt number one. Um. <laughs> no, you're right, Parker. That's the closest we've ever been. <clears throat> oh shit, we're already up to ten with Max. Yep. So number 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Missing 27. You can ask Barbarian where it's at, and that's kind of a. Interesting cover, and it looks a little bit like a Venom number three. Doesn't That's what I was saying, yeah. And number 28. <laughs> so, eight books. Um, well, I guess they're not a dollar each anymore, but um, yeah. What number is that mouth one? 27, 28, 26. Okay, so number one. Okay, number 20. 21, 22. That's almost a little bit. Uh, a little bit weird. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. missing 27, and then 28, which. I mean, this this came out several several years ago, way before Venom. So, but yeah, it's just kind of funny how. <coughs> yeah. That looks a lot like uh, Venom number three there. Yeah, we're up to twenty dollars right now with what the juice. We got Parker in. We got Max in. We got Cat sixty in. Still no folds from anybody. Got a minute and twenty seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it's a dope lot, man. Those are cool books. I got good taste. Yeah, yeah, I bought these from Barbarian back when I first first started buying online. Um, it was a long time ago. I know it was over yeah. six months ago. It was long enough that I don't remember having those. <laughs> yeah, it was over six months ago on uh, auction that shall not be named. Uh, oh, we were there. We were there on that one. With yeah, guys. and um, uh, like I said, you know, it's thinking about maybe collecting everything kind of spawn. Plus I was into like other things that Kirkham did. And so uh, I thought this would be a set that I wanted to do, but like I said, I just kind of lost interest. So, and those are some really nice books, but Can't catch them all, Cat Sixty. Can't catch them all. I I could. No, I could. there's too many out there, bro. No, I could I could catch them all. 
There's too many comics out there. <laughs> I couldn't pay for them all, but I could definitely catch them all. All right. Oh, we got somebody new in the house. Billy Stearart? Uh yeah, Billy. No, Billy's an old friend of the family. He uh, he was in here earlier. Oh, was yeah, he? Yeah, Billy. But Carlos Bola has been around forever too. Shelby's a dingus. Yeah, Carlos was the first time, and actually, the person that was emailing that was asking for the Immortal Hulks, I forgot. Cameron. Um, Cameron actually bought a bunch of Immortal Hulks for me about two, three months ago. Oh, there you go. I do remember him now, so I apologize, Cameron, if you're still on here. I didn't remember you. We so started talking. Yeah, we I talking about Immortal Hulks. I'm glad you were able to find us. Hopefully, uh, you like hanging out here on Tuesday nights. And you want to come back more? We do them on Monday too. Whenever I can get away from my boss, the wife. Yeah, but when you started talking about Immortal Hulks, I remembered them because I went through my Immortal Hulk collection and sold them all my dupes and stuff. I had an Immortal Hulk set, and Peter Parker bought it from me for next to nothing. I still need a number two, but I'm looking for the number two variant with the red lettering on the cover. Uh, it looks like we got folds from everybody. Except for what the deuce yeah, at 25. What the deuce is at 25. I think everybody else is folded though. Okay. Um, yeah, no. cat 60 folded. So yeah, that's yeah, uh, max folded. That's gonna do it. That's a great lot, man. Yeah, yeah. 25 bucks. Congrats. Like you know, Bob, I still spent like a hundred or two on that was immortal It wasn't like it was even though it was worth like over twice what you paid that, that day. It's all right. I'm not bitter or anything. I still made money. You don't That's mention okay. it very often. It's okay. I only mention it every time it comes up. <laughs> <Pretty often. laughs> Isn't that how it works, though? All right, What's Shelby. Well, I appreciate you coming out, man. You're welcome to hang out with us backstage while you're in the chat. Yeah, or you can hang out here, however you want to do it. I don't click people out. You can click yourself out if you want to leave. Um, but uh, if you're not going to sell no more, man, I appreciate you coming out and hanging out with us. Oh, is there an imposter, Cameron Wood? So you're not the same person I sold the Immortal Hulks to? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Two Cameron Wood. I've never, yeah, I never I mean, met I you would, before. I would go with you. I'm going to go with you. Yes, you're pretty good. Yeah, I go with I'm crazy that I just never met you before. Good to meet you, though. Are you playing video games right now? Oh, no. you're taking pictures. <laughs> no, I take a picture of everything I sell, and then I send it. See, so I, I put the little label on it. I take a picture of it for my records. Then I IG it to the person, so that way they know what they bought and how much it was, because sometimes I hold boxes for months, and then they're like, what did I buy? And it's like, I have no idea what you bought. I well, you see, the, the really cool thing is like when I buy stuff and people don't ship right away and I totally forget, it's like I get a shit ton of mystery boxes. <laughs> it's awesome. It is. It, yeah. So that's kind of fun. Except if you're dealing with people that also are busy and it's like, uh, I think you paid for this. I'm not sure if you paid yeah. for this or, um, you know, or someone that does bad, uh, file management, you know. It's like, didn't I also order this from you? I don't know. Did you? Shelby Shelby takes a selfie after every sale. He does. He's saying <laughs> goodbye to the books. <laughs> I'll miss you, Haunt. <laughs> we had a good time. Good thing it's in a bag. Thank God. Oh, right. Man. See, hey, it's, it's, it's bad hey. for, for its protection. I'm really glad hey, I did, folded it out what the deuce? You still want those books? <laughs> They're bad. They're in a comic condom now. Everything needs to be in a condom around you. <laughs> got a, a red floor tip and everything. Jeez. Rib, rib for Shelby's pleasure. That's gross. <laughs> I, it is. I, I, I take those. I turn them inside out. So, so I get them. Oh, God. Them? God. That would feel good. When you still be leaving? <laughs> Not soon enough. Yeah. 
So what you got, Parker? Uh, what you doing? You just going to hang out and look pretty or what? It's good to see you, Phil. Primping, primping in the camera? <laughs> okay. Um, Are you voguing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um, Cameron, I did get your message. That sounds good to me. I will dig up what other folks I got and get with you. Um, so it wasn't you, Cameron. I'm sorry. There must have been another Immortal Hulk fan. I apologize. Keith is saying maybe it was him. And his he name was Steve. I have no idea. <laughs> God. His name was Robert Paulson. Oh. Hey, A peach, a peachy, a no momoko, no momoko, no mo. Peach momoko, king and black, number one, near mint, one dollar, starting bid, go. Oh my god! People seem to like peach momoko. A peach momoko. God only knows why. People peached out. She's a lot better than that. That uh. That a uh, young guy, Scotty Young. What? <laughs> That's debatable. I just, I just wanted to put a bit in. Dang, you got Max, you got Taz, and you got what the deuce dropping five dollar bids. I got Max first. Well, Max is at nine, so Mr. Taz is at ten. Make it dance. I can put, I can put that same book up. Who wants to see Noel Dan? Bring me Brock. <laughs> Isn't he, uh, I'm not. Some of you might not have read it. I don't want to spoil the big awesome event that happens in this. Pretty good read. It's gory. Whoosha! <sighs> um, I have buy it now, but I don't know. I'm having fun holding this. I actually dig this. I've only liked a handful of peach covers. Like this is probably my top two or top three. Okay, we're getting folds. We got folds from What the Deuce. We got folds from Max. Right now, Mr. Taz is in at fifteen dollars. So we still got uh, cats be already folded. I just wanted a bid. I see. I understand. I want to be a part of the fun. I just want to be included. So I think that's everybody that was in has folded. So we're just waiting on the timer now, which uh, that damn you know, I have like two of those books you just <laughs> mentioned. I have like 73, 4, and 5. Two of those. I'm not sure. We got like 30 seconds left on the timer. If anybody else wants to jump in on this, now's your chance. We're at $15 with Mr. Taz. Near Mint, first print, came out last week. I believe there's going to be a Momoko cover for the whole series. So it's probably six issues. I'm not sure. There's going to be a Momoko variant for each one. So there's probably going to be a Momoko for everything. Every ever book seen. ever put out, ever. Yeah, from here on out. Everything's Momoko. Everything gets Momoko live. There's going to be a Momoko variant month. That'll be the next gimmick. Mm -hmm. That's so Momoko. Other people trying to homage Momoko or swiping her covers. It's, it's coming, I bet you. They should no just Momoko. do the covers like she started out doing. The oh, cell wait, phone, can cell I say phone. that out loud? Most people don't know that her first covers were thefts. Stolen. Yeah, she's <laughs> a Matina. Straight up she's stole that shit. <laughs> a tracer. All right, Mr. All right, Taz. Timer, yo. So, uh, Mr. Taz, you get that for 15 bucks. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, hit, hit me up on IG and we can talk about Daredevil if you want. But whatever, this is all yours. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You got it. You, you're only going to talk you. about it, right? You're... We're going to talk about it. I'm not going to take your money. I'm not going to ship it. But we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mo, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you want to put the uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Trickster. Mo up before me. Trickster, you want to go? I can, but uh, you go ahead, Mo. I'll go next. I'll go all, after everyone's gone this round. All right. Yeah, that's no why problem. I was going to put him at the end of the of the round that he came in on. So it don't matter. It's just it's just you and Cat sixty, and then it would be his turn. 
All right. I think this will probably be my last for tonight. I'm getting a little bit tired. Had a long day with some family that randomly stopped by. What took me so long to get on tonight? <laughs> um, so sweepy. Hold on. Got some, some tape and stuff on these books. Well, I'll just show the first two and I'll get to these other ones. Uh, it's going to be $60 to start. Um, $9 ship again. I got the Thanos Quest 1 and 2. Ooh, 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 those are good books. Yep. Big near boy mint books. Co- near mint copies, like very clean and pristine copies. I've also got uh, issue number one in the 3D War, um, which I think is uh, an appearance, maybe a first appearance in here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> hey, we can uh, check. That's what I'm here for. Good. Yeah. We can check. <laughs> now, this is uh, the first cameo appearance of Goddess, which is issue number two. So maybe it's an appearance uh, of someone else. This is the uh, second appearance, which is issue number six. Again, all of these are uh, near mint copies. Uh, $60 start with. All right, I already dropped it in the chat, so you all want to know what to do. 60 bucks is what's going to get you in. I got the timer rolling. Infinity War number one is a tri-fold cover, so it folds out three ways. You get a big three-panel poster. It's the first appearance of a whole bunch of doppelgangers where basically you got a whole bunch of doppelgangers of Marvel characters, mm-hmm. which uh, it says the most famous one is the Spider-Man doppelganger. And near me, this doesn't sell for like eight bucks. So, Thanos Quest is this quest for the gems. Oh, you're talking about for issue one, eight bucks? Uh, the Thanos Quest books are him looking for the stones. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I was talking about the Infinity War book, number one. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had said he didn't know if it was a key. Oh, you got one, you got one, two, and three? Uh, one, two, and six. Okay, number two is the first cameo appearance of the goddess. That's a ten dollar book near mint. Number six is the second cameo appearance of the goddess, and that is also a ten dollar near mint book. Is that, is that signed? Uh, yeah, it's also signed. I'm trying to think of whose sig this is. Damn yo, that's Ron. It's Ron Lim. Lim. I think it's Ron Lim's signature. Yeah, Ron Lim. Ten bucks for this shit. Yeah, Ron Lim. <laughs> That's yeah. Big. yeah, all day, Ron. You probably got that signed at Atlanta Comic Con when we went there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh, uh, I think it was Ron Lim. It was a page that, well, you didn't see probably, but sold. To, it sold uh, tonight for like 12, I think, 12,000. It was just a page from Infinity War. Really? Yeah, but that, uh, that first Venom cover. Uh, sold for like 26k or something. Goodness. Yeah, I mean, if it's the original artwork, you know, people pay lots of money for that, especially you know, Ron Lennon is a really good artist. I like his artwork. So Max just brought up something that I didn't think about, and I think somebody else mentioned it, and it just went right over my head about how many times you can get on the wheel. As far as the fifty dollar wheel for paying fifty dollars, I'm totally fine with multiple spots with that. Like if somebody pays fifty bucks from different people, then yeah, you get multiple spots on it. So it doesn't like if if it's like if somebody buys this from you, starting at sixty bucks, they would get on the wheel. Right. If they've already bought something from somebody else for fifty bucks, they're already on the wheel. They can get a second spot doing that. Like I think that's fair because they're spending a hundred bucks basically tonight. Yeah, sounds fair. Yeah, I asked you that earlier. I know, and that's why I said it kind of went right over my head. I wasn't, oh. I, I, I didn't really give it too much thought at the time. <laughs> but I remember, I remember you saying it. But that's the timer. If anybody wants to grab these books, now's your last chance to do it. Drop it in the chat now. That's oh, how you just hit me up on yeah, Instagram. Yeah. No problem. So, but fine. You pay attention when Max says something. Yeah. <laughs> Max doesn't sit here and play with toys all day long. Well, I, mean, I don't know. How do you know? Her, so I, I don't know if she's at home playing with toys, but like, 
And she's not sitting here eating. Man, that's a scary. <laughs> she's not eating <laughs> Cheerios. Oh, that's that's really it's really a surprise. Oh, that's that's good. Good. The surprise is love. Mm, hey, can you uh, <laughs> go back to me real quick? Before yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. Before I head out, um, I'm just gonna say this is my second to last issue, or uh, yeah, copy of a uh, Symbio Comic Book Club book that we have an exclusive for charity. Uh, this is uh, gonna be free. I'm just gonna add it to the giveaway that you do. You can see our sweet little. Where is it? Wait, is this not the... Uh, yeah, that's the regular is... cover. Oh, well, I got to find it. I know I have another copy, but I'm going to add that to the uh, to the giveaway as well. A little if exclusive. I, more, I would I would say that I could just show mine, but... No, no, I mean, I'm just going to put it with whoever wins. The yeah. The way that you got for, uh, I think, the slab or whatever that you're doing. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I would say I could show mine, but... Somebody, somebody hasn't sent me him. Of course, he's not in the chat anymore because he's probably asleep. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys uh, for coming out again. Uh, do appreciate it. Um, again, hit me up on Instagram if you saw anything. Well, I think there's just one lot that I had that uh, no one purchased. But yeah, just hit me up. Thank you. Sweet. Appreciate you coming out, man. You uh. Decide you want to stay up late, we'll be here. And come hang out. Yeah, I'll hit you up, man. I appreciate it. All right. So we'll move on over uh, to Cat60. See what he's got for you. You're not eating mac and cheese? You ain't eating no mac and cheese? Yeah. You... Mac and cheese? <laughs> Shelby's eating mac and cheese. I, fi I figured everybody was taking a dinner break. Get some <laughs> That's funny because this was not sitting right here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna throw up an eight book Wolverine lot. Um, hmm. I'll start at ten bucks. Hmm. Thirty-one. Sneaky, sneaky. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-six, I think. Thirty-six. I'm so old and blind. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Forty. And forty-one. Ooh, I like that one. I don't have that book. That would go no. perfect in my boxes behind me. All right, so uh, ten dollars starting bid, y'all. We got the timer rolling. Y'all know what to. Oh, excuse me. Y'all know what to do. Throw it down in the chat. Let us know what you want to bid. Shout out to the 30 people still hanging out with us. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up or thumbs down. We're up to 70. So we're 30 away. We only need 30 more thumbs up or thumbs Tell down. So if you have shared friends. the video, share the video with some folks. And then get them to come in here and hit the thumb up or thumb down. I've been trying to give this freaking slab away for like six months now. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> we got two minutes on the clock right now. You said there's how many books here? Eight books? There's eight books. Eight books, ten dollars starting bid. All Wolverine goodness. All Wolverine all day. Oh yeah. Man, I picked up a Wolverine 100 newsstand copy this week. It's a hard book to find. I just sold one. A 100 newsstand? A 100 newsstand. Really? Yeah. I had a whole bunch of them, man. I just, I don't know, I lost interest in Wolverine. Yeah, I've been going through and I've been pulling stuff out of my, my personal collection because I have too much. And uh, 
I sold a bunch of Wolverines last, uh, not last week, but the week before that. And uh, they're dwindling. It's getting down to those nitty gritties that I don't really want to get rid of. There's so much. We got what the deuce is at 10 right now. We got 40 seconds left on the clock. What the deuce is coming in. He says, I'm going to grab them and run. I'm going to take it and hit the road. No one's going to be able to catch me. So if anybody wants to run after him, drop a bit in there. That doesn't mean I want you to leave. I'm sorry. If that's if you thought that, don't leave. Don't abandon me like Shelby was going to. <laughs> You're making me hungry though, man. I haven't ate either. All I did, I ate some sushi at like four o'clock and I'm hungry now. That is the beast. So yeah, no we'll pick these up for ten bucks. Excellent, excellent. Goodbye, man. You got a good deal. Goodbye. Don't leave, but that was a goodbye. And let's jump on over to Tricky Trapster. I just like saying that Tricky Trapster. <laughs> oh, <that's cool. laughs> okay. So I'm gonna start this off at a dollar. Okay, and if it gets to ten, I'll throw in two pretty cool books. This is <clears throat> Nick Fury, Agent of Field, number eight. These are I these are always, these are mid to low grade guys. Uh, this one's probably in the fairest of state. Fourteen. This one's probably in the worst of state. Number nine. Uh. And then this one's probably in the second floor, number 12. So if it hits 10 bucks, uh, I have uh, the first appearance. Ooh, no, maybe it's just an appearance of. It's the first cameo of the in-betweener. Uh, but it has an appearance of Magus in it, which is the um, bad version of Adam Warlock. And then I have the death of Magus uh, on issue 11. I'll throw that in at $10. All right, so right now, starting bid one dollar, y'all. One buck. We got the timer rolling. You can get these four age, Nick Fury Age and a Shield, Silver Age. You got some Kirby goodness. I can't tell who did that. Is that Kirby? Uh, Frank Bruner. Bruner, okay. Yeah, Bruner. And then we got. Like, that's Kirby right there. Uh, right. Smith on the cover. Uh, Smith, Bear, right. maybe Barry Winter, maybe? I don't know. Oh, really? Maybe. Right. Right. Oh dang! You no, know, it says Smith, not Frank. Oh. But a lot of six books. I mean, you know, slap these up on the day. If you're a flipper, you'll get more than a buck for sure. Oh, okay, I see. I'm used to those chins that Kirby always draws faces the same, you know, and that face yeah. looks like. Well, looks I think like Kirby I face. think he was he was so popular, people just kind of like. Started yeah. dropping his style, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like they were like, okay, well, this is what this is what publishers must want. Yeah. All right, y'all. We got a minute and a half left on the clock. One dollar starting. Oh, there we go. We, got already, we have eleven. So this is the death of Magus. Uh, this is an appearance of Magus in the first. Uh, it's a cameo of the in-betweener, so in-betweener comes in at, at 10, you know. So that's pretty cool. Um, JB or whoever uh, wants to take this home, this is also mid-grade, mid to low-grade, but it's probably in better shape than the rest of these books. And I'll throw it in uh, at 20, JB, if you're interested. But it's uh, the powerful lock of one. Uh, Jim Starlin, I believe, did these covers. Oh, nice. Uh, but this is the nicer of the lot, but it's still got problems, needs a clean and a press, and it's still mid to low grade. So, you know, that don't, comes don't in what? 20. So, it's don't in, uh, 20 right off the bat. Yeah, JB, JB, he likes his old, his old mm. classics. He knows good books. That's why he always jumps in on these old. But, yeah, don't be surprised, JB. Like I said, they're mid to low grade. 
I don't want you to be shocked uh, when you get them, you know, and say, well, he sold me a bunch of shit because I uh, – this is awesome shit. Yeah, this is also Jim Sterling. Oh, you got Parker uh, came in at 25. Now JB's going to 30. Now Parker's going. Uh, what the deuce came in at 30. Uh, 22, that was an underbid. <laughs> yeah, what the deuce, you're going to have to come a little higher than that. Uh, we got Parker in at 31. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good. <laughs> what the deuce? Definitely, whoever drew this, a HT, uh, definitely like was was doing some Sterenko magic for sure. <laughs> JB said, I F's with low grade. Man, I F's with low grade too, yo. <laughs> All right, that is the timer. So right now we're just waiting to see how this plays out. Oh, shit. You know, Discovery JB, Bank with a $41. With Mylar magic. Uh, so he knows what this, what this Mylar is doing. It's but it's really – I'll just take it out. I'll just take the damn thing. So we still got what the deuce, and we still got Peter Parker, and what the deuce went to forty three. Actually, not bad. See, you got some standing there, and then uh, it shows up. I think on the other side. Then the only other thing I could say, because it's not that bad, is that the the staple comes through here on the bottom only. But really, like the pages aren't too bad. You know, they're off-white, but not to yellow. I wouldn't say they're off-white to yellow. Just off -white. Cream. Cream's the word. Well, that's kind of a, it's a risky word, man. No, <laughs> there's, cream, there's cream all over these pages. You don't want to yeah. use the word. We don't want, we don't want creamy mean. pages. <laughs> Especially when you're selling Vampirilla books, you really don't want creamy pages. Well, if, you're if your guys' stuff is creamy, then maybe you should think about it. That's all I got to say. It should just be white. I mean, yeah. If it's creamy, then I mean, maybe that maybe that that vegan jerky is not doing you no good. No, I'm joking. That's a that's a moist book. <laughs> Parker came <laughs> in forty four. Thanks for coming Thank out. You. It's like JB mm -hmm. Folden. So right now we just got what the deuce and Parker in, right to see what what the deuce is gonna do. Star brand, you need some star brand. Oh, I love star brand. What the put a good put a bit in? He's he's, he's oh, crashing come on. star brand in with like cream of my taco. <laughs> what so, the he's folded? He's not so, talking about the car. He's gonna take this lot for forty four dollars. <laughs> oh, shit. Parker on the wheel. Wait a I've second. Been on the wheel. We were at he's 70. Doing... That means we lost thumbs up. Oh, Unless, really? Oh, oh, wait. He might be saying because we had thumbs down, too. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. We're at 72 thumbs up right now. I was, we're at for a second. I was like, please don't take away my thumbs down. Thanks for everyone who bid. Parker, goes to you. I hope you cherish it. Hey, guess what you get with that lot? You know, if, you, if you're missing, if you're missing your show. No, I don't want it. I'm not paying oh, you now. Are you a Shelby sticker? I bought a, I bought a, I bought a, I bought a uh, mystery box, and, I, and it was cool when he opened it. But then when I when I started crunching the numbers, no, 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 I love him. <laughs> All right, y'all. So uh, right, this is going to be a five dollar round. A whole bunch more of these uh, Silver Age DC books. Uh, same issue here. Same thing I'll tell you as last time. Uh, I will tell you the grade on the book that I put on it. Anything key about it or whatever. And uh, <clears throat> and you can claim it. If you claim, after you claim them, I mean, they're $5 and they're silver age. So, you know, you can't expect to be getting near mint books, but it's five bucks a letter. That would be 40 for the whole table, but I'll do 35. So you still get a free book if you claim the whole table. Just claim all before anyone else claims anything else, and they can be yours. But make your claims after the starting line. So first book up, we got Adventure Comics. This is number 311. 
I got this graded at a 3.5 to 4.0. That's going to go in the A spot. Next up is World's Finest number 167. And I got this graded at a 3.5 to 4.0. Next up is World's Finest 146. We got this graded at a 3 to a 3.5. In the D spot, we got World's Fame, uh, World's Finest. I, am I saying World's Famous? World's Finest. See, I don't read DC. Uh, 181, I love this cover. This is pretty awesome. That Superman and Batman, they're running away from some wolves. Uh, I got this graded at a 3.5 to 4.0. What are, what, are these, uh, what are these claims at, price-wise? $5 each. What? 35 for the whole table. So you get a free book if you claim them all. But you do have to wait until the starting line drops to claim anything. Uh, in the E spot, we got Lois Lane, number 80. And I got this at a 3.0 to 3.5. There's obvious defects on all these is what I'm trying to let everybody know. That's why they're so cheap. Like, look at that. Yeah, there's a dress on there. Why? That's what I'm saying, man. That's, that's she has a dress on. That's a huge deal. Yeah, that's good. plant. That's like, um, what is this it, plantina? This number B is hilarious. <laughs> uh, we got a uh, Superman number one forty three. Got some Frankenstein action on there. I got this graded at a three point to three point five. It's Are you not really yourself? Just so you know, it's just an actor playing Frankenstein. Are you grading these yourself, Barbarian? Yes, I graded these myself. So it's subjective. I need you to grade some books for me. What's that? I might need you to grade me some books. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not like perfect at it, but I try my best. Next That's is exactly what I'm looking for. This is Action 360. It's one of them big square bound books again. Uh, this one has a better spine on it, so it's not. It does have issues, so don't get me wrong. I got this graded at a 4.0 to 4.5. It's the origin of Supergirl. Um, and you can look these up. Like, if you feel like looking them up before you buy them, hell, go for it. Uh, the last one we got here is uh, Giant Size. This is Superboy 147. And so I, got graded, uh, I got this graded at 3.0 to 3.5. It's the origin of the, the Legion of Superheroes. Do they just claim all by hitting the number and hitting claim or what? 35. If you, if, if you want to claim all, you type claim all, and then you wait till the starting line drops, and then drop your claim all right after the starting line goes down. Nice Anything spot. before the starting line, I, I'm not even looking at. How much each? Five dollars each. Five dollar each. Five dollar round. Thirty-five takes all of them. Very so that's nice. All of them. Five bucks each. Thirty-five takes the whole table. I'm going to go ahead and get the starting line dropped in there with the time of the lag and everything. You'll either hear it this first or you'll see the starting line. So if you see it before you hear it. I'm sorry, but it's there now. So there you go. Go, 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 go. Move, move, move. Cat, get it. You got it. Oh, there you go. Cat 60 claimed all. Sorry, everybody. Cat 60 is ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know it, bro. At least you know it. Right. Thank you, sir. I wear like a badge of honor. <laughs> I appreciate that, Cat60. Uh, don't forget, everybody, spend $50 with any seller. You're going to get on the wheel to win the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina number one, the Rogue Galleries comics. Uh, $50 with any seller. And like I was saying, if you, that if you send $50 with multiple sellers, you'll get multiple spots on the wheel. We get to 100 thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm giving away this ASM 252 reprint from Toy Biz. And anybody that buys anything from anybody is going to get in on a giveaway for the Moon Knight toy. The Marvel Legends, Walgreens, Moon Knight. So Cat 60 is going to get on the wheel for that now. And I appreciate it, everybody. And uh, since – oh, it's Parker's going now. It's his turn. I skipped him last time. Would uh hey for that fifty dollar thing does that include shipping? So if I spend like forty, no, 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 no. that one, includes shipping. Well, I'm still spending within fifty with that person. I'm just it clarifying include, it for the time. It it doesn't include shipping. Okay. 
It's been tricky. I gotta buy ten more fucking dollars off you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or might I think it's six? I don't know. I think whatever. Okay, you're okay. <coughs> what? What do you want, Max? Leave me alone. I'll message you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Let's do. Sounds like Captain America. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do a little cap. Some cap books. One dollar. One dollar starting bid. You get in this cool prestige format book. I can ship this media mail because it's a book. So you got th no. It's gonna be shipped like a regular comic, regular prices. But this is a book, no ads. This is as the regular MSRP on the back. Blah 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 blah. One dollar starting bid. It's cut. It's what do you call this? Raised, uh, embossed. Thank you. Thank you, self. Ah, uh, embossed. See the shininess? It's embossed. It's embossed. Boston. It's really neat. Uh, near mint. I've never read it. I don't see that common spine line, spine stress that sh usually these books get when you have read them. I see Nazi symbols in here, so if that's your thing. Sorry. I mean, cool. They're in here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So 99 cents, $1. Get you this. But wait, there's more. Max says she shared the stream to a bunch of people. We have less viewers now than we had before. Now we have 28. Way to go, Max. You're scaring people away. <laughs> it looks like you're wearing a choker. Oh, mess it up. Leave my choker alone. Leave my, my womanly neck alone. We know that's just you. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> Who is that masked man? <laughs> the struggle is real over here. Okay. I did put that. Uh, so Cameron Woods under the dollar right now. Let me tell you, Josh Kelly. I'm uh, shipping $9, no matter how much you spend. One book, 100 books, doesn't matter. $9. And I do take holds. You can build a box. You can add to, you can add to it to make it worthwhile. You don't have to pay for it all right now or whatever. Um, I do layaway. I take many different forms of payment. Um, I sell books on Instagram, so check that Stand out. Jobs. We take Z jobs. <laughs> What's a Z job? If you have to ask, you can't afford it. Um, yeah. Just keep on going until I come back. I need to run inside and use the bathroom and get something to eat. So okay, yeah, that works. I'll leave it on you. Um, yeah, and say you only get this one book right now, you're like, I don't want to pay nine bucks for that. Like, oh no, that's cool. We can. Basically, you're paying nine for the box, and you can fill a box. And then you can fill another box, and another box, and another box. That's what T-Pain does. He's got, like, 200 books on hold. Um, so, yeah, by all means, layaway is good. Holds are good. As long as you work it out with me, just communicate. Communication is key. I can work with you. I'm here to work for you. Um, but with that book you're getting, which is that $1, right, Cameron Wood? Cool. You're getting this. For $1 so far. I'll add this in. No charge. This is coming in, too. Maybe now you want a bit. This is a key. It's the new this guy. Uh, I don't remember his name. Battle Star comes Bucky. What are you talking it's about Steve? Steve. 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 This is Steve, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Battle Star. Two dollars. Mm. Yeah, it's a new Bucky. It's like the fifth Bucky, I think. I don't know. I, Looked it up once. So, not a first appearance of the character, but it's him, Battlestar, becoming Bucky. And he's supposed to be in the Falcon Winter Soldier. What's his name? <clears throat> Carl Lumbly's going to play his dad, and I'm fucking stoked. That's cool. Love Carl Lumbly, Martian Manhunter. It's a great cover. Do you know who did it? Yeah. This cover is Zach uh, and Mc Bob McLeod. Bob McLeod. McLeod, 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 and Zach. So right now at one dollar, we're up to three dollars. Remember we're yep. getting both these books. If this auction can get up to ten, I'll add this bad boy. This is a ten dollar book all day. 
the near mint minus copy. I was personally asking 12 when I wanted to sell it. This is in this issue, cat resigns. So it's key. Keys don't have to be first appearances. Last issues, first issues, shit like this. Cap rejoin crap resigns. That's a key moment. This can be like crap Abraham. Abraham Lincoln on the cover. It's key. Just for that. Classic yeah, covers, American flag mm -hmm. covers, blood covers, those are key. They're classic, you know. Books that are sought out for a special reason. Newsstand, and yes, Michael Zeck cover. Awesome. And Jansen, Klaus Jansen. Nice. This comes in at 10. Right now we're at 4. Do you have a Mark Cooler? I don't know. I'm joking. I'm joking. I probably, I don't know. Yeah. I forgot to check earlier. <laughs> So so I do always make check my stands for that. Yeah. So it's only Mr. Taz and Cameron Wood. Cameron Wood folded to Mr. Taz. You're at four dollars. Okay. If you want to upgrade to that ten, uh, yeah, this comes in at ten. 10 to get that, uh, let us know. Otherwise, you're just taking these for four. Um, this comes in at ten. Or Mr. Taz, tell you what, before you fold or make a decision. I'll give you one more you can add. Maybe people can get back in it since I'm adding a book. This is a Captain America promo. It's a, again, it's a drug book, anti-drug book. Um, the problem with this, though, this sticker is on the comic. But if you're good at getting those like half-price stickers, half-price book stickers okay. off, you can get this off. So it's it low grade it because yeah. of the sticker. But it's a hard-to-find pr promo comic. These are sometimes worth more. Obviously, you never read. Obviously, you never read that book, then, P Peter. No, I actually haven't. Why? So, whoever wins this lot, that first book, Sentinel of Liberty, I have the rest of that run if you need it. What's special about this baseball? Well, because it's an it's anti drugs. There's blood in it. Woo! Oh, I get it. I get, it. I get your humor. I get your joke, Shelby. Awesome. Okay, you got it? Okay, there you go. It took me a second. It right over my head. That made you flow. Um, all right, yeah, this would – I'll add this for $1. So it's at 4 right now. This can come in at 5 Well, that's a great deal. This, would, this will still come in at 10 so that's still an option. You can – at 10 you'll get that and this. But if you don't want this, this can come in at 5 Otherwise, you're just taking these for four. I don't think there's any other bidders. I think time is past. So, Tad, you let me know. Yeah, but or no. Cameron, if you want to get back in. No, it's have control of removing anybody off of you. So, it's just you. I've got buy it nows in the show. So, yeah, Tad, let me know on the caps. I will do some buy it nows in the meantime. Um, I showed these earlier, but I didn't really get to finish what I was showing. I can do these. I have them available individually as buy it nows, but if someone wants the set, I can take off like a little off the total. But Thor number two, like a Black Winter cameo, I believe, and you get the first preview appearance of Strange Academy. Um, these are back up to being like $75, $70, 75-dollar books on eBay. It's probably the most expensive issue of the Kate store there is. So I'm asking 60 on that one. This is supposed to say 40, not 30. Ignore that. In fact, I'll meet you in the middle at 35. Thor number three. First print, near mint. I'm asking 35. These are cheapest one on eBay is like 40 bucks. Right so, and Thor number four. I got 15 on that. Um, if somebody wanted all three, Thor two, three, and four. All first print, all near mint. That's what? 60, 95, 110. I could do $90. Well, I can't do a, a bid. So if somebody wants to buy it now, I can do 90 bucks. Just say Ben Thors. It says 60. So Mr. Taz is just going to hold on the two Captain Americas. Okay. For that sounds good. I'll put these in your pile. Um, only other one I had here was here's number four again, but it's the second print virgin exclusive version. So Virgin, so like I said, this is the last page. Yeah, virgin. This is Thank the last page virgin. to this book, and they blew it up as a virgin. So, this is your first 
Some are calling it a cameo. It's one of those like Hulk 180. You see his full image on the last page, fully there. That's a full appearance, in my opinion. Whatever word, funky label word you want to put on top of it, it's still a first appearance. Whether it's a cameo, a full, whatever, it's still a first appearance. Um, I got 25 on that. $25. Or I can add it to the whole lot. And I'll just do a hundred dollar buy it now. So just so I'm basically taking fifteen dollars off adding this in. So if you happen to want all of these Thor books, <laughs> beep, 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 I get it. I'm done. Okay. But uh, yeah, I don't think that's barbarian. I think it's cat messing with you. Or no, that was me. That was <laughs> it? Okay. Yeah, I literally have a two second timer on here. So if anyone's interested in all these, you saw the individual prices. I can do the whole lot of what these four Thor books for $100 buy it now. Way less than I want to go, so I'm not going to be selling these cheaper than that. This is your best chance to get them. Not, nah, no worries, no no harm, no foul. And thank you, Mr. Taz. I'll add these to your pile. Starscream, I will check my IG. And everyone else, thank you. And I agree, Max. Okay. So we're going to move over. Let's see. Uh, after you was Shelby, and now it is Cat 60. I have oh a feeling this is going to be my last lot. Really? Yeah, man. I'm tired. I'm sorry. We're in 12. Five hours? What? What? That's it? What? Just five hours? You've only got like four rounds. Yeah. Um... I got a Batman lot. Killer Croc. Uh, 471. And then I've got um, 655. Oh, uh, this is backwards. Oh, too bad. Oh, well, this is n number three of the many deaths of Batman. Yeah. Uh, John Byrne. 435. Stuff. And then this would be 434. I just don't have one. So I threw in this goofy oh. ass Dark Knight. <laughs> Look um, at him. He looks, he looks like shit. <laughs> the first issue of that many deaths of Batman is the best one. It's no words, all pictures. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, I just, I don't have it. But it, that's still, that's, you know, if you can find that, then you have the full set. I'm going to start this off at $10. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do. I do have a box with you because you're supposed to send me some gator jerky. Yeah, the alligator jerky. Remember that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I still got some gator jerky. I couldn't remember. I know Tricky Trapster didn't want it. I didn't either. No, I'm from Louisiana. We eat anything, man. We eat gator, possum. Armadillo. Anything that's on the road, not moving. Turtles, squirrels. Max jerky is pretty good. Ew. Is that an inside joke? No. I don't know. I was trying to like compare Max to Roadkill, but it could be taken the wrong Starscream, way. Starscream, why are you even questioning this? I'm going to not. Maybe he's questioning the conversation. The, I don't love it. I don't love what we're talking about. <laughs> no, I'm not eating vegan jerky. I'm eating vegetarian beef stew. Thank you. I'm babe. not trying to eat you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how how do you get yeah, vegetarian that's an, beef that's an stew? oxymoron. V, vegan well, beef stew. You know how you make beef stew, right? With like taters and carrots. Yes. Yeah, um, but, but it would not well, be called vegetarian beef in, stew. Instead of, it would just be called vegetarian beer. stew. Yeah, instead of cool. putting beef in it, you put vegetarian beef or beef substitute. Uh, yes. Mash and fry them. Boil them yes, and stew. But, but it's not vegetarian beef stew. It's just vegetarian stew. It's beef substitute. Well, then why didn't you say beef substitute? It's too many words for me to put together in a sentence. <laughs> Why are you giving me the third degree on my food choices? <laughs> All right, soy boy. Soy boy. What about what you're eating? Shit, I didn't even ask what you're eating. 
meat, animals. That's gross. We got one minute left on the clock. I got a mouthful of taters. Uh, looks like uh, we got any bids yet? Ten dollars starting no bids. bids. Yeah. No bids. No bids yet for the Batmans. People used to really like Batman. I remember him being pretty popular at one time. It, it, well, yeah, I'm like 1989. Did Ben Affleck would be all over this? Uh huh. That's right. I am correct. I'm always right in one way or another, except for when I'm left. Hey, Starscream, don't go nowhere because my next thing is going to be I'm going to auction off some, some Transformers books. And I know you want them. Transformer books. They're you more than... Somebody yeah. bought Somebody bought Transformer books off me last night and didn't pay for them. That's a bummer. <laughs> bummer, dude. Not, not for me, man, because it was cheap. <laughs> you just say maybe, uh, maybe their money transformed into nothing. <clears throat> maybe their PayPal maybe. transformed into an abyss of emptiness. Uh, uh. All right, man, that's yeah, the timer. So it doesn't uh, look like there's any takers in here. I'm going to roll, so... I, no, I, um... don't leave us. Oh, I see how it is. Comics on the edge. You're gonna come in here and sub up way after all this time, man. <laughs> I'm just joking, man. Thanks for coming out, brother. You taking off, hey, man? Hey. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, put in the chat the names of the people that bought off me if if they're different from anything that you yeah, yeah. already. I appreciate it. Yeah, and let and me nobody... know if anybody spent fifty dollars with you so I can put them on the other wheel. Nobody spent 50 bucks with me, bro. Okay. All right. 10-4. Peace out, people. Thank you. Had a great night. Um, I love out. hanging out with you guys. Um, peace. Rock out with your cock out. Right. Yes. Always. Speaking of cock out. If you can see it, no rock out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want you guys to deeply consider what I'm about to say. But... I have Ooh. one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, that's a pretty sick feather, by the way. See all them villains? These villain covers is why I bought this lot. But gotta pay the bill. Okay. And the most important of the lot of the Doctor Doom cover. <clears throat> to buy it now of two hundred dollars. Okay. Oh, this buy isn't an auction. This is to buy it now. Buy it now, two hundred dollars. Okay. So I have the whole run. You know what the eight you what, you know what issue eight is. It's a nine point oh. Crunch the numbers. Go look on on the Ebay's. Do what you want to do. Two hundred dollars for the one. But I have a auction that's also pretty damn. All right, start this off at uh, start this off at uh. 20, 20, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Uh, this is a uh, Supernatural Thrillers issue one. Roy Thomas story. Marie Severin. Frank Giacoya art. Jim Storanko cover. Adaptation of some things. Theodore Sturgeon's It. Okay, so this is like a... It's a, it's a 7.0. The wrinkle cover. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> starting off at twenty five bucks. Dang, that's awesome. 
So you got some old Marvel horror. It's already slabbed. You already know the grave. Hey, what's up, Evan? You guys, don't let Evan take this. Don't let Evan rob me of this. Seventy-two. There you go. You got Evan at twenty-five. Nineteen seventy-two. That's a dope book, man. I like that. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Sterenko cover. Sterenko. Go ahead and buy it for me. The thing that couldn't die. Shelby's mystery box. <laughs> was that from Shelby? No, I'm saying that's the thing that couldn't die. Oh, uh, I was going to say, damn. <laughs> Shelby put out some bangers. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. Actually. Oh, we got Parker in at 26. Parker knows where, it, where it's at. This sweet Starenko. Old Marvel horror, and actually, you don't, you know, a lot of a lot of Marvel horror. You, I mean, seven point is pretty generous for old stuff from the seventies, let alone like horror books. Yeah, people read their books back then; they didn't collect them. This will this will uh, make Parker feel like he got he he felt he'll feel good about the other thing if he gets this <laughs> under thirty bucks. He'll be like, "Well, I got the I dollar cost averaged up." So. <laughs> we got Evan at 27. Shelby. And a half left on the clock. You got a Jim Sterenko. Makes me not even want to see. Shelby coming in at 30. World famous thriller, chiller by Theodore Sturgeon. <sighs> I'm just going to look at it, guys. Oh. Hey, also, I'm looking at it right now. It needs a clean. If you guys, if you guys wanted to pop this and cleaned it and pressed it, uh, you could probably get a grade bump. You could press it too. I see. I see. Ah, uh, shit. So this book, you're not gonna see it. Uh, it needs a clean and a press. Just for me, like seeing it, there's some creases that don't break color that are there that can be pressed out. Um, it is not clean because I could see in the it that there's some. There's some dirt up in that bitch. And then, obviously, I mean, you can't see it, but the color, the, it needs clean for sure. You get this professionally clean and pressed, you know, you're going to get, you're, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be like a 7.5 or like maybe above. I just noticed that it needs clean. And then I need to notice that it needs clean. It's a great. It's like right here. There's like some creasing, like right there in the middle of that light. See the middle of the light? There's a crease. So, can you press it? You get a oh, great. Oh man, that's the time. We still got multiple bidders in there though. So Shelby is in the lead at forty, and we still got Evan in. Uh, we still got Parker in. We still got all these folks in trying to buy my slab. It's cool though, man. Y'all want to buy it from me? And then also, so press and clean the book if you feel like it. Hold it. Here's what I would do if I were you. I would get it. I would buy it. Then I would I'd just wait. Better. I'd set it to the side for a couple of years. Crack it, clean it, press it, and then this shit's like a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> I would keep that book exactly like you have it right now until I'm ready to die. That's because you're like punk as fuck. <laughs> and I would read it online because I probably, I'm, I don't know if I've ever read that book or not. If I hadn't read it, I might crack it open, but I would probably not. I would probably just leave it and admire it. <clears throat> I'm kind of, uh, a little surprised at it. I mean, not that this ain't bidding, because it is, but I'm a little surprised there ain't like a few more bidders, you know what I'm 
Yeah, like I had it today, and I was like, I'm gonna put this up, and I hadn't even fucking read that it was a Storenko cover until I like look up, and I, you know, I read the Roy Thomas Marie Severin because that's important because she's like the uh, the biggest badass woman in comics, and then uh, and then I said I see Storenko, and I'm like, I am collecting. Stuff. But bills gotta be paid, baby. Well, we're just waiting to see if anybody's going to fold or what the deal is. Right now, Evan's at 45, waiting to see what Parker and Shelby are going to do. Please don't make me start a 30-second smoke. Yeah, Evan's, right. like, Evan's got like a $7 credit with me, so technically Evan's paying under 30 right now. So, so some of y'all need to drop the hammer on, on Evan. <laughs> I don't want to lose it for 30, under 30, or under 40. That's what I meant. Under forty, you got a seven dollar credit. So shall we go ahead? Go ahead and drop that. Drop that hammer. Drop that eighty dollar hammer, so I can get my mystery box money back. I'm just joking. Hey, what's up, Goo? <laughs> Thanks for coming out, man. Show me the rhythm. And I didn't think Shelby liked me that much. He's going to pay 50 bucks for me to get that book? Well. Man. I'll take away one, one of the bad. I'll take away one of the bad things I've said about him. That's what I heard him say earlier. All right, y'all. We got a $50 bid. Wait to see what Evan and Parker are going to do. I already folded. Where? I don't see it. He folded. He folded. Way a long time ago. When it was like at 30 bucks, I folded. Make your real time. Do I see? Get a haircut? Oh, it's right before that. Okay. So it's just between Evan and and uh, Shelby. It looks like Max is in the What's up, GTC? In the place to be? <laughs> 20 thumbs away from 100, guys. So we have a Trench Serenko, Roy Thomas story, Marie Severin, and Frank Giacoya art, which is a powerful team up. We got Jim Serenko cover to cherry on top. It needs a clean and a press. Hey, what's up, Tony and why? So let's get close. Let's get close. So you guys see him All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start this 30 second timer. If uh, oh, Evan yeah, start, start the timer, start the timer. As While you guys I did it, Evan folded. So. I have uh, what's up, man? I have, I have one through 12 of Secret Wars. Uh, issue eight is at a 9.0. Buy it now for $200. Um, you can have the whole set. Maybe you've been wanting to collect it. Maybe you've um, maybe you know a friend, maybe you have a girlfriend who reads comics, a boyfriend who reads comics, and he's mad about Secret Wars. <laughs> maybe you have a non-binary transgender <laughs> you have, well, no, I, interest yeah, in your life that reads comics. <laughs> maybe you have an it that you want to get. It for Ugh. maybe you know a unicorn, maybe uh, someone identifies as a unicorn and you want to get them uh, the superhero the secret wars one through 12, 200 bucks. Buy it now. Shelby's taking that slab home for $50, though. Shelby's getting this slab for 50 unless one of y'all jump on in here. Now uh, the timer's up and everybody folded. So Shelby's okay, getting that for 50 bucks. Hey, <laughs> Shelby. Congratulations, Shelby. Let me know if you need me to send you my address now or you want to wait and get a bigger A-OK, -okay, like however you want to do that. That'd be uh, nice of you. That'd be really big of Shelby. That would be awful nice of him. Okay, wait, it's my turn to go next, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to do an auction on this round real quick. It shouldn't be too long, but while Starscream's still here in, uh, you know, in honor of Starscream and his Transformerness. I'm going to do this, and the starting bid is going to be $10 for some Star Wars book or Star Wars, for some Transformers books.
There. Uh, so what I have here is issues one through three of the Transformers, the movie. You got number one, newsstand. Number two, newsstand. And number three, a newsstand. I'm also going to throw in these. These are just throw-ins to make it a little bit more appealing, I guess. But I'm um, also I got Transformers number 33, another newsstand. So that's going to go in there. I got Transformers 34. I don't think any of these are like key books at all. And uh, then I got two of these. I got number two and number three of four Transformers GI Joe. Uh, this is number two newsstand and then this is a direct copy for number three got this nice uh i think that's sound wave right is it shock wave or sound wave i can't remember one of them guys anyway ten dollars is the starting bid if anybody's interested in those transformers mostly you're just looking i mean the real books are the movie ones but that's where it's at yeah, I only have one Thundercats book, and I'm not trying to sell it. Uh, let me get this timer going. Right now, we got Louis B.C. in the lead at $15. We got Starscream in there. We got Gorilla Todd in there. Starscream comes back at 16 Louis B.C. went to 19 I wish I had more to throw in there. The only, I only have, like I think, one or two other Transformers, and I don't really want to get rid of them. <laughs> well, don't be upset. It's okay. Where'd Parker go? Did he quit? He got tired of us picking on him? <clears throat> Everybody left. It's just me and Shelby and Tricky. <clears throat> it bugged me just both of y'all um, um, about war out. <clears throat> you look like it, man. You look so tired right now. Yeah. Oh, we got Louis B.C. at 25, and Gorilla Todd is folding. I'm just waiting on Tricky to tell me how much my shipping is so I can pay him. You know the shipping on a slab, bro. 15, I assume. It works for me. Okay. Um... See, Gorilla Todd folded. Louis BC saying sorry to Starscream. Um, I guess, you know, I only really care about number one. So if it gets up to 30 bucks, I'll throw these two in. It's uh, number three and number four. And these aren't high-grade books at all. Um, I figure that both of them together probably are worth five bucks. These are all reader copies, though. So if it gets up to 30, I can throw those two in there. That's really all that I have left that I can add. So put those over here in the possible pile. <laughs> still got 40 seconds on the clock, though. Anybody can still get in. You want some EC or DC horror? I do have DC horror. I ain't trying to think about EC horror. I don't think we'll get any EC horror in here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not trying to sell any of that. I got some, uh, I mean, I got some like Golden Age war books that I would part with, and I got some Golden Age like detective type comics, but. I ain't trying to sell any of my, my that stuff is it's too hot right now. All right, so that is the timer. Right now we got Louis BC in at $25. We still got uh did Starscream. Oh, he folded. So Louis BC is the only one in there. So if if, if you don't want to go 30, that's fine, Louis. Right now you got that lot at 25 bucks. 
And just let me know if you want to throw another five bucks down to get those other two books. And I appreciate it. So just to remind everybody, also, anybody that buys from anybody tonight is going to get in on this. It looks like we got most of everybody's leaving. So I don't know. We're, we're still going to go a little lot longer. But anybody that buys from anybody is going to get a chance to win the Moon Knight. Marvel Legends. Apparently we're like 18 away. Oh, he said he'll do it. Okay, cool, man. So I'll throw those in there. Uh, we, if we can get up to 100 thumbs up and thumbs down put together, I can give away this slab. ASM 252 Toy Biz reprint. And just whoever's in the chat when it happens, man, we'll throw this in there. We'll do a random number, and somebody can win it. And then, BBC, throw them in for 30. I got gotcha. you. And then, uh, as I've been saying, anybody that spends $50 with anybody, $50 or more with anybody is going to get a spot on the wheel <coughs> for the chilling adventure of the Sabrina number one. Rogue Gallery Sabrina. Comics exclusive. That's $50 with any seller. So if you buy $50 with all of us, you'll get a spot from all of us. So a spot per $50 with seller. And uh, thank you very much, Louis BC. $30 is your total. And we can move on to, uh, let's see, it's Parker. Parker! I just webbed all of your face. That's gross. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. This, death of Mary, this, the death of Mary Jane's fake. This behavior would not fly on Gorilla Todd's auction. We were making a joke about that yesterday. <laughs> that is true. Um, let's do another one of these. I have two left. I probably am keeping one, so this might be the last one I sell. Maybe you might be me. You might be able to sway me, persuade me, whatever. Who cares? For now. Now, $1 starting bid. $1. King in Black, Peach Momoko, number one. I know we said no Momoko. No Momomoko. No Momomoko. But one more. One more. Didn't you one just sell Momoko. I just sold one, and I have two left. I ordered three. So $1 starting bid. Someone's interested. Our craft are done. Peter Darker. All right. $1 starting bid. Hopefully, if you missed out on the last one, you want to get it on this one. We're uh, I already forgot who won. Right there, I wrote it down. You can have two of them. <laughs> I did write it down. Lost each night. Yeah, uh, near mint, near mint plus whatever. It's mint, in my opinion. So you got Cameron in there. You got Starscream in there. You got Snatch Face in there. Cameron Cameron Wood is taking it right now at four dollars. You got the timer rolling. Uh, first print just came out last week. Um, none of my shops got any of this one, and they all sold out of the other like couple covers they did get. Shelby right? came in at ten dollars. I know it's massively not everybody ordered. out the park. But this is one of the cooler, better variants. One of Momoko's best, in my opinion. I am not a fan of her work at all. I trash it all the time, but this is far none in her top two. I love it. But uh, I like that Spider-Man draft, Spider Draft one. It's like the McFarlane homage with, uh, it's for Spider-Man one, the facsimile, and she did the long neck Spider-Man all crouched there. People were calling it the Spider Draft or the Draft Neck. I like that one, and most people hate it. We are at ten dollars. I grabbed a couple of these sketch covers for this book. I got a sketch. A secret, one regular, and then one crazy variant. I don't know what it was. The I grabbed the one in one hundred. I grabbed the one in one hundred because it looked like a Bisley cover. Yeah. So I got the crazy. super log. I thought it was a funny name for an artist. Super log. I, Never heard. Yeah. Sounds like something you do in the bathroom. Sounds like one of the millennials. <laughs> Art germ. Boy kisser. 
The boy kisser variant. Momoko's terrible, dude. It looks the like emo little, boy kisser. Momoko, in my opinion, usually looks like a little kid drew it with their non-dominant hand. Blind there's board. like uh, some that blow shit out the water, and there's some that do not. But her best mm-hmm. ones are okay, and that's even this one. I think it's this is a. It's one of the good ones. This is pretty darn okay. This is good. This isn't. It? It's not excellent. But it's, it's good. It's kind of like manga. It's kind of like manga-ish. Like this, I know all of her stuff is, but this one like has real bad manga. The story is really good. I recommend it. Um, kind of gory, kind of, kind of unexpected. Captain Love. Bring me Brock. Oh, that is the timer. What do we got going on here? Who's bidding? Who's winning? Thank God. It's Shelby. Yeah, we Shelby's got, got 10 bucks. Oh, Shelby scared everybody off at $10. That's why. That's fine. Yeah. I, uh, I have a box with him, so I'll fill this with your other ones. Cool. I'll send payment right now, buddy. There you Sounds go. Good. $10. You. Sold, sold. All day long. Uh, let's see. So we're going to move over to Tricky. Oh, so I got this lot of Captain America books. Um, so I'm going to start this off at twenty dollars. I have, uh, I have, <clears throat> sorry, three. They're just they're around the threes, guys. Around the three, you could see, you could read them out. So twenty dollars starting bid. Baron Strucker's back. Oh. Oh, Baron Von Strucker. You got Cap taking out the trash. <clears throat> okay. It's just Captain America. Well, Captain America. You got a Mike Zek here. You got a Zek cover. You got what? This is the uh, Supreme Soviets ready to take out Captain America. You got the Serpent Society. You got my twenty dollars starting line. Twenty dollars starting line on there. <clears throat> this is a pretty sick cover, in my opinion. He's like floating there, like I'm hot and I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> uh, so this is the twenty dollars. Yeah, this okay. is a sick cover as well. This is the first appearance of Armadillo, and then this one is the first appearance of. The Black Crow, it's also a Mark Jewelers uh, and a newsstand. So, Black Crow, first appearance, newsstand, Mark Jewelers, um, and then the first appearance of Armadillo. Uh, don't show up often, this character, but who it is. So, how many books we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15 books. Must be some good. Let's see. Trick or treat. Twenty dollars starting bid. They're really nice books. Got some. Got some. Uh, got some newsstands up in here. Occasional newsstands. <clears throat> But you get through these books. You get through these cat books. Are there any patriots in the chat? And then you get what you're even love America. You get the first armadillo. And you get this newsstand, first black crow, Mark Jewelers. Dang, okay. Mark Jewelers. Just the time to for twenty bucks. Come on. What time what time we got on the clock? Because I might move on. Man, you got two minutes and forty seconds. All right, two minutes and 47. I'm dusting, guys. I'm dusting. Shipping on that probably going to be like 15 bucks. I got to ship. It won't. This won't fit in a uh, in a Gemini, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to have to ship it in. Well, you know, if you don't mind me stuffing, I could probably. If you don't mind me getting, I could fit it in a Gemini and not damage the books. How many books is it? Like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can't. It's like sixteen books. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit it. So uh, it would be tough. 
Yeah, it'd be very tough. Yeah. So, you know, I can I can priority mail it. What what do you guys think I could priority mail that at? Uh, about eleven, twelve dollars if you put it in one of them like white boxes. Yeah. Like the spider booth box, you know, but bigger. It's about could, boxes, you know, Daniel Church said twelve. Uh, but I'm gonna move on because no one gives a shit. And then I'm gonna go to the Spider Man team ups. Oh nice. Parts. Shelby's in at ten on are you in at ten on the cap, bro? He wants that that Mark Jeweler. I don't know if he does. Shelby, are you sure? You know where I got these books hey, from, don't you? There's a slight lag. I mean, there's like a twenty second lag, I think. Yeah, there's oh, a lag. Think. So your starting bid was twenty, and is that the ones you got from me? I did. <laughs> Do you want them? Back. So I'm just buying them back. Do you want them, or I could? You can move on to this other lot, bro. Um. Yeah, Same. I I sent you a Mark Jeweler in there. Yeah, you sent me a Mark Jeweler first appearance newsstand, baby. Not there. Oh, right here. Well, all all Mark Jeweler newsstands. Do you want it back? Yeah, I'll take them back. It's up to you, bro. Yeah, I, I cherry picked it also. Sure. It's not the same lie. I already took some out. Oh, no, that's cool. Shelby, I mean, are you sure? Look, we got Peter Parker and Daniel on in on the caps, but yeah, here's my uh, bid was kind of a dick bid, and I was kidding, but Daniel Reardon's in there too, so this is a bidding war. <laughs> you fucker. So I just we want have that. Mark Jewelers on here. But I didn't want to make uh, Shelby pay more for his past books. Hey, well, Daniel I, Reardon's in there. I've, I've already taken the books I want out of there. So. No, that's fine. Yeah, I'd love to have the Mark Jeweler back because I I've got a ton of Mark Jewelers and sometimes I don't write down. Hey, that's, that's yeah. I mean, whatever you want yeah. to do, bro. Whatever you. Want. I, I got a guy that'll pay twenty to twenty five a piece on him, no matter what the book is, and that's like a key book, so I might get more out of him. Yeah, so you got a key. You got the Mark Jeweler. It's they're in nice shape. They came from Shelby. They're all in good shape. Good book. Yeah. You got the first appearance of Armadillo, which, you know, he's a tough villain if you get him from the backside. He's tough. Yeah, he's going to be in the next movie. Yeah, he's going to get him from the right angle. You got the Mark, Mark Zek. This is, a, this is a new stand, and it's a Mark Zek. It, or it's a, it's a Zek cover, which I know I know maybe cat people like care. Second they that, it should Zek's say, a big deal. It, MZ, uh, JB, is that what it says on the cover? Where? Where? Like down by the barcode, yeah. In between, it says MZJB. No, on. What is it? Like? Like, he was listen. This is a different one. This is like a backward Z. Oh, okay. and, yeah, yeah. Then that's that's Zek and Beatty. Yeah, and that's that. You know, Zek Zek stuff was like, like I almost kept this one out. Honestly, yeah, but, it's the same team that did the freaking the the. You go through the rest of them, huh? I want to make sure I want to fold for sure. Can you just show the rest? Yeah, you're good. Keep going. You weren't paying attention this whole time? No, I just basically heard Mark Jeweler, and that's all I was, like, paying attention to. That's cool. I just want to see uh, if there's a First Serpent Society in there. And if, if so, I want to get back in, but it's not. Nope, okay. My book. Is, yeah, there's Shelby's books. I uh, double seriously, four. that's probably it for me tonight, guys. I'm sending you... Um, so you should be able to get that in the same box with the slab. I burnt everything today. I burned my, my cardboard that I don't use, but I have, I have a, a hero. It looks like a box heroes.com. I think it might fit in that. So, yeah, but I mean, you should be able to fit that and the slab in a medium oh. box together. Oh yeah. Medium flat rate, $15 box. I can do that. Yeah. So, all right. So I'm just sending you. 20, what, 25? You got me feeling bad, Shelby. I didn't, you know, at first I thought you were leaving, and then I was like, I'm going to put these books up, and then, God damn. No, no, I, yeah, no, I'm good with it. All right, bro. All right. Then the back. you're good, then we're good. In Houston. The only one I think I took out was the one where Cap had the gun, because I collect heroes with guns covers. Yeah. And it was a mark. It was a mark. All right, man. I appreciate it. Also, uh, buy it now, right quick. 
two hundred dollars on on Secret Wars one through twelve. Uh, number eight is a nine point oh, and you can move on to the next seller. Okay, so uh, joining us on the right. late night auction crew, right, Chris right. Villa, Todd. Hey, Todd. Hey. Hey. Everybody, your hair's you already growing out. back. Come to hello, sell. hello, hello. Yeah, it doesn't take long. It's been a day, and you've got almost a full beard. Hairy bastard. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. It comes it's a shame, man. Yeah. He just holds his breath and it comes back in a couple minutes. Yeah. Go, <laughs> right. it, 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 it just got darker. Yep, there you go. <laughs> so you coming to hang out? You want to sell some books or what? Uh, if people want to buy books, I'll sell them books. I don't care. There you go. Right. I got this Vampirus Carmilla. I got a bunch of copies of it. This is the first issue. It's a brand new magazine from a company called the warrant publishing they are they they publish a book called a magazine called creeps it's all done in the vein of the old 70s warren magazine eerie creepy and vampirella that's super cool so vampirus carmilla is one of dracula's brides and van helsing did her in and she ends up down in hell talking to the devil and he's like hey i got these guys that are giving me problems i'm not going to tell you who they are because that would kind of ruin the story I'm surprised, but like these guys are giving driving me nuts. I'll give you a deal. You go back up to Earth. I'll give you a body. You can take these guys with you and tell them stories and keep them occupied. Otherwise, I'll turn you back to dust. And she's like, "Well, how can I refuse?" So that sets up the the thing as her being the kind of functional storyteller. She's like the crypt keeper or the or the uh, whatever the Uncle Creepy or whatever. <laughs> that tells a story. So if anybody wants this, I got it for basically six bucks, which is cover price plus shipping. I can ship it if you just want the one issue. I can probably do it uh, first class for five bucks. You know, it'll fit. It'll fit in, a, in into a uh, into a modified Gemini. So if anybody wants that, I got a good amount of copies. Just let me know. Uh, out Max is saying she got wings. Are those wings or bats? I, she's a vampire. A bat. so she, can, she can change into a bat. You know, yeah, she's got. She's, she's mid switch. But she's you know, an identity crisis right now. Keep, keeping with the, I'm just gonna throw up some buy it nows if that's okay. That's cool, man. Whatever. You know, and I'll keep with the. Uh, here we got some. I think this is red Sonia, but this is a black and white virgin. I think this is like a a ratio something or other. But if anybody wants, I got two copies. I can do these for seven bucks each. Uh, the black the one. Did you say that that was uh, five bucks plus shipping? The vamp the the uh, the vampires Carmilla. Yeah, it's wow. six bucks, five ninety five cover. Six so I'm just asking for basically cover six bucks plus shipping. Okay, six, six bucks plus shipping, Max. Six plus five dollars shipping. If, if that's the only thing you're getting. You know, otherwise, if you, you know, I can, if you buy a bunch, you know, more, I can, I can, um, you know, fit it in a medium, a flat medium mail with a bunch of books, whatever, you know, I'll work with whoever. I'm easy peasy. I'm flexible. So I got the black and white Red Sonia book for seven bucks virgin. I got a couple of these. Vampirella virgins where she's fighting this underwater creature. Either of those for seven bucks. Mm. Seven bucks for some virgins? That's the cheapest price I've seen. Yeah. I got an extra Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons with the Beholder cover. Oh, yeah. I saw that on FOC. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, four bucks if anybody wants cover price. That's my Saji. Wonder Woman. And then I got like uh, stuff that's coming out technically tomorrow. I got uh, the Red Sonia Price of Blood. This is a Saddam cover. Yeah. Uh, that's a good book. Uh, eat that. Yeah, hot. Damn. I'm going to that out for four bucks cover price if anybody's interested. Sue you. Damn. You there, and then I got. Ooh. 
I got the vamp vampirella the her the dark powers. I got the uh that's the Lindsner cover. I want to keep one of those, but I'll let one go for cover price, four bucks. And then I think this is looks like Peach Momoko. Cover price, four bucks if anybody wants. Technical difficulties. <laughs> what do I got? I got Giga 2. If anybody needs Giga 2 for four you bucks. Got, uh, you got Papa Wheelie claiming one of your vamp number four. Or vamp for four. Uh, which, which vampirella, Papa Wheelie? Yeah, he just put it in there, so I'm not sure. You got Tony NY asking if you got any nullified covers. Um, I do have some nullified covers somewhere. Oh, oh. Scream is asking if you got any Samurai of Oz. What the fuck is that? I don't have Samurai of Oz. I think that's, um, what do you call it? Xenoscope or something. Um, oh, okay. That's, I've never heard of it before. <laughs> Papa, Papa Wheelie will take a vamp for four. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, do you want this one? Do you want... Two Vampirellas. Do you want Lindsner or Peach? Papa Wheelie. I both, man. That's a good deal. Get them. He's like, yeah, you got two vamp. Yeah, there's two of them. You get. Yeah, you can have I think you said that when he only, before you showed the piece. You got to pick which one if you only want one of them. Yeah, these are both cover price. <laughs> these are both four bucks. Cameron, you want the uh, you want to buy yourself the Shogun Warriors homage. That's the one you should get. The one on my right hand. There you go, the Peach. Peach, you got it, Papa Wheelie. You got Tony it. And, I got a peach Tony will take a Peach. Okay. Yeah, Tony's Tony. asking for a Peach. Awesome. <laughs> uh, now what? Do I, what do I got? I got. Is trying to be difficult. He's trying to confuse you and make your head start to spin. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I think uh, this must be the one in 25. <laughs> I don't only have one, but I don't have 25 copies. What is this? This is weird. Maybe it's not the one in 25. I don't know. I got to figure out what this is. Strange Academy. Should we I have some extras of the? I have some extras of the Art Adams character. Spotlight cover. Those are cover price, whatever that is, four bucks. If anybody digs Art Adams like I do, got to have one of those in the collection. They're not sticky, Starscream. I literally just got them from the <laughs> – haven't had them that long. Yeesh. And there's another co cover of Strange Academy, four bucks. Keith Lackey, you want to – Art Adams, okay, I got gotcha. you. And then I got uh, Venom 31. Got that cover. And I got the nullified Venom 31. Those will be cover price if anybody wants them. I want them, but I'm nearly sure you I can get one. You want all the Strange Academy? Okay. I got the two. I guess I got to make sure that's not a one in 25. Otherwise, I'll give you that one for cover, too. I don't know why I only have the one. That's just weird. Look at this. My, my invoice. Hey, I'll Jeez. take a, a Phoenix Venom, please. Parker, me. Parker, wait. You want to, you mean a nullified? Yeah, my bad. Whatever. Nullified Venom. It I, like okay, let me let me let me do. Sorry. The only other venom I have is this guy right here. I'll take that too. You want to pull both for me? Okay, I'll pull them both for you. Thank you. Uh, let me just put these in the box and just make sure I got everybody. Uh, shit. Sea pain's still alive. All right. Okay, let's see here. Get out of my way, books. Get out of my way. God, I'm totally on here are my post-its. Totally unprepared. Okay. 
Yeah, Papa Wheelie. Okay, so Papa Wheelie's getting Damn, first right. Mampy. Tony's getting the second. Papa Wheelie. Tony. Keith Lackey wanted all the Strange Academy. So I got Papa Willie with the one Vampirella Dark Powers Peach. Tony with the Peach Vampirella. Keith Lackey got both Strange Academies and Peter. You got the two Venom Bucks. Yeah. Thanks. Now I think there was some other. Uh, what Max? What are you saying on the half Bat Lady mag? Does somebody That's want the that? Fun that you put up. Who wants it? Max Comics, do you want it? And Tony wants a Venom nullified. Let me pull that for you, Tony. Tony, there's your pile. Venom nullified. I got you a Peter. Uh... <laughs> No, I just want to hit the comic shop tomorrow. Sterling wants to see that. I'm assuming that's that first. Oh. This one. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, Barb, who's going next? Do I need to be ready? I am. Okay, cool. Oh. Max Comics. I'm not sure. I know. I'm not sure what you mean. So that's the 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 Red Sonya book. Sterling, seven bucks on that one. The other. Did I have another? Red? Oh yes, I did. Max is talking about the magazine, bro. Max is talking about the magazine. Yeah, Max. Yeah, the very first thing he showed the vampire. The vanilla vampire Carmella. Carmella. Yeah, yeah, I will say that again. I, Sterling's looking for the. I had. I did have a. Yeah. It was the one you showed right before you showed the Vampirella version. Comes out tomorrow. She wants the one with the two cute yeah, boys cover. This one with the down. She wants the one with the boobies on it. Oh. There's no boys boobies. on that cover. Boobies, I said. Boobies. Oh, this was for, uh, cover. Cover. Yeah. I got two of those. The price of Excellent. blood. Yeah, that's gonna be a hot book, man. That's hot cover. That's a sleeper. That's a sleeper book right there. The Sterling. Well, I don't get any I'm just your books, guys. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get them right. So, Max, you wanted the? It's a six dollar magazine, but it's yours if you want it. Vampirus Carmilla. Vampy and the Virgin. Vampy Virgin. Yeah. Oh. That one? Okay, she's saying yes, she wants that magazine. Okay. Oh. Okay, Max. I think that's right. <laughs> because you showed her the, the Red Sonia and the Vampy magazine. So I think that's well, the I think Sterling wants the red Sonya. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Sterling okay. That, that. I got gotcha. you. And then you that. Yeah. T Pain, what did you claim? No, I didn't. <clears throat> We're gonna have to get a, a start of line here. Like everybody stand in line. You want the second Strange Academy and the first uh, the second Strange Academy and the First Venom. So this is the first Venom, T Pain. <laughs> we got you, Max. Yeah, I got the first T Pain. Mm -hmm. And then you want the second Strange Academy. Yeah, way too much complication in the Max's Vampirella thing. <laughs> yeah, that was the first Strange show. Yeah, that should be right for T Pain. Oh, Max wants the Strange Academy too. Yeah, Max, I got the I got you on the magazine. Okay, All right. gotcha. 
She right. said both of the Strange Academies. She'll so take Mark, you want both the Strange Academies and the magazine? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Got your Max. All righty, Barb, you next. Y'all set? Is that everybody? Is everybody getting what they want? Think so. Anybody else want anything? Of course. Wait, who yeah, the who asked for the Virgin Zampy? <laughs> I didn't put a label on this. Dang. That one was Astra. Sterling? Okay. How about yeah. this? How about after after uh, we do our rounds on your next time when I come to you? you I'll go through up, Yeah, and you can say, okay, you asked for this and this and this. Yeah. And they can just I be think like, we got, we got yeah. it right. We got it right. I think, I think and if they did. No, I wanted this too. Then they can say that yeah. in the chat. And that way it's a lot less confusing. Right. As long yeah. as you wrote it down, right? Doesn't me having, Barbarian, doesn't me having a cluster, you know what, of around bring back memories? Oh, yeah. This is great. I love it. All right, uh, we're uh, we're we're, uh, we're gonna move on over. But if y'all want anything else from him, write it down on a piece of paper. When he comes back over, you can say, "Add this to my box." <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do uh, this is a a ten dollar round. I'm, it's all buy now stuff still. So uh, shit, ten dollar uh, round star. Tony, I think I do. So it's a bunch more. Of these Silver Age DC books. So <clears throat> you get ten dollars each letter. So that would be eighty bucks if you wanted the whole table, but we'll do the whole table for seventy. So you still get a free book. And these are a little bit well better, I guess. Better books as far as like they're more key. Uh, so we'll start off with first one we got is world's finest. Number 169, it's the third appearance of Batgirl. I have this graded at a 4.5 to 5.0. It's going to go here in the A spot. In the B spot, we got Adventure Comics number 329. I got this graded at a 4.0 to a 4.5. First team appearance of Bizarro Legionnaires. Get you all straight in there. Um, this is not as high a grade. This is a, definitely a lower grade book. I didn't even put a grade on this, so it's pretty low grade, but it's of significance. It's uh, Adventure Comics 346. I'm saying this is probably like a 0. 0.5. Yeah, it's, it's a it's negative pretty, grade. Pretty beat up. Uh, significance of this book it's is it's the first two, word. Five. In comics by Jim Shooter, first appearance of Pharaoh Lad, Karate Kid, Princess Projecta, Warlord, Gaflak, and Nemesis Kid. So it's basically a Legion wow. of Superheroes. Uh, but it is low grade. Like, this is a really low grade book. But in high grade, it goes for a shitload of money. That's why, you know, it's in the $10 round. Uh, but this is Brave and the Bold, number 78. That's the first appearance of Copperhead. I got that graded at Tony. a 4.5. 4. Sorry, Barbarian. Tony, you That's got cool. the nullified Daredevil for me. You got one in your box. In the E spot, we got Justice League 31. This is where Hawkman joins the Legion. Um, I got this at a 3.0 to 3.5. Next is Justice League 14. This is where the Atom joins the Legion. This book has a, a bunch of masking tape on it. If nobody buys this book, I won't be surprised. Um, if nobody buys it, that's going to be one of my missions is to get that off. And then I'll sell it for five times what I'm asking for it today. I got this graded at a 2.0 to 2.5. First appearance of Hector Hammond. And the Atom joins the Justice League. Uh, next one up, we got Hawk and Dove number one. Got this graded at a 
2.5 to 3.0. Second appearance of Hawk and Dove. Uh, the next one's not one of the Silver Age books. I just didn't have eight, so it's uh, a DCU variant of the same book I put up earlier. It's uh, Green Lantern 81. Yeah, for the DCU logo variant. Near Mint, really nice book. Definitely worth more than 10 bucks. But uh, yeah, so $70 takes the whole table, $10 a letter. If anybody's interested in these and you want to claim them all, I suggest that you type it in right now and get ready for me to drop this line. All your claims are one per line. And if somebody claims before you, you can't claim the whole table. So I'm going to drop the starting line now. If anybody's interested in it, like I said, just claim. If not, no big deal. And we can move on down. Oh, we got Cameron Wood with letter D. What's up, Agu? See, I, I told Agu that I had these books. I was going to sell them, too. Uh, Max is claiming letter H. DCU logo book. Agu wanted letter A. These are five dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. Bro, you should slap C up on eBay. <clears throat> Easy. Show us the D again. Uh, D has already been claimed, so I'm not. I'm, I can't show the D. Because now the D belongs to somebody else. No, you know what he's talking about. I know. <laughs> he wants to see that big old blood lock of yours. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of, like the one I said, the 14, I think it is. Like that, I can get that tape off there and I can make it look like that tape was never there. And it goes from being like a $15, $20 book to being like a $60 book. Do you use lighter fluid for that? Or no? On that one, I will, yeah. Yeah. Does it leave yeah, a smell? Or it's so old that it'll fall right off. Right. Yeah, man, I would put that book. I would take that tape off, put that book and number C straight up on eBay. $1 starting bid. You'll, cr I mean, you'll, make more, you'll probably make more than what you'd make just putting all these up right here. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure I could have made a lot more money selling all this stuff on eBay. I try to put stuff out like in my sales, I sell everything cheap. I try to spread it around, you know what I'm saying? You don't happen to have the first Mongol appearance, do you? What's that? Mongol? The just the Superman villain? I don't think so. I, I don't I don't really collect DC. And uh, so I don't I don't think I have that. Okay. Uh if I do, I don't remember that I do. <laughs> he's a he, Jim Starlin created him, but he's the one with the Black Mercy plant. You remember the the Justice League uh, Unlimited show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's letter C. This is the first work of Jim Shooter in comics, and it's got basically the first appearance of the Legion of Superheroes: Pharaoh That's Kid, Karate Kid, Princess yeah. Projecta, World Galacta, War Warlord Gallic. I'm sorry, and Nemesis Kid. And like I said, I uh, I didn't even grade it because it's such a low grade book. It's probably like a point five. Yeah, he's oh, taking it. Cameron, he's yeah. taking, the, Cameron Woods taking Cameron Wood taking C. Oh, okay. That's a crazy a crazy buy. Like just in general, that's that book's insane. He is uh, Hawkman joins the Avengers. Yeah. F is the Atom joins the Avengers. Well, even cop even the Copperhead. It's a lot of great stuff, bro. A lot of great stuff. Yep, I was uh, I was really excited when I got these I'm because sure. just because I don't collect it and like to find all these books and they were all together, like to be able to get them. And I was like, I know people are gonna want this stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, Parker's taking F. Yeah.
I think I already have E, but if I don't and it doesn't show, I'll get you. Good work. I know. Thank you. I've had that book before and sold it, but since then I've gotten way more Justice League. Might as well get it back. <coughs> Hey, and Agu gets on the wheel. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's how you do it. You get on the wheel when you claim the books. See, I got something in here for Parker already. Where's that at? I'm just putting this stuff away, and then I'm going to move over to whoever's next. <coughs> Dang it. Yeah, so if anybody's interested in these other three books, just hit me up and let me know. Um, yes, you are on the wheel. All right, so uh, let's see. Parker is up. <coughs> All right, man. Lucy has pants on this time. <laughs> That's All right, dude, one time. I learned Parker my lesson. <laughs> And you said you weren't going to tell anybody, man. Your shorts were not long enough. That's on the internet, man. There we go. Are you wearing oh, underwear? Hi. Instead of Peter What's Parker it? comics, it should be Mr. Fantastic comics, if that's what, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> It should be Ant Man, actually. <laughs> because you can make it giant at any moment. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> but I'm more of a yellow jacket kind of guy, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Elongated man from the waist down. Well, $1 auction. Let's just go hard. Go hard or go home. <laughs> Batman! Number one. But wait, there's more. Heard me one dollar. Oh yeah. Anyway, That's a cool book. It's a really neat book. I think there might be something keyish about it. But it's probably like Scarecrow Origin or something. Not major. Uh, I remember reading that Alan Davis artwork. I like that run. Bang bang boom. Alan Davis and Paul Neary. Double bang. You're right. Ooh. This is. Second appearance of Clayface 2. Don't fall. I believe he had an appearance in uh, Batman. Uh, this is Detective Comics, but he had an appearance in Batman, like the issue prior. And then this came out like the next week. Don't quote me on that. Either, but I think that's my case. And that's Clayface All on the these, cover? What, yeah, that's him. That's like Clayface 2. The Lin Wein. He's looking back crazy. Yeah, he's got like a crazy costume. It's like Family Opera style storyline. Mm -hmm. um, this is like a fine condition. Oh my god, I'm holding the wrong book. This is like fine condition. The other ones are much nicer. So, a higher mid grade there. This guy's near mint plus. Sorry if I'm going too fast. And this guy's a hard near mint minus. Very fine near mint. And that's a glare right there you're seeing. So one dollar starting bid. These are pretty much each all seven to ten dollar books. Rather than start this at like twenty, let's just do a dollar, see where it goes, you know. I can add to it. I have literally a short box of Batman right here. That is for sale. I don't really care about. I can add on probably like one book at once we hit what I want here, I can add like one book for every five dollars, something crazy like that. All right, we got bidders right now. Agu came in at a dollar. We got Tony N. Y. Jr. in at two. Tricky Trucks really are in at three. We got Lost Cause coming in at four. Thanks for coming out, Lost Cause. If I'm being quiet, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's not because I don't love you. It's because I'm adding wheels, adding names to the wheel. 
but you can't you know, talk at the same time. It's really hard for me, man. Fine, I'll come. Rebirth number one. And yeah. the more that I have to turn off my mic while I type, or else you're you gonna. Yeah, for it. Here I am. I just had a candy bar. I got energy. He had a Snickers. No, I had a. The last one I had was a Twix. Oh, good taste. Isn't right. that a, a I weird got name? To prove it. Hey, girl, show me your Twix. Uh, I, I'm some camera's not on me, but there it is. There's the wrapper. We don't want to see that wrapper. Well, we don't I, see that dirty wrapper. It's not dirty. It's clean. I just ate it. It's got dirty chocolate on. Shut up. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Shelby, stop talking. Oh shit, Shelby, Jesus! I might go as far to say, as far as to say that this is in like the higher, more like nine six range. So take your chances on that. But I said it's like a near mint minus near mint. Or I said very fine near mint. Yeah. So what are we at? Todd, you're gonna have to send me my total, bro. I'm I'm broke right now, but I, send me my total. We'll obviously take away the 60 bucks, and then I'll see what I'm working with. Okay, man. I'll work with you. You know that. Mm -hmm. I will put this in at... Uh, I just want to show you what you got, and if you don't want something, that's fine. Yeah, I did buy the whole run of Kazar Doom, so you can take those out. Unless they're... Uh, leave them. Leave them. They might be higher grade than mine. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do 20? I'll do this one as well. Ooh, that's a gross cover. Yeah, that's an awesome cover. This one's a hard, like, 398? Yeah. 99. 399. Mandrake. Cover. Mandrake and Doug Moore. However you say it. The cover's nuts. So, this will come in at 20, and it's just because it's really high grade. I, it's probably 9698. Really? That's nuts. But I was going to throw this in at, like, 12, 13. I really wanted twenty for the start, but we're all, we're all good. I'm I high grade books, you know. This is a key. Um, first stuff. No, it's Stephanie Brown as spoiler. Like they reveal her identity, her like first appearance. Stephanie Brown, who's that? She's, She's a, a spoiler. That's the spoiler. Drake. And then she became no, Batgirl. No, I'm not spoiler. Like, no, no, read, 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 oh, read oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking yeah. with you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, true. No spoilers, but it's spoilers. At 30, no. At 25, I'll add that. Old Got Lost book. Cause in at 11. Is that Neil Adams? That's the yeah. reaper of Neil Adams stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's still cool. Yeah, it's definitely cool. Well, this shit. I mean, 25. 20, 26. up right now, so we're still just waiting on bidders right now. We got Lost Cause in the lead at 11. Still got Star Screen in there. That high grade book. The high grade book's worth it, bro. So it looks like just uh it's just lost cause and star screen right now. Yeah. <clears throat> that high grade that high grade book he has is, is worth the money already at 20. Sterling's well, in the team. We got Sterling in now at 13. If we get to a hundred we get to a hundred, I'll put this in. Oh wait! A second. I need that, that the death of Robin, but it's low grade. How much you want for just that issue? My dad bought me that issue when I was a kid. Hundred. Really? I really, I kind of wanted to throw it up on eBay for like a two hundred best offer and take like a. I think I might be like breaking up a little bit. What do you really think stuff. the grade is? Like a point point That's five? Cool. I put up like two hundred best offer and take like one fifty or more. But I mean, I think at least probably a hundred is my minimum. It's it's a good minus, good minus, good, good. Okay, that's writing there. So really you don't think it's like there. way low? I think it's detached. Um, okay, so it's low. It's pretty low. It's low, but it presents yeah. well if you don't mind. Yeah, well, I don't care how it presents. I care what grade it is. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit lower than what it presents, right? Yeah. With the, with in a any grade. This book's getting hard to find. Or, yeah, it's. I've never even seen that book. In per, I've never even seen it. I can't believe no one's jumping to twenty on that on that high grade book. So 
So, okay. It is detached. I go and, uh, pony with Sterling's in the lead at 13. Lost Cause is coming strong at 15. Oh, I can't yeah, highlight these things. I'm, I'm clicking on it. I can highlight it. So hilarious. 15. So you're getting you're getting these four books. I got plenty more I could add in. Um this is at 15. So yeah, you're at 15. This would come in at 20. This comes in at 25. This is 20. And I mean I I'll do like for a hundred, I'll throw this in. I said that already. Um but you want to keep it tame. I mean Probably going to be yours at 15, but it's, where were we at? We got Lost Causes in at 25. Okay. So I was saying this would come in at 25. So he's taking the, I was the, bringing the, the first cap. Bane at 30. This comes in at 30. So the, the headless cover and that Neil Adams reprint are in? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So at 25, that's all that's in. You get everything so far. I'll bring this in at 30. The breaking of first the bat. Bane. First Bane, and it should be first Bane. The bat. Bat. Whoa. And if you saw this writing on it, it's on the bag. It says free. I literally just noticed it. But it's it's probably it's got one little dent here. So I call it very fine. But I got more if you want. But other people can jump in if you want. I got plenty more. If you want older stuff or new stuff. But I don't want to keep taking up the shit. Time. I got the bat pirate. For another five bucks, so let's say at uh, thirty, Bane comes in at thirty-five. Bat Pirate comes in. That's high grade. It's near mint, minus near mint. I'd say at least by a hard near mint. I have punchline stuff if you want. Five bucks for this is no. Yeah, five more from what I'm saying. So twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five at forty. I'll bring in. Batman 92, first punchline. Uh, full appearance, or whatever, outside of that hell risen crap. And this is probably a $10 book for half. I'm not even sure. Maybe not. So, five, five more, I'll put that in. Or well, we can stop uh, at wherever you're at. Oh, wow. So, it looks like Lost Cause. That, that was all we were waiting on. Lost Cause is the winner at 25 right now. So, if Lost Cause wants to go anymore, just let Parker know. You want to add any more of these other books in? What issue is Death of Robin? I don't know. Oh, this one. Hey, Sorry. Where did Excuse me. Go? Yeah. 156. It's 156. I didn't hear him say that he was leaving. Did he say he was leaving? Oh. Or did he just fall out? I don't know. First, uh, Mrs. Freeze. Joker stuff, more Joker stuff, Sean Murphy. I'll take something. Bam, 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 bam. Other than pain. Well, <laughs> want to do? You want to do this nice hot book? Show this one. Got a nice booty. Sorry, excuse me. That might be crude, but I love this cover for the butt shot. Hey, man. He's got a nice booty. There's no harm in You got to call it out. You got to call it when you see it, man. A nice butt's a nice butt. If she had a bad butt, you'd say, man, she's got a bad butt. She's got a bat butt. Bad butt. Um, if you want this to be your $5 book to get you up to 30 instead, I don't know. And then you can keep going from the other ones I've shown you. I've pretty much been like, about, I want pretty much five bucks each on it. Not this guy. This is like a fifty dollar book. This one, I still want at least a hundred more for this. For, uh, so let's uh, cause. Let's uh, let's try and wrap this. More for this. If you want to stay at twenty five, or if you want to add one of them books to go to thirty, you can. I, he, he wrote yes. I don't know if that means he wanted the butt book. We're gonna stop here at thirty, unless I mean we can keep going. But I mean, I'm, I'm hogging the round, so I got plenty more. Literally this much okay, more there's only, there's only four of us right now, so it's not a big deal. I'm just trying to figure out if that's what he wants to do or not. Sounds like it. But you can say keep going. Let's all stop at 30. But, but, but. Good, we good lost, ending. I like that we lost Tricky again. 
pun of the day goes to lost cause. Let's wrap that up. There you go. 39 shipping, sir. I don't think I have anything else with shipping. I don't think I have anything else on in your box or on hold with you, but if I do, correct me. All right. We're going to jump over to Gorilla Todd. Tricky just fell out again, so I don't know. He might be having issues. No, Tricky's definitely got issues. But Thanks, let's Green. just do the quick recap. Max yeah, Cohen. Recap. I got the Carmilla and I got the two Strange Academies for you. So four and four and eight plus six is fourteen dollars. That's what I got for you, Max Comics. Then Parker, I got two Venoms for you. Eight bucks, I think, is what it was. You got the yeah, the nullified venom and the regular venom. I got Keith Lackey. I got two Strange Academies for you. Eight bucks. Sterling. We got the Red Sonia, Prince of Blood, and the Vampy. So that's seven plus four, 11 bucks sterling on those. And all these are, you know, shipping. If we're doing a box, well, you can just IG me. Tony, I got the Venom Nullified and the Vampirella Dark Powers Peach. Those two, that's eight bucks. But Tony, I also got this for you from the other night. Okay, so you got the nullified Daredevil. And then Papa Wheelie, I got the Vampy for you. And then T-Pain, I got the Venom in the Strange Academy. Papa Wheelie, you want both Vampy? Okay, I got to dig that up. What? Okay. In this pile, maybe... Yeah. Okay, okay, Papa Wheelie, I got you the uh, Joseph Lindsner cover too for Vampirella Dark Powers. That's a pretty cool cover. That robot's pretty wicked. Nothing. I thought you burped. I thought you burped, Chad. Oh no, it wasn't me. So okay, I'll set you up a bag, Papa Wheelie, and that's maybe it's the ghost of Craig. No, I not. think it's just. I think it's just the. I think the other one is just the A cover. And I think I was supposed to get two, and I only got one. I think that's what it is. If I knew where it was, dude, I, I lose stuff. So I have nothing but comic books, and I can't find ever the comic book I'm looking for. Eh, <laughs> whatever. Whatevs. Life goes on. But the great thing about that is I can always just reach in and find another comic book. So the two nullifieds. Nullified variants I have. I have Black Widow. And then I have Thor. What are you want for Thor? Cover? Uh, cover price. Put one in my box, please. You got it, Peter. Cool. I got a couple of those if anybody else wants. I was only able to get one, and it was taking all my restraint not to try to sell it. Because I do want one. Mm -hmm. I got you on that, Peter. Okay, no worries. Um, I also got a couple of these left. If anybody's interested, I can do these at cover price. One of them is six. I think it's the the Venom twenty five. Yeah, the fifth printing with the black and white car, uh, carnage with the Venusaur. Yeah, that's cool. But, I like that. T Pain, you want Thor and Black Widow? That would have dope. Yeah. So far, they've all been pretty good. Pretty okay. Oh, man. We're going six hours strong. Cool, guys. The night is young. It's only 120. I don't go to bed for like another four hours. Here we go. Okay. So, T Pain, I got the uh, two for you. Uh, the Darth Vader behind me, it's uh, like a printed, it's a print on canvas.
I picked it up at my LCS. He had it. It was like it was pretty cheap. It was like thirty bucks, I think. I saw it and I was like, "Yep, mine." <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I have the Venom Twenty Five Fifth Print Black and White cover. That's six bucks cover price. And then I have the Venom. 28 with the scorpion cover four bucks yep four bucks cover price i'll do that for cover and then i got the 26 uh fourth printing i'll do that for cover if anybody wants um i got this ice cream man for four bucks if anybody wants oh that's it that's a creepy, creepy, fuck creepy eye mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's got teeth in his eyes. Yeah, yeah, he's got mouth fries. <sighs> Giles, he'll eat you with his eyeballs. And then, well, anybody's still needing uh, <clears throat> the spawn. This is the the local comic shop one. Man, mine would have like five different stores, and that's it. They couldn't do one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three bucks. Cheap. Bomb's cool. Two ninety nine cover. Um, Still hold, holding the line. Make sure the ninety nine. I should auction something, right? Yeah, man. That's what we're here for. Yeah, man. Um, man, Perel is so boring, but I have so many. She's not boring. I got this wicked cool Carla Cohen Red Sonia. I'll start that at fifteen bucks. Dang, that's nice. Yeah, that's yeah. who did that? Carla Cohen. Why have I never heard that name before? She just does the, the cover. She's like a painter. Yeah, yeah. They're they're uh, sourcing like, a lot of cool. artists that don't do comics. They're doing so many covers that they have to go outside the comic realm of that. Wow, wow. <laughs> Boom, chicka, wow, wow. Humming, 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 humming. Woo! I can make a dance. That looks good, man. Okay, let me put that in the chat. I'm over here staring at it. You said $15? $15 start. All right, y'all. Get in there. $15 starting bid. Them virgin covers usually sell for at least 50 bucks when you buy them direct from... Uh, is that a dynamite book? It's no, this is uh it's only limited to five hundred. This is um I gotta look at the back. Or is that the Camara? Wait, is that what it's called? T Pain's already in Comic Kingdom of Canada dot com. Yeah, but what book is it? Canada. So what what book is they're it? Not, no, they're not boring. I didn't mean it like that. You misunderstood me, Papa. I love Vampirella. But I'm like, I do so many Vampirella auctions. I need to, and I already showed a bunch of Vampirella books. Let me do something That's else. That's an understatement. You know, I'm my own worst critic. It was more like me saying, I'm born. I want to, you know, spice it up a bit. So, don't watch him. So, I got T Pain in at 15. Sterling came in after him. So, yeah. Sterling, if you're interested in this, you're going to have to bid up. We are at 80. Six thumbs up and thumbs down, so we're 14 away. I see 87. Yeah, and this thing is limited to only 500, so this is a, a a true limited book. Yeah, that's a dope book right there. It looks, I mean, it looks good. Like it's painted very well, aside right. from the fact that it's like an attractive, you know. Yeah, no, it's well done. Attractive. It's aesthetic and cool. <laughs> Hey, Papa Willie, be asked for. You never know what might be in a box. So Sterling went 16. Louis BC, you want the spawn? You got it. I got other spawn issues, Louis BC, if you're if you're interested in spawn. I have, like, the other covers. Let me see what I can hold and dig. Let's see what I can do with one hand. 
Graviton. What's up, Graviton? Just Hit that thumb that. button. Up or down, I don't care which way. We're trying to get to 100. If I can give away this slab. Tonight's the night. I can feel it in my bones. T-Pain went to 17. Oh, he already did. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, I, got, I got this one. Now now, uh, now, join the stream with all your uh, your, your extra accounts. That's the A cover. With. 12. <laughs> <clears throat> we got T Pain in at 17. We only got like 20 seconds left the, in the clock. The gunslinger for 12. Oh, uh, the Keith Lackey in here and he left. What's that? We had Keith Lackey in here and he left. Hmm. He dropped off. 312 spawn. And then I have the one that doesn't have. <laughs> And then this is the, the regular one with the green lettering. And then I'm pretty sure I have somewhere. That's the timer. So right now we're just waiting to see what Sterling's going to do. Is Sterling going to outbid T-Pain and go for the win? Or is he going to pit in the quitter bid? A full, oh, he went to 18, so he's in there winning. We all know T-Pain's not going to stand for that. T-Pain went to 20. Well, I'll tell you what. If it goes to 25, I'll throw in another Red Sonia. Uh, Amanda Connor cover. Max, if you're here, somebody said that you got to go claim your prize at Thunder Thing. So go now, quick. She, I don't yeah. think she's in here because I haven't seen her write anything in a while. And you're froze. What happened? I don't know. It'll come back. Can you hear me? I can hear you. But you're just not moving. Click your camera on and off and see. Yeah, if well, you click your camera on and off, you should be good. Flip your camera there on. There, there he go. is. <laughs> ah. Well, he's gone now. So, I uh, T Pain is in in the lead. Y'all, uh, y'all still know that. Uh, it's still going on. So, Sterling, let us know. Are you going to bid up? Are you going to fold? Right now, T Pain's in the lead at 20. I'm sure that Todd will be back on in a second. Mm -hmm. Sterling went to 21. Oh, I like your little silver surfer, bro. That's nice, isn't it? How are the ducks hanging out with him? Yeah, I had that. I had that pig. Well, I think his hair got longer. Oh, look, Pain's so uh, Sterling's gonna win that lot for twenty-one bucks. Okay, so it's that mm -hmm. guy. Unless you want to go to twenty-five, Sterling, I don't throw that book in your call. Oh, too bad. Let me know. And then who asked for the spawn? Louie. Yeah, Louis BC. Ooh, that could be bad. <clears throat> so this is the the three regular covers for that issue. And then that's the one you wanted, the local comic book day. Let me know if uh um, any of those local comic days. Know. Can you get a better look at what is it you want a better look at, Sterling? Because I mean, I can we can go shopping, we can pick out some clothes. I don't know if I can help you with your look though, man. <laughs> oh, nice. Sterling's gonna take a screenshot, and then he's gonna <laughs> and then he's like, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> you're both at 25 or you're at this one at 21. <laughs> your call. Oh, after he wants to see the other book to go in at 30. That's what he's asking. Uh, for me? For me? Or 25, whatever you say. Yeah, 25. But, yeah, that goes yeah he said, can I get a better look? So I'm assuming that's what he means. Yeah, that's sick. That's a sick book. It's Amanda Connor. You can't, you know, she's as good as anybody. I love her facial expressions. Look at that guy hanging on the cape. He's, he's hanging on the, too. the hem of her garment. Yeah. You want the green letter cover, the one that matches? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, Louis BC. 
So that's six bucks. It's going to be like eight bucks shipping, but you can fit like eight more books if you want. All right. So, uh, Sterling, if you would just let Todd know if you want to yeah, go. Yeah, you know, we'll, just, we'll keep right, it at $21. At $21 you're at. And just keep that one book. And uh, we're going to hop over here. Is it tricky? Keep it feel better. Uh, real quick, say, hey, what's up, Keith? How you doing, man? What's up, oh, Keith? Kids. What's up? Oh, I'm doing well. I figured I'd just stop in and say hi. I know you guys have never seen my face before, so I figured oh, I'd say hi. Oh, it's always nice. I recognize you. You're on your icon. Good to see Ow. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your icon doesn't do you justice, bro. <laughs> right on, man. Well, it's good to have you right here. On, Let's hop over here to Tricky and see what he's got for sale. What you got up next, man? I will say uh, for you, Collector, this is just a spec book. I'm not throwing this up, but you guys need to get this Naomi issue one. Uh, got a got a, a show coming. This is a Bendis character. Uh, so you see, so go get your spec books. You're not don't look on eBay because it's too much. But if you could find Naomi issue one, DC, uh, go grab that because it's gonna get hot as fire. Um, I tell you right now, that's one of them books. Like when it was hot before, so many people had them graded. So there's a lot of people sitting on nine eights right now. Yeah. They're gonna flood the market with that stuff real quick. Go get that book uh, right away, if, uh, but not on eBay. You're gonna have to find it cheaper. Uh, yeah. I got Danger Girl issue one. This is Mayday one through four. Mayday one through four. Um, it's I think the whole miniseries. Uh, I believe anyway. Here's issue three. Here's oh, issue two. Putting up Campbell's. No worries, sir. They're not, actually, not Campbell's. None of they, them. Not. They're very. They look a lot like. Um, to start off at ten dollars, but uh, <clears throat> cut. Well, who is this picking? Ro Royal, R O Y L E. Really? I, it looks yeah. like Campbell. Yeah, I mean, just like it. Yeah, I mean, identical. Other than like the lines are a little thicker. Campbell's lines are a little thinner. Yeah, um, but yeah, face definitely, them, <laughs> definitely must have been. They must have went to the same school at the same time. They must have been like, this is how you need to draw my characters. Right, right, right. You got Lost Cause in at 10. So Danger Girl, uh, Mayday 1 through 4. I think it's the whole mini, I believe. But you do got some beautiful covers, even if it's not Campbell. Who cares when you got that fucking... Look at that hit thing. Who cares? <laughs> this is issue 2. <clears throat> we got uh, issue three, which is pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. And then issue four, which is very nice. That's Philip Tan. I think no. Not. Well, they are Tan, oh. and they may have dated a Philip at one time, but no. um, <laughs> it is not Philip Tan. It's it's, no, it's no, royal, no. some royal. So, yeah, I thought you said who it was. Oh, never mind. Let me let me you googly this. Got two minutes left on the clock, y'all. Right now we got Lost Cause holding it down for ten dollars. Yeah. John John Royal. Yeah. Um, and you gotta be royal. He's done some GI Joe. He's done some. He trusts just like. Dan Parilla. He's done some. GI yeah, Joe and Mamparilla, I'd say, is the biggest, biggest achievement. But um, he's done some Spider Man. See me? Danger Girl, I'd say. You know, he's done some Bat Batgirl. GI yeah, Joe. Enjoy the movie cover that Carter just showed. Mostly GI Joe. Had the same hits. <laughs> yeah. But he he got some nice blades. You know, he might cut your dingus off. Can you hold that up again? Got one minute left on the clock. Lost Cause is still the only one in right now at ten dollars. <laughs> what is that a book? Uh, what is that a book, uh, Barbarian? How many books is it? Four. That would be. Two dollars. Wait, yeah, two dollars and fifty cents. How about two forty? 
two fifty book. They're three ninety nine cover price. <clears throat> so let's get up to eleven dollars. Let me bid up to eleven dollars so you can almost make cover price. See, oh. all those faces look just like Campbell. That dude oh, is fine. Oh, yeah. Can you put the signature up? It's for the bottom of the book. Yeah, let me put that up for you. Uh, okay. Because there was, I saw like two or three of them. I was like, maybe I recognize yeah, the other. So you probably got the inker and the colors on there. Dope nope. covers, man. Good art. I like it. Yeah, super sick. <laughs> Where are the blades? All I see is some side boot. <clears throat> You're not looking at the blades, man. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, bro. There you go. Uh, let's see. Oh, is it my turn? It's my turn to go again. Sweet. So I have a lot that I'm going to put up for auction. It's going to start at 20 bucks. I don't know if anybody in here is going to be into this. Somebody had said a while ago about DC horror books, like Bronze Age horror. So start bid... Twenty dollars, and uh, I think this is six books. Yeah, six books. They're all unexpected. You got unexpected number one eighty three, and these are reader copies. You know, even reader copies of these kind of books. They're like five dollar books all day long. Definitely didn't expect you to put this up. <laughs> we got uh, unexpected one ninety. Nice. And unexpected 201. It's all unexpected. I like this cover. It's like the you know, like a freaking torture cover. If I can hold it in the right spot. We got unexpected 219. She just needs a magnifying glass, and that would be a perfect cover. Uh, unexpected 221. And last but not least is Unexpected 222. So six books, 20 bucks starting bid. Anybody's into some uh, 70s horror books from DC, feel free to throw a bid in there. I got the clock started. We'll give it a little while and see if anybody bites. I'm not really sure. If, if people are actually interested in this, I might be able to pull some more stuff out. I got a lot of DC horror. I don't really sell my Marvel horror books, but I might be tempted to sell some of my other DC horror books. Or if nobody's interested in them, you know, feel free to say... Kick that shit away. We don't want it. I'll do that. I'll put them out here where you can actually see all the covers. Because that's professional. I need to put new letters down on my table. They're getting all messed up. I'm also going to do this deal for tonight and tonight only. So buy it now. We got a, a minute and a half left on the clock. This is a special deal. Special, special. Here. I got this totally unintrusive medium flat rate box. And I'll fill this box up with comic books, like 40 of them. And I'll ship it to your house for forty dollars so basically you're paying you're getting free shipping and you're getting 40 comics so you're paying a dollar a comic and it'll all be dc and marvel and indie and you know not a bunch of trash books but it'll be decent stuff but just random so if anybody wants to buy a, a 40 dollar box of 40 comics with free shipping
how much is 11 books shipping um i can ship 11 books for nine dollars like i don't have any problem doing that 11 is my sweet spot like i can do 11 easy anything under that is fine when it gets more than 11 books is when it starts to get iffy it just depends on how thick they are so to answer your question cameron uh yeah i uh I can t easily do 11 books at $9 ship. And the box, not no, it will not be all horror books. <laughs> it's just random books. <laughs> Is Keith still in? Is in the show? Cameron? Keith. Keith, yeah, Keith's in here right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Keith, if you want to take my fucking turn, that'd be so cool, bro. <laughs> uh, I could probably sell a book. I'd be okay if you were okay with it, Barbarian. That's fine with me, man. Yeah, uh, so uh, that was the timer, and Cameron's the only one in here. So, Cameron, I'm going to give you these books for 20 bucks, brother. I uh, appreciate that, sir. And like I said, I've been telling everybody, anybody that buys them, anybody's going to get put on the wheel to win the Moon Knight toy. Anybody that spends 50 bucks. With any seller, you can get on the wheel to get that slab. Spend fifty dollars with multiple sellers, you'll get multiple spots. It's that pedigree moon night. That's that barbarian pedigree. It is, man. I do have pedigree. I'm actually working with CGC right now to try and get them to acknowledge how awesome I am. Well, so they would never actually see that. For anyone that spends fifty bucks or more, <laughs> if we can get up to a hundred thumbs up or thumbs down. Don't be scared. Call your mom and have her hit the thumb button. Either way, it don't matter. All right, we're going to move over to Parker now. Oh, shit. Looks like it's I think we're at 89 now, so we're 11. Serious up here. He done drink a whole sugar pack. <laughs> He's ready for an all-nighter. Yeah, he is. It's got a I am really glad I bought an extra rib. It's got a sugar. Dip. My bread time. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let me just show some things. Oh, you want an option? Uh, I don't really. Well, I basically just have some buy nows right here. I could do a quick round. All right. Whatever. Here, whatever. All right. Um, so just sort of, yeah, claim as I go. I'm only going to show like four or five books. They're just buy it now. So. Maybe they're ones that you guys have seen before, but maybe there's some new people. What up? <clears throat> we need a copy of The Last Ronin. Asking $30. I know it's a little high, but that's like the going eBay price. Some are, some are more. $30, first print, never been read. I have two available. There's that. Um, Cable and Deadpool, number one. This is really like a $30 book all day. I'll do 15 on it. It's a $15 buy it now. My auction was going to be, I'll grab a couple Deadpool and Cable books and pair it with this and ask like $30 to get the value of this. But I'll do half price on this if someone wants. I'm asking 15 If this needs... <sighs> How did you hunger? Who am I about what you been? Gazoon tight. What's up, buddy? Thank you. So fifteen dollar buy it now on this. Uh, it's near mint. It's cable Deadpool. I think it's one shot. Might have been a short mini series. But it's. Oh god, this sneeze again. Put your finger in your nose. Put your finger in your nose, bro. No. 
I mean, you're doing it all. Think about blowing winds and meadows. Think about dogs running through the park, shaking. That's a pretty rad book, though. That, I mean, that life of cover is sick. Here's the deal. If anybody needs to get on this wheel, the $50 one, um, you haven't bought anything, here's a shortcut. I can get you there faster. So I have. Ah, it's lingering. It's coming. It wants to. It wants to, it wants to break free. It's on food. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to disinfect all that stuff. I'm trying to play my nose. It's not cool. If people get your books, they might get pregnant. <clears throat> Spider-Man number one, Near Mint. This is the Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man. First printing, Near Mint, $40. I also have this cool anniversary book, issue 200. Variant cover, Miles Morales. Uh, $30. If you want both of them, night only, right now, I'll do 50 for the pair. I really wanted to say 60 Ooh. But no, 50 50 bucks get you both. Get you on the wheel for the possible giveaway. Well, it is a giveaway. You might win. And you get these books. You start a box. Shipping's just nine bucks. Hold them for a while. <coughs> I think I'm clear. I think I'm good. I think I'm solid. I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to charge more for germs, buddy. Because it's, you know, that's quality DNA. That's quality H2O. <laughs> Smashing. Welcome to the rock. John Wick number one. Awesome dope photo variant. Forty-five dollars. Slashing prices. Forty-five dollars tonight only. I've seen this thing sell for ninety, a hundred. Seen CGC high grades go for like in the two hundreds. It's a hard to find book. I gotta throw the spine. They're my, it's just like slight little. They're non color breaking ticks, but they're not even ticks. They're like slight. I don't know. You could press this cover so easily. I don't know what I would grade it. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. It's fine. All right. There. I don't know. It's not showing very well. Here we go. The light on it. You can see it all clearly. Otherwise, this way. Keep going. I'm bad at moving. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. You okay, puppy? Otherwise, this way. Yeah, whatever. That's $45. Oh, we got some bidding? No, we don't. Right, sorry, I gotta get at least 45. Yeah. And I have it made out with this copy. It's not my personal copy that you don't want that one. I'll give you I'll sell you that one for thirty dollars, but that one's got a lot. Alright, we're just being gross. Still got these for sale, Venom Sevens. Thirty dollars. Dude, I totally dollar timer. <laughs> I am both. You're on the wheel. I'm like, both. man, this is the longest timer ever. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Oh, Max is here. What do you know? Max. I wasn't. Oh, I, I wasn't even over here. I'm like over here trying to look for more shit to sell. What's up, Max? You're 70 on this guy. I'm ready to sell. All right, good, because I'm all out of stuff. So, unless people want some dollar books, or I want to fill up a box. <laughs> Dollar books are good. All right. Well, other than that, I just got my foreign babies. What are you bidding on? I thought you were putting up buy it now. <clears throat> I'm trying to get my John. It's like a ten minute, ten minute timer. 
Oh, they're going backwards bidding on your John Wick book. That's what it is. I don't know. Gorilla was going for like 15 minutes with his new book. But no, partner, I'm surprised these foreign prints aren't the like, feeding prints. Don't sell, bro. Because like, you've had these. Well, like foreign, them, but these are so cool. Mm -hmm. $50 each on these. If you buy them all, I'll do 40 for all of them. So whatever that is, 160 Fuck, I'll do 150 if you take them all tonight, right now. <clears throat> 150 for all. Yeah, do, do that. I lower, the, I lower and lower the price. I'm going to talk to you about those books. Not me buying them, but I think I, I think I know where you could sell them for a decent price if they don't sell yeah. here. I have a pretty vast foreign collection, but they're all keepers. Like I'm, pretty, I, That's my favorite stuff that I have. Mm -hmm. If they were higher, I'd go for my foreign box first. Not my dog. I would skip the dog. But he's last. He's expendable. Get the Hulk. One, get the Zach. What year were these printed? Or do you know? Uh, most of them are 1999. This one's okay. 2000 something. 2010. So would you say these it's the first? The first one prints or no? No, uh, well, there might be original editions. These are definitely like a foreign reprint. Uh, sometimes you can find them on eBay by searching Euro variant. But they're like okay. from the Panini company, I think. And uh, they're all near mint. You got that page 13, Mark Mark Jewelers? Mark Spector? <laughs> yeah. 50 no, each. Um, but whatever. Have you seen oh, like these? Are, have like, you seen inside these made... What? Have you seen inside these books? What? You want to see inside one of these books? No, have you seen them? Have you looked through them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't read German or anything on these ones, but... <clears throat> you know, like, maybe there's something in them that's... So, like, you, you we have, like, Mark Jewelers for... But maybe there's something, like, cool in them that it's, like, special to people who... Are, who it's read them. totally special because you can't read them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hard to get, man. I think they all, they're all, like, one of 3,000. I think they're all very limited print okay. counts. They didn't do very many. Again, you know, like in some, reprints, you know, in some reprints, they'll change things that were like racially unacceptable oh, oh, now. No. Like that. These are all like identical. They have the same like ads okay. and the soapbox type pages, but an editorial page. Tip, hit me up if you want to so those 50 each. You can like make that big deal, 150 for all of them or any of those other books you saw. Last Ronin for $30. But other than that, you can move on. Thank you for your All right, time. so you're done. And you and Tricky, you said you want to skip and go to you want Keith well, to go. Yeah, yeah, Keith can take my turn if, if it's okay with you. That's fine. All right, Keith, what you got for us, man? What's going on? <laughs> cool. So this is my first time ever selling uh online, so this will be interesting. It's okay, I only um, charge $150 a month. You only have to okay. pay for three spots in my auction in my in my my reference. Don't forget you have to join his uh I was getting there. If I was, <laughs> if I was uh, monetized, you'd have to join, but you just have to join my Patreon and buy my my, my red bubble stuff. So go ahead. What you got for me? <laughs> so uh so everyone knows the Department of Truth um first issue. I happen to find a error print one and I'd have no idea what it's worth. So I'm just gonna start the bidding on this at one dollar. What's what's the error on it? So you can see the difference between the covers. Um, let me put this oh in. yeah, there's like a pink pink stripe coming down the side of this one. So I have no idea what it's worth, um, but I figured I'd put it out there. Actually, I actually have two of them. I'm gonna sell one of them now. So the bigger stripe down the side. So oh wow, yeah. So I'm maybe going to have all the covers. It, it, it unlocks a hidden truth. Oh yeah, maybe. All right, so I got it in the chat. One dollar starting bid. We already got camera number five. Man, you about to make me break my own rule, and I, I don't ever buy stuff on my own auction unless it's buying now. And I really want to bid on that. <laughs> bid on it, man. I mean, uh, no, I have, four to five, four to ten bucks. Like, it's at least worth that. I have my own rules. I like to follow them. You're uh, very, you're very, you have a lot of self-control, and I, I admire that about you. Anyone who can be a big Max is in at $10. Max is all about them. 
Miss Prince. I actually Pretty thought it was the second printing of it when I bought it, the first one, and then I came home and couldn't find it. Uh, like when I scanned it in, it kept saying it was the first print. So yeah, because it's blue. The second print. One. It, you probably can build like a. You put them all together, and it builds like a map. And then you uh, like I, a the treasure map. <laughs> that could totally be the missing piece. Cameron's folding. <laughs> Max is back at 12. We got Z Collection at 11. Max is a like, holy crap. What's up, Z Collects? We got an auction here. We got a minute and a half left on the clock, y'all. Do you guys want to hear my uh no so I uh I'm a big conspiracy theorist. So why, do you ask, why do you ask if I'm gonna say no and then you keep going? Well, because I wasn't asking you. Uh, so you didn't specify JFK. You at you're talking to a comic book. I'm oh, talking nine away. Talking about JFK. We need nine more thumbs up or thumbs down. We might I'm actually. Talking, make I'm it. talking to whoever says yes, Todd. Whoever Wait, what was the question? I like conspiracies. Sometimes. Oh. I, I have a conspiracy theory about JFK. What okay, about JFK? Yeah, I want to hear. Okay, so uh, my, my theory is that it was filmed, the shot was filmed twice because there are photos of a, a four car car and a six, the six car car is what we get in the Zapruder footage, but there are photos of an assassination in a four car car. So I think it was filmed twice and then the Zapruder footage was uh, spliced of the two. And so everyone in the foreground of the Zapruder footage is a mannequin and everyone in the background is live. So you're saying the people that were there in person watching it happen didn't really see it happen? No, I'm saying it happened, and then it happened again to get the footage that they needed. So it happened. So they and it. And they had to do a retake. Yeah, a retake. So everyone, if you watch the Zapruder footage, everyone in the foreground with the man. Got Max Comics in at 14. Then everyone in the background. Yeah, uh, Oscar, some, what's his name? Oliver, Oliver Stone filmed that. Uh, no, it was just some. It was a pruder. The guy <laughs> the no, didn't he make a movie of that? Uh, uh, no, Z Collects came in at $20. Boom, dropping the mini mallet. Probably, I, he thinks that's high. <laughs> <laughs> I keep folding. Nice book, uh, nice book, Keith. It's good to meet you too, man. Yeah, I've been man. thinking about bidding, and so he folds. Hey, barbarian! You know what I really want to happen? I have no idea. What do you want to happen? I want to have an auction on my channel with you, me, X Collect, and first on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, <laughs> <laughs> just like the old days. Max Comics is a twenty-five. Well, Wednesdays I'm free. Mondays I can't do it. It depends on Wednesday. I would, I would have to run it by the boss, but I'm down, man. I'm always down. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah, man. I was thinking. I was trying to remember the other day who all it was that sold with us before the whole like pay for your spot thing started. <laughs> I was like, you know, who all was it that? The like, I'm, I mean, look, it was mainly me, you, first and X. Uh, Weapon X came a couple times, but he, he, you know, a couple times. Yeah, because uh, Hydra was there just a couple times, and then he got sick and left. I couldn't remember who all was there for sure. Like, there was a couple people besides just me that were there, like, every Wednesday. And I only sold on Wednesdays. I mean, you know, I think Shorty was around for a short while. Yeah, yeah, Shorty came minutes. a little bit. Um, hey, Keith, so you got a lot of slabs back there. What is some of your like prized possessions as far as PC goes? I'm not a DC guy, so nothing. I'm sorry, PC, personal collection. Oh, personal collection. I thought you said DC. Uh, I have uh, Eternals, number one, 9-8. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the Edge of Spider-Verse. I just got that one. Um, nice. I have... Um, like Lost Cause is folding. We got Z-Collect folding. As far as Eternals go, are you more of like a Icarus fan or Ajax or Cersei or? 
I just actually got back into comic collecting, so I picked that one up because I, I, I like the MCU stuff. So I That's a good book, yeah. yeah. You got somebody named Shutter Duck in at 26. Yeah, Shutter Duck is in. Max is still in. Uh, Lost Cause folded. Zeke Alexa. Shutter Duck. What's up, right Shutter Duck? Uh, That's a funny name. I like it. Shutter Duck. <laughs> yeah, Shutter Duck's good. I can say uh, that over and over. Shutter Duck. Right now, we're just waiting to see if Max is going to shut her up down. Shut Tim Martinez said he folded. I don't remember him bidding, but was he in here bidding? Did I miss it? Yeah, he was in. Uh, oh, okay. He was in early. Yeah, but he was Duck was in at 26, so you got to come in at 27. I think Max can this work. Yeah, Tim, Tim was an underbid. There you go. Max it's is in at 27. Though. Yeah, Max is in at 27. <laughs> so it wasn't what like this. Like this is a one of a kind book, maybe two, because it's a printing error. Like it was done wrong on the printing press. Somehow it got through quality control and got put out, and then you found it. I like the way you say that. Quality control. It's not even, it's not even That's like exactly what it is, man. Yeah, it's, it's not, not even like a The people that were supposed to be doing their job and making finding this stuff totally blew it. There's no quality <laughs> control. It's like it looks like a comic go. Yeah. No, I showed one before I got that was totally miscut from the cutter. And like the whole half of the bottom's cut off of it. And they sent it out. <laughs> It right. made it stuff, and then I found his it. Other, his other misprint's even different than this one, so that's pretty rad. Yeah, yeah it's cool. It's a very, it's just like a, a unique variant, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not even sure what would happen if you sent this to CGC. Would they even recognize that there's an error here? Or they, they, they probably would say that it's a manufacturer error. Yeah, they'd probably they'd like call it the them. wrong book on the label. They'd say this is not. The Department of Truth, they'd call it something different. Yeah, I'd say this is a, the, the, the is one the of, of, of distinct possibilities. It's, it's the lackey variant. <laughs> they would still have it with like. Yeah. They'd say printing eight. error on the label. Okay, <laughs> so it's not going to get a 9 8, right? Because uh, it's not a it's not a, an error in the book or a damage. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's printed nice. like that. That's the same way with that X Force or the the X Factor book I put up. That's got the dude's fingerprint on the letter. Yeah. Like that was printed like that. Like it came from the factory. It's not a. It's not a. That's wild. Effect on it. It wasn't done. Like somebody didn't do that. It was done at the print. I think it's hilarious. Right now we got Shutter Duck at twenty eight. He's not gonna <laughs> let you get this, Max. He's pushing. Yeah, let's just put the thirty five. Drop the hammer. <laughs> we'll get it at thirty five easy. These guys are inching. Don't forget, $50 is going to get you on the wheel <laughs> for that slab. <laughs> I think 31 would do it, Max. 3166. 36. Here on the Barbarian <laughs> Food Channel, we like to round everything up. We're going to call that a Bar. 32 bid. <laughs> Bar. Mm -hmm. No. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna round it down? No, Barb, I actually it right my whole, whole number. If, if it was you know, under, a homeless man would be grateful for that sixty-six cents. That's what I'm saying. I'd be more grateful for the thirty-four cents. That's why I don't want to throw <laughs> away the, the sixty-six cents by saying thirty-one. I think it's if it was, if it was thirty-one forty-five, then I would say yeah, thirty-one. But you're over the threshold of the point five, so that's how it works in the water business. Round up. Oh shit! Shut it up to thirty-two. Yeah, keep just keep that other copy, bro, until someone realizes that it's there and then fucking slab it or something. Yeah, that's what I'm. I, I'm mainly doing this so I know what the value of the other one is. So that's like, I have yeah. no idea. So and this, this well, is something keep that in mind. If, if you, if you, yeah, if you had a market that was like a bunch of buyers, you know, this this would probably be double the price. But if you have like thirty people in. And, that's yeah, true. I don't think Shutter Duck. That was a bid. I think he was asking whether Max's bid was thirty-two. Oh, I thought that was a bid. No, I think he's asking. Maybe we're he's asking if you. <laughs> Smoking if, if, if you want to bid thirty-two, Shutter Duck, now's your chance. Print? Before they yeah, make up their collective minds. So this is an error print of 
you can see the little pink bit that's sorry. So smoky, yeah, smoky is the first print, but it's also an air. Yeah. So there's a pink streak going down the side of this one. So it's a misprint of uh, Department of Truth number one. You sure it's a misprint? Have you looked with a magnifying glass? Is there a cipher in the pink ink? I think there might be a, a bigger puzzle. Jay Nicholas Cage. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of. That was a good one. You get me, Parker. You get me. <laughs> Smoke is confused. He's like, thank you. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, well, you know, what do you want straight answer? We don't know what this is. This is the beginning of something bigger than what we can. The Department of Truth. I'm going to so start. Third up is at 32. I think that might be it. Folders up there earlier. All I, I know is I'm going to start taking man. magic markers and throwing out of it. Are you giving up? Are you gonna? Are you gonna concede to the duck? I'm thinking 35 would would hammer it down. Oh goodness! I know, I know, Smokey. I'm fucking with you. <sighs> the dots don't mean confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's because I said dot, dot, dot. It can mean so many different things depending on the language. The dot, dot, dot could be like thanks or like ah, thanks. I think it's more like hmm. Yeah, he's like he's like. This is interesting. I think the thank you here is interesting. Kenzo. Max, did you fold? Yeah. Okay, then that means that uh, Shutter Duck posts this one for 32 bucks. Cool. Shutter Duck. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, we can work out the details. Understood, Smokey. All right, all right. Congratulations on your first uh, sale on YouTube, Keith. There uh, you go, man. You're yeah. awesome, bro. Way to knock it out of the park. And Shutter Duck is going to get his name on the wheel. That's what we like to hear. The wheel for the Moon Knight, not the wheel for the fifty dollars. Unless you spend some more money with some folks. Uh, Shutter Duck. Uh, yeah. So who's next? Tricky, you're next. Uh, I figure you're cool with it. Yeah, man. Um, no, no, I changed my mind. You're not next. Yeah, no. Tricky gave up his turn. That's fair too. Conspiracy theory. I have so many things here. Uh, I wouldn't have said a giveaway, so no, nothing. Tricky, I don't really care about the money for the books. I just want the art. Just yeah, me. art's huge. Oh, art's huge. Okay, so I'm going to start this off at $10. We have one, one eighty-eight. Okay. And we also have these are I'd say mid grade, uh, 85. So starting off at ten dollars, and then if it hits twenty, I have two more adventure comics to toss all up in there. So you got the mylar magic. Just remember that this one had some staining. So mid to low, grade. mid to low grade on these guys. Fifteen centers. Looks like Supergirl's about to go on a date with a robot here. <laughs> a romance machine. That's yeah, the cool. machine. She doesn't, dream I'm, she, doesn't, she doesn't dream I'm a computer programmed by Brainiac to break her heart. That's fucking epic shit. They said that's wrong on many levels. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's just like a fucking. A brainiac, a brainiac like a like a like a doom bot. He's a brainiac bot programmed to break Supergirl's heart. How ruthless is that? That's pretty. That's pretty epic. Great, great Kryptonian. How can you possibly lift that giant rocket? I'm the only Supergirl on Earth. You mean you were, but I'm even more powerful than you, Supergirl. You see, I'm your older sister. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> hey, this is the first appearance of Supergirl's older sister. Um, you know, at twenty, to get Keith Lackey. 
Keith, you wanna you wanna drop your IG in the chat? I don't know if you're. I got two more. At twenty bucks, I got two. If I have, if I haven't made you a mod already, just type something and I'll do that. Two ninety six and three eighty seven. I have two more at twenty. That's twenty dollars for four adventure comics. That's five dollars a piece uh, for these nice oldies but goodies. I think these are like late sixties. Almost positive. And don't forget, make sure you sub everybody up. Hey, what uh, what time do I got on the clock? Because I can switch this lot up. You, uh, you have two minutes left on the clock. Two, two minutes. minutes. <laughs> I run a very slow clock. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, set to my speed. $10. Okay, $10 will be huge. Marvel How many team up. Like do we have? Uh, we got 90 thumbs up and two thumbs down, so we're at 92. Eight Spider more to go. Spider-Man and the Watcher and Spider-Man and Fantastic Four. We have a low-grade copy of Spider-Man and Iron Fist. And Spider-Man and Thor. Uh, $10 starting bid will get you those four books. And I have more Marvel team-ups with Spider-Man to throw in uh, as we go along. It's mm. really we have a new fan of Myers Marvel team up Spider Man before. A low grade, I'd say, copy of the Christmas special. I got 93 also. Okay. 93. Is that your age? Or You're your... a lot cooler than me. I'll no. open up a new stream and maybe it'll say that. It uh -huh. says we got 25 people watching. It says I got 90 thumbs up and two thumbs down. Hey, so I got. 504 subscribers, though. I've gotten five subscribers tonight. Isn't that something? Nice. Congratulations. Congrats, bro. So at $10, you get these four books, but at $15, i will throw in two and two more, and then at $20, I'll throw in two more. I'm going to go to sleep, Papa Wheelie, after my next round. Vlad, you can't sleep. Yeah, man. I didn't sleep good last night. You I was, need to sleep. I was but so excited got, by my just went with Parker and Gamers Land and Shelby and I think somebody else. It went so good last night. I was all I was all adrenalized. I couldn't sleep. We got 10 seconds left. We got a $10 starting bid, y'all. It's okay, man. Uh, uh, cool. We got Iron Fist in there. Yeah, this one's the low grade book. But yeah, yeah. I could see. I, I, what I was, number is that? Oh, 31. 31, 31. I was more to look and see which ones I'm missing to see if I need any of those. I might hit Did you. you a shit ton? I have a shit ton, Barbarian, and you already have a box with me with a, those horror books, so we can see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Billy Stewart says he's in. in, in you know. <laughs> I think I need to pay you still. Hey, Bill Stewart he just came in. You want to give me like 30 seconds to see if anyone else hops in? Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to. We'll start another two minute timer. You don't have to start two minute timer. <laughs> just a minute. Give him a minute fifteen. Give him a minute and a half. <laughs> fifteen. I got. I got Mr. Fantastic and Jack of Hearts. I always like that one with Mr. Fantastic. That's a pretty slick cover. That white yeah, back. Like, yeah, you got fifteen seconds like. left. If anybody wants to come in here and get in on this with Billy, hey, I think it's like this. Like, wee. wee. <laughs> Spidey's like he's on the bounce beam there. Yeah. So <laughs> the, the cover's dope. But they're, they're, it's a new, these two are new stands. At 15, you got Jack of Hearts. Oh, that's, that's cool. And Mr. Yeah. Fantastic. So at 20, you got, I would call it a low grade copy, but you got Spider Man and Hulk and the Son of Satan and Power Man. But also, yeah. which is not a low grade copy, you have Spider Man and the Vision. Yeah. So this one's, you know, very good, very fine. Well, minus, I'd say. So you have like, at 20, you have those two. At 15, you have Fantastic and Jack of Hearts, which is probably my favorite. I'm into cosmic characters. And <clears throat> All right, Billy. So if you want to go to 15 or 20 and pick up any of them other books, let him know in the chat. Yeah. Him there. Him let, him let him know. If you want to. Do you see that logo? That's clean, man. Clean. Yo, Take that's the question. Clean. How much does it cost to ship a Gemini? I've never shipped it. Uh, it depends. It's all in weight, so it depends on how many books you got in it. If it's full with like 10 books, you can fit it in a legal size priority yeah, mail. That's what I was yeah. going to say. So, and a legal size envelope, Keith, is, is 805, so you just you charge 8, eight for it. Okay. For a legal size. Yeah. 
All right, cool. Thanks, guys. I charge thirty for shipping. Yeah, but it's really well done. <laughs> Looks like a football. Yep, it totally <laughs> gets there faster too when you do it well. What's up, Joey? We haven't done the giveaway yet, so you don't know if you won or not. So, Gorilla God, I think it's your turn. Up. What's that? I have a reflection cover coming up. I don't know if our reflection cover fans are in the house still or what. A mirror? A mirror? A day in the life of Gorilla Top. As he organizes and types, as he shuffles and folds the things this man does for his community. Are you going to sell some stuff or what? Is it your turn? Oh, is it my turn? I'm sorry. I didn't even. I'm just going down the line, man. You're I'm next. Like, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, this is going to be my last round, bro. I'm, I'm tired. I had a wall. But I'll show some cool books this round to, like, you know, make it, make it like, dense with comic opportunity. Do it. Itchy. Okay. So, <laughs> man, that was all. I tell you, it gets so cold here that my skin gets dry. And it's like I'm itchier than I've ever been in my life. Oh, man. It should put the lotion on its skin. I, I hate lotion. Ever since I was a little kid, I don't like anything like greasy or I don't like rubbing stuff on me. And then it gets the hose again. Okay. Um, if anybody wants an Adam Hughes Harley Quinn 75, see Harley with the, you know, the jackals from the cartoon. Can knock, I can knock a copy out. Uh, I got two copies. 15 bucks. I think that's what I paid for them. I got this cool Mega Man fully charged Miko Saiyan variant virgin. Uh, it was limited to only 500. I can do this one for 25. So we got the Harley Quinn so far. Thank you, LaCruces. I'm glad somebody and, uh, picked up on that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. I was just more. Oh, itchy. Stop. Um, okay. I got an extra one of these. This book is pretty, pretty flammable these days. If you don't know what this is, it's the uh, Virgin Unknown Comics, David uh, Nakamura, Nakayama. He does the Nakahama. DNA signature. <laughs> Music, yes or no. Um, but I can I can do this one for I'll do it for forty five. I know I think going for fifty or more, you know, on the on the eBay, so I'll knock it up for forty five if somebody's into that. And then I got this uh Perillo Thor State with uh Silver Surfer and Thor. Haven't sold one of these yet. I just got these and actually had them in a box in the other room and forgot about them. That looks pretty dope, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually a pretty cool cover. Um, I'll, I'll auction this one out. Uh, I can start, I'll start it low at 10 bucks. All right, there you all go. $10 starting bid. You know, and that's a, you know, perfect, high grade, beautiful. Got some Perilla action on Thor with some Silver Surfer. Like I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of his Thor, but that Silver Surfer looks freaking dope. Well, Thor and Silver Surfer have a history of being on the cover together. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen. Huh? Oh? Oh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, y'all. Ten dollars is the starting bid. We got two and a half minutes left on the clock. If you want to bid on this, do it now. Do it quick. Tony M. Y. Jr. said, "I'm all in." Ten dollars. Awesome. Thanks, Tony. And you can tell by the icon in the corner that this is Mr. Gorilla approved because he's very happy that it's there. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at him. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> That's pretty fucking <laughs> nuts. <laughs> you almost got me to say a swear word on camera. 
I mean, you're free to put Mr. Gorell's face on top of Thor if that's like if, if that's your thing. Oh, there's too much reflection on it. You can't see it. Yeah, I'm a scientist. I understand, <laughs> how, I understand how light works. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Thor looks much better with a fro. <laughs> now I can see the bids coming like nobody's business. Is that Benny Hill? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Where'd everybody go? No, 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 no. That's the best I can do to reference Benny Hill. You know, they run back and forth. Me and Parker have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know Benny Hill. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot. You guys are like five. Go go on <laughs> YouTube and search Benny Hill. We're like five, or you guys are like 40 plus. You haven't, you yeah, haven't, yeah, that's true. You <laughs> have not laughed hard enough. Benny Hill is pretty funny. You have not, Tony. I just, I appreciate you on a whole other level. Like, is that Afro a misprint? Yeah, <laughs> 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 right. we, we got 20 seconds left on the clock right now. Tony NY Jr. is at $10 <laughs> on the uh, Mr. Garrell variant. Dude, somebody needs to do a screenshot. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks like nobody else is going to jump in. Tony's going to steal this book for 10 bucks. Funny, you know. funny and raunchy in the 70s is a lot different than funny and raunchy in 2000. I yeah. wonder if, if the Benny Hill music is, is like copyright. It must be. I don't know. We can find out. It must not be because I don't know what it is. All we'd have to do is put it on a video and see if it gets kicked off. I mean, I've been using this music the whole time I've been doing it. Put it on. No, I'm too busy right now. Uh, we're move on to the music situation, Barb. We were talking about using some other music, so that will make you very yeah. happy. Even though my music's awesome. It's a fucking DVD screen. It's a fucking DVD venue screen. Look at this. Uh, I've never seen that pack from anybody. If I, I play I a YouTube video, is that a, can it be a copyright infringement? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't question. I just do. Sometimes it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. I was gonna be so much angrier, and then you switch the camera <laughs> onto me, and I start laughing. <laughs> Google hey. five, a thumb up. It's like my fucking reaction video all over again. Just play the, the music you made. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, y'all can't see how happy he is right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I'm not going to play that. I don't really feel like getting kicked off. <laughs> Oh, I thought you said do it. No, I totally didn't. Do it. <laughs> you wanted me to do it. There's a difference. <laughs> what are you no, I'll, I'll do a special live stream one day where I just play a bunch of music to see if I get kicked off. But see how long it takes. <laughs> we got a giveaway to do. We can't get kicked off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, do you got? what do you got, Max? I've got a bunch of stuff. Is it good Just stuff? Flash. Okay. What issue is this flash? This flash. A lot of flashes. 58. Flash 58. That is a lot of flashes. And it is. A lot of flash. Lots of flashes. Got Booster Gold. DC. What number is Booster Gold? Looks like an issue one. I mean, it's three, isn't it? Is it one? Yeah, not, it's not number one. It's okay. number three. Just yeah. a cover. Yep. What, so what's your size name? Is this, this an auction or a buy it now? This will do $4 for both of them. $4 buy it now. Yeah. Somebody else keep an eye on the chat for me. Make sure they're behaving. They um, are going wild right now. For these books, I doubt that. Um, I have a whole set. This I'll do for an auction. Oh, that's a 
That's a clipping. You want a picture? <laughs> the <heck? laughs> it was in there. I didn't know it. I wonder where this went. <laughs> You've been looking for that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm down, Joey. We can set up a stream where we just do that. We can do what? He said he wants to. He said I need someone like him to experiment the limits of YouTube. So we can do a stream yeah, where we just see like how fun. long it takes to get kicked off. How long we can stream porn? So how long is this uh, mini series, Max? Is it four issues? Four issues, yes. And what's your what's your starting bid? Uh, oh, let's start at let's start at four dollars. Yeah, dollar nice. book starting bid. You've got a reflection cover in here. So there's issue number one. You got the whole gang all together. It was a pretty good series. I did read it. Here's your reflection cover. It's probably That's pretty badass. It. For such a small series, I feel like they really did a great job on this cover. Who is your favorite character in the series, Max? Frick. Uh, I don't know. They were all pretty cool. This bitch was pretty cool. She's like, no, don't kiss me. My face is too ugly oh, for me uh, to remove my mask. Meta Mask Gay or Meta Mask? Yeah, the mask. Yeah, Meta Meta mask. mask. yeah. And that's the hood that she's with. The hood. Yeah, the hood was pretty cool. Yeah, the hood's cool. So there's that. And there's her. And they have a little love thing that's going on. I don't know. I can't it's not like a mirror. And then there's Magneto like, all right, y'all fucked up. Mm -hmm. And he's showing them just how fucked up they did. Yeah, that reflection cover's cool. I need that for mm -hmm. my, uh, my wall. Of stuff with claws. I offered it to you first, remember? I don't. I mean, I you did. I remember you offering it to me. I don't Last remember. Last night. That, Last I, night. I don't remember I that book in you. particular, though. Man. I'm not a memorizer. What's up, Billy? Thanks for coming back. Hey, we got two Billies in the chat now. What's up, Billy Stewart? Any of them goats? Where's my camera? So four dollars is a starting bid, y'all. We got just over two minutes on the clock. You get a jump on these Masters of Evil one through four. It's a pretty good series. And read them. It, you it can helps use if you have a little background knowledge, but they've got a lot of characters in there too that are pretty cool. And, What's um, up, Jay Blitz? I like the last. Oh my God, Jay Blitz is here. Give us a like, bro. Yeah, man, I got room on here. You want to come on? Yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of sick villains up in this book. There's like uh, Meta Mask, Gorbig Man, Titania, the Wrecking Crew, Nitro. Hey, Barbarian, I gotta I'm gonna go. I said because I remember I said it was my last round. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I'm sorry, I forgot. No worries. I'll see you later, Todd. See you later, Max. Hey, Max, I did look for another one of those those Miles books you wanted. I didn't find it. I thought my buddy had a couple, but he I guess he had sold them. But I'll hit That's a couple okay. stops tomorrow, and I'll see if I can come up with one. Cool. I didn't well, forget, can... please. I yeah, say the art in this book's really sick, too. Hmm? The art, yeah. You okay, can uh, hit me up on everybody. Instagram. Yeah, my, good with my spot. Hey, take it easy. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do that Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday sounds good. Yeah, Wednesday yeah, sounds good. Good with my spot. Peace, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Awesome. Well, later, bro. I just pulled yeah, a rookie out of move. What's up, Jay Blitz? What's up? I just pulled a rookie ass move. I know. I heard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we all heard. Is this so right now we uh, we're trying to sell some books here with uh, Max has got some books for four bucks and nobody's bidding on them. What's up with that? I don't That's know. Bro. Lost copies for four. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I literally, I, I was not expecting to read there a lot more. It's like 16. Oh, Tim Martinez is in for five. There you go. There we go. What's up, Lost Cause and Tim? How are y'all doing? I've had a busy day. Guess what, Barbarian? What's up? Your set goes out tomorrow. Awesome. That's what I was just going to hope you were going to say. Yeah, all of them came in. I got them all in. They're all packed up. Tracking's done. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Working. Working off. Nope. I'm applying fake zombie flesh to a baseball bat. 
Yes, awesome. I figured out a way to make it as as real. Sent me a picture of it. Can. It's really gross. It's got to be gross, but it can't it's be messy. Gross. That's the that's he the. He like showed thing. me a pile of hair and goo, and I was like, I don't want to <laughs> see that. <laughs> she was like, "That's gross." I'm like, "No, it's fine." I'm, I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> it's like, no, I swear, it's hair from a wig from a doll. And I'm yeah, like, I'm not gonna put my hair in it or anything. Which I could. I you don't want, like the way you said that. Want some DNA well, in there? Really gray hair. It's definitely pee. Right, that's the timer. We still got multiple bitters in here right now. So Lost Cards is holding us down at six dollars. Tim Martinez is still in there, so uh, anybody can still get in and bid on this lot. I'll say three dollars. We get a hold from Tim Martinez, or he outbids Lost Cause, which you know he's going to. Like, why wouldn't you? And I mean, if you guys have to like. 12 bucks you're not even at two dollars if you guys have books with barbarian or like the cleavers like we will make work it out so that you don't have to pay shipping because i send stuff to barbarian all the time and the cleavers and i live in the same town so like oh yeah there you if go we can save you on shipping we will so just like hit us up we'll work it out on instagram all right so so, so tim just folded so it looks like lost cause is going to get them books for six dollars all right, that's a steal. That is, that's a good deal, man. That's a real fucking steal. Oh. Unless Barbarian must have jumped in for that reflection cover. But... No, I just want the one, so I'll let him have it. I hate breaking up sets. That's fair. You know that breaking up is. All right, last cause. Hit me up on Instagram. I'll make a note of it. Oh, no. <laughs> You're on, Jay Bliss. Oh, hi. <laughs> I was not ready to go up yet. But Are you ready to put up some Betty White? No, my Betty White is mine. Stop trying to get my Betty White from me. We just lost uh, Keith. Keith Hold on. Oh, God. Hey, was that Keith? No, that was Tricky. <coughs> Where'd Tricky go? Bless you, bless you. Um, Thank you. All right, well. Hey, if you're not ready, I can do something. I think I, well. Yeah, I'm ready now. Okay. I just don't have the last cover, which... I will stay. Um, so we're doing this deal today. Anybody that buys anything gets put on the wheel to win this Moon Knight toy. Anybody that spends $50 with anybody gets a spot on the wheel to win a free slab. So if somebody buys something from you that's $50, they get on this this wheel to win the slab. If they buy something from somebody else, they get another spot. they buy something else, they get another spot. So if you spend like thousand dollars you get all these spots it's gonna be great so i have this right here i could do a set of miles morales uh 21 a and b the nullified cover the set is going to be eight dollars if you want to add in the one in ten it'll be uh 25 dollars plus shipping so there you go if anybody wants one of those let me know and then I don't know where this last cover is, and I haven't had a chance to back and board all these yet. So forgive me on this. Ooh, we're up to 93 thumbs up and two thumbs down, so we're at 95. Five away. My all friends right, in so Kenya are hooking us up. We'll start this at $30, then. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be all eight covers of King and Black. Uh, the only one that's not in here right now is the Philip Tam one, and I will, it will be in here when we when you get it. It's already bagged and board, and I haven't had a chance to bag and board all these yet. I was working on that. That's the I was best like, you know what? Let me hop on. So that's it's all eight covers, and I don't know where I set the one that was bagged and boarded. I feel like a ding dong right now. That's right. I called myself a ding dong. Now, Joey, it has to be fifty dollars with each seller. Like, so if you buy something from Jay Blitz right now, that's fifty dollars, you get a spot. But if you spend twenty with him and thirty with somebody else, that doesn't that doesn't count. It's got to be with the same seller. I got uh, the King and Black one in fifties for forty five. Everybody's interested. Yeah, I don't know what I did with that, and I don't like. I don't know where I put it right this second. Okay. Anyways, starting bid thirty dollars for all eight covers of King and Black. Let me put, I'll put one in there. Right now. 
And it will come back and board it. I just haven't done it yet. $30 starting bid. They're $6 cover price. Uh, and a lot of these have actually been selling for... I think the Secret Grind sells for well over the cover price. The Peach Morocco people are selling for over cover price. And it could be a, it could be an add-on. Could be a build a lot. We get it to let's say fifty-five. I will add in the one twenty-five. Right now, you're bidding on all eight covers. All right, y'all. So we got a starting bid here of 40 bucks. Anybody wants to get in on these books? No, 30 Stop bucks. 30 bucks. Oh, 30 bucks. Shit. $30, okay. yep. Starting bid is $30. For all eight covers. $30. I'm just not going to hold them all up because I don't want to mess them up because they're not bagged and boarded. So I got just one up right now. Keith Lack reason at 30. All right. Like I said, if what I say, 55. If we get to 55, I'll add in the one in 25. This is, um, I forget who did the art. That's a beautiful cover. Beautiful spine on that, too. Look at this. That's the super log variant. Yeah, super log. Thank you. Whoa, what happened? What happened? I didn't do that. That was <laughs> that was StreamYard. It wanted to see everybody. Max is on her phone. She hacked the StreamYard. That's what it is. Yeah, basically. If anybody's okay. interested, I have... Uh, this Vampirilla Trade and Virgin set. We'll do twenty dollars plus shipping. Oh, take it easy, Z Collects. Thanks for coming out, man. What's up, Z? Spreading the word, spreading the love. We got Parker in at thirty-one. Whoever wins, I'll, I'll make sure you see that the I put it somewhere. I've been going through a lot of stuff today, so again, get to fifty-five. We add in the one in twenty-five. And then we can add in a one in fifty if it gets high enough. Which I think I have sitting over here already somewhere. We've got forty-five seconds left on the clock. Right now we got Parker in there at thirty-one dollars. And then if we get enough interest. Smokey get... wants you to show all the covers again. Oh man, I gotta find the uh... <laughs> Alright. So I don't know where I put the the Philip Tan one. It's the one that has Wolverine charging in the front. I got the A cover, and these aren't bagged and boarded yet. That's why I don't know where I put it because I was in the middle of doing that, and I had to move some stuff, and I don't know where I set it. And I have to get to the box to pull out more. So you get all eight. Yeah, that's the timer, but we still got multiple people in here bidding. If you want to get to 55, you can get to 1 in 25. That's a dope book. I like that one. If we get to uh, 90, I'll add in the 1 in 50. <laughs> 99. 90, oh, man, 90. I wouldn't do that. And then at 160, we would add in the 1 in 100, which is – that's a sick cover. All right, that was the timer. Right now we got Parker is he's taking this for thirty one dollars. He's full. Parker, if you want to add any of this extra stuff, then drop it in the chat right now. And let him know. Are you gonna it since you're sitting right there? Huh? I was saying he can say it because he's sitting right there. Yeah, it'll be forty total, and I'll get these bagged and boarded, and I'll 
As soon as I find this other cover, I'll show you so you know what it looks like. Because I don't know where I put it in. He <laughs> said nay. <laughs> nay. <laughs> we don't need the stinking one in 25. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, wait. Let me check here. I got something over here. Oh, it. Be backstage. Who's backstage? Nobody's backstage. Anyway, I'm sorry. All right, let's see. I guess it's supposed to be my turn. I uh, I don't have anything sitting out here. All I got is a bunch of $2 stuff left. Um, so I'll just grab something real quick, and I'll do a little $2 round. Anybody that buys anything from anybody is going to get in on the way when the moon night. If we get up to 100, we're giving away the ASM 252 toy mess setup. So we're almost there. Anybody that spends 50 bucks. You get, a, you get a spot for every $50 you spend with the seller. So if you spend $50 with all of us, you'll get that many spots. That's the easiest way to explain it. And you'll get the Killing Adventure of the Sabrina number one. Rogue Gallery Comics exclusive. Yeah, let's see. Let me grab uh, something that is something to do with each other. Something awesome, you said? Something so awesome, it's going to blow your freaking mind. It's going to blow my penis off? Sweet. Trying to blow. I was looking to blow it off today. <laughs> oh. I'm getting us more likes right now. Awesome. Like, I'm hitting up more people and like, hey, like this for me, please. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you, Jadlet. So just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna do this. Sooner, but like I've <laughs> two bucks, two bucks a book. If anybody wants them, just claim the letter. Fourteen dollars will buy them all. You get a free book. First one is Avengers 33. This is the zombie variant. Near mint. Nothing wrong with it. And we got a uh, House of M. The day after, this is a one shot. Also near mint. Nothing wrong with that. And we got ROM number 10, newsstand. This is probably in the fine to very fine range. Next is Deathlock number three. Deathlock Fighting Doom. That's a nice book, too. It has like one spine tick on it, it looks like. So it's a nice shape, man. It's a good book. Killer book, man. X Men flashback number one. Nice high grade copy of that. And we got some DC books here. Here's Dark Star number one. Every time I show this, Parker says, First appearance. <laughs> so I guess First there's a Dark Star. There you go. Green Lantern 57. Uh, I don't think there's anything key about that, but it's in really nice shape. And then Green Lantern 55. Same with this one. If you like Green Lantern, there you go. They're like near mint. Wonderful. Two dollars a book, a letter, 14 takes them all. Uh, I didn't type anything in the chat yet, so let me. There you go, I got the starting line down, and the timer going. Um, how the shipping question for 12 books? Well, if you buy 12 books, then Depending on the person shipping it, it would probably be fifteen dollars because you can't ship more than you can ship for the nine dollar one. So Joey Bags is getting B and G and H. I don't know, Barbarian. What do you usually do? Up to up to. What's that? It really, dep it really depends on the thickness of the book, right? Yeah, like if it was me, if, if there was no thick like prestige books. I I'd give it this for nine dollars, but like, I don't like to do over eleven. Yeah. Okay, so he's getting three of them, so that's six dollars. B, G, and H. Oh, all right. G and H for Joey. Back seven. And Peter, you probably need my info, so I'll put it. I'll, I'll, I'll message it to you. I know 
I got books in here from Joey. Where did he go? Oh, it was earlier today. Here we are. He was the first one in the box. That, yeah, if after that you get a box. Like I would normally if you get twelve books, like I say at the beginning of the show and it's in the description, one to ten books is nine dollars and eleven books up to forty five is, is fifteen. And that's just to let people know, man, that's what to expect to pay when you start doing the shipping. I started way too long of a timer for myself. So just to let everybody know, you know, the giveaways. We're almost there. Get in there and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't. Or hit the thumbs down. I don't really care. I'm loving the Mr. Gorell uh, stream. <laughs> it's awesome. Isn't it? The great god Gorell up in the sky. Yeah. We've been on for seven hours. Jesus. I need some. Yeah, like when you when you, like you guys were on earlier, like I literally since King of Black came out, I've had like 27 orders of the King of Black sets that came in through eBay. So, uh, yeah. Between those and the ones that you that I got from Instagram and the auctions, I've had a long day bagging and boarding books. <laughs> oh together. All right, so real quick, mark number two. We got... Uh, the uh, Zeno Genesis is Alien versus Predator number four, number three, number two. We got Predator versus Magnus Robot Fighter. I think that's yeah, number two. We got X Files number two. This is just a whole bunch of number two on this table right here. Uh, we got a uh, Thirty Days and Nights, uh, Blood Sucking Tales number six and number seven. Dollar each. If anybody wants any of them, throw it down in the chat right now. And uh, you can have them. Um, is that A from last round, Joey? Wow, my stream looks really freaking... Why does it do that? Uh, my stream keeps, like, refreshing back to, like, the worst picture quality there is. Have you dropped the next starting line yet? I didn't put a starting line down. I just said it. I don't know if Joey was wanting A from the last round. So I think that Joey, oh, if you're oh. claiming the mark letter letter A, then that's yours. Because you had it in there before Max. But I don't. I I didn't see. Like I asked, I didn't see him write anything. So yeah, Joey, let me know if you were if you were claiming A the marked book or if you're claiming A from the last round. Ninety-seven likes on my end. So close. Well, hold on. You know what? No, I mean. <laughs> Joey, your A was in there first. I just didn't know if it was from the last books I had up or if it was from these. So you were in there before her on mine. I mean, unless I'm wrong. Am I wrong? You usually are. I usually am. That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll tell you what. Fuck it. I got two copies of it. I'll give it. give both of you one. How's that sound? Good guy, Barbarian. Good guy, yeah. 
Watch this, Barbarian. Tim Martin is taking letter B, too. Shit. Sure. Yeah, Tim, if you don't mind, reach out to me on Instagram so I can get all your shipping info. Um, it's the same thing, barbarian underscore kung fu. And uh, Joey, I'll, I'll pull that other book out. I got it. I got the whole run of it. So it ain't a you big just deal. got a new subscriber and, an, and another like. Awesome. Okay, let's move over to Parker now. What you got, Mr. Parker? Mr. Parker? Magic. It's magic, magic, magic. I don't know. I have a few things. I'm running low. That's not true. I've got like 30 long boxes of books. So. Um, let's just do a cheap little dollar rock here. <laughs> Oh, that was loud. It looks like we're at 99 on my count. So we're so close. Here, real quick, let's let me show this. In the stream right now. End it. There you go. I got one for each of y'all, so you're good. Appreciate it. Cool. Um, let's do... And it doesn't really matter. If we're going to keep doing rounds, I'll keep to these. All these eventually doesn't matter. Which goes first? So, this is one just so I could do a little dollar auction. If anyone's interested in Walking Dead number one, the image first reprint. Uh, one dollar. Oh, starting bid. A dollar at the dollar. Oh, that's dope. That's, that's a good book. Yeah, I've seen it go for five to ten. I think it's about a five dollar book. It could be more. It, that was when it came out. It was like five bucks, by the way. Oh, what's up, Gino? Thanks for coming out, man. You want to come on the sale? Oh. You want to come sell some books, Gino? Gino. I'm slaying some books, Gino. I know, right? I ain't seen your ass in a minute. Come be my friends. Come be my friend again, Gino. Yo, did you check out the uh did you check out the interview yesterday, Barbarian? I got to catch some of it. I was doing stuff though, so I couldn't really watch the whole thing. You got a promo code. Oh, right on. You can get ten percent off and a free book. Oh yeah, these are like ten and twenty free shipping on it. I'd say around like a five to ten dollar book at least. Cool. Yeah. I paid, but I paid a dollar, so if I get a dollar back, I'm not losing anything. All right, y'all, we got just over two minutes left on the clock. One dollar starting oh, bid. Walking Dead, number one. In this is the, guys, this is the 10 year anniversary, by the way. Yeah, it's from like 2014 or 15? Yep. 15? 2000, no, 2013. Yeah. 2013, because the first issue came out in 2003. The so, spawn one of these was going for like twenty right out the gate. I guess a lot of yeah. them were damaged. If I'd be all over that if I didn't have like twelve of them signed and and the, the first print in the nine eight. <laughs> Papa Wheelie. You go for bed time. Typically nine dollars, but I can do six. I'll ship it first class. One one book for six bucks is fine. Oh, we we did it. We're at ninety nine thumbs up and two thumbs down, so we made it to a hundred. Finally, after all these months and months. So anybody that's in the chat, as soon as Parker's rounds done, we'll do this giveaway real quick, and y'all can get right, your uh, I'm gonna leave the panel real quick. <laughs> well, I'll keep the number to myself. Y'all can, y'all are here. You can be in it. It's fine. I got some buy it now if no one's interested. About timer's going. Um, 
Yeah, man. Right, Thirty right. seconds. Papa Wheelie's in there for one dollar. Okay, cool. Yeah, Papa Wheelie. Uh, Star Trek X Men, number one, five dollar. Buy it now. It's nice, higher grade. Fine, very fine. Got a big old tick right here, so we lower the yeah. Uh, that's $5. I got House of X number one. Action figure variant. Magneto. House of X number one. $5. All right. Pop Wheelie's going to take this unless someone snipes in really quick to get in, but I think we are done. I know there's a little lag, but Pop Wheelie. One dollar, and that's fine. I'll do six bucks first class shipping for you. If you want, you can leave it on hold and build a box. No rush. We can work something out. Whatever. Up to you. Hit me up. Info's there. Or follow me on Instagram. We can work it out. I'm not worried about a dollar right now. Unless you really want the book right now, I can ship it tomorrow. Whatever. Cool, cool. All right, so uh, we can do this giveaway real quick. Uh, yeah. Just a heads up, Papa Wheelie, you got nine books, I believe, right now. And I think I told you you can get up to 15 in your box, so I just want to make sure that you know. You know, I want to keep you keep you in the loop. Make sure you're well-informed. Uh, so, yeah, this is what we're going to do real quick, and then we'll move on sell some more books. Everybody in the chat is welcome to participate. I'm going to write down a number on this little notepad that I got right here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I didn't write the number on it yet, so you don't get to see. Uh, I'm going to write a number on it, and I'm going to say start in the chat. And when you start typing in numbers, whoever gets the right number, you win the slab. It's that simple, man. I've been trying to do this for all this time. It took this forever. Just just forever. Like so. 100? There's, uh, let's see, there's 29 people in here, so we'll say a number between 1 and 30. I don't need it to take forever. Um, and uh, let's see. We'll do my, oh, this is it. This is the one. Okay. I'm going to put it on the slab. That way it's there ahead of time. And there's the missing cover. <laughs> I'm going to drop this starting line. Remember, it's a number between 1 and 30. And I'm going to try and keep up with the chat. It's really hard. Shut it up. Don't start writing numbers yet. If you want to send it to me on my... Oh, uh, well, no. It's probably too going to take too long. No, it's okay, man. All right, I dropped it in the chat. Starting line's hot. I'm just watching. I'm not watching StreamYard. I'm watching my phone. So hopefully it goes good enough. Oh, we already got a winner. So the number is 23. Ah, damn. And I got Tony N.Y. Jr. with number 23 first. Good win, buddy. Damn, right I put 22 Papa first. Really. I didn't mean to retract the message. Let me come back up here and make sure that that's right, because I seen Papa Wheelie. You're not long at. Well, I can't go up any farther than that. It's stupid. I mean, you're right. It was. It was um, on my end. It's showing that. Tony, Tony NY Junior. NY Junior got it. I'll refresh. Wow, make Streamyard sure. won't even go back that far. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah Tony yeah. NY Junior. Right before, right after Billy Sturt, and right before Smokey with twenty one. Yeah. Yeah, actually, Louis B.C. came in, and then Papa Wheelie came in. So there you go. Congratulations, Tony N.Y. Jr. Picking up. Dude. Congrats. What, he got the Moon Knight? No. No, that's the uh, ASM 252 slab. The toy oh. Band, ASM 252. And the Moon Knight's if they spend 50. No, no. The Moon Knight is for anybody that buys anything in the sale from anybody. Oh, okay. The the Sabrina slab is for anybody that spends over 50 bucks. Ah, very nice. Very yeah, nice. Louis you know, said it's rigged. Man, you just got to guess faster. That's all there is to it. 
I appreciate everybody coming out, interacting. That's a big thing, man. I always tell everybody, stay active in the yeah. chat. It makes a big difference, especially for us on here. Like when there's nobody in the chat saying anything, man, it gets really lonely. And then we get cold, and then we get sad and cold and lonely. So, all right, let's move over. Uh, Keith, you got more stuff you want to sell? No, that was. Uh, I haven't, I haven't prepared anything, so. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool, man. We'll uh, we'll go over to Matt. I'll do this again sometime. Oh yeah, man. Just let me know. Are I mean, I can anything? sew. I can, but I want to go yeah. to bed. So. <laughs> you want to do? You want to do the other giveaways? <laughs> Sugar <Is it> Chum. <laughs> oh, that should be for the end of the say. Peter, shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Um, it's up to you. If you do? sell something, you can, or I can. We can wait. You can hang out until the thing's over, and we can do the giveaway. It's up to you, ma'am. Yeah. Now I'll wait. I'll hold this stuff. This is good stuff. I'll hold it off for later. Okay. What about you, Blitz? You want to sell anything? Well, I was gonna tell Keith if he was interested in doing this at thirty-one. I got another set. I got plenty of sets, um, and I wanted to show all the covers. How many is it? <laughs> Joey's like, end it. Get it it's out of eight. here. Eight. And I'll do it for the th same at, that Peter got his 431 plus the shipping. I'll hit you up on IG. Yeah. Um, I got Wolverine, Red, White, and Blood, number one, signed by Tyler Kirkham with COA. I'm going to do that 40 ship, or not 40 ship, 40 plus shipping, if anybody's interested. And for this round, we will do. What's that? 9.8 Batman number one, Greg Horn, or Batman Who Laughs number one, Greg Horn exclusive variant. We'll start it off at 50. All right, what y'all say? $50 starting I'm trying, bid. Get, I'm trying to help you all get that, that, that 50 prize. There you go. Anybody that wants to get their last um, chance? I, I haven't got any for sale yet, Gino. I haven't gone through all of them yet. I'm still bagging and boarding a lot of them. Yeah, I'm sorry, Papa Wheelie. Uh, if you refresh and make sure you're on, you know, live. You got to refresh. Yeah, Papa Wheelie, you got to refresh. Yeah, because it always is going to show your comment before anything else. Yep. But you saw, like, we, we checked it. Can't win them all, brother. Can't win them all. <laughs> oh, I, I know yeah. I, I I know I have some. I just don't know how many I have, you know. So we got a fifty dollars starting bid right now. We got two minutes left on the clock. Because I, I promised the people that I wouldn't I wouldn't look at them. And I just finished packing the last of the pre orders. So I haven't gone through to find out how many are left. Yeah, Billy, it's the same with you, man. Make sure that you refresh your chat and then look at it. Yeah, whenever I you refresh my chat and went back and looked at it, and there I compared it to StreamYard, and everybody in here compared theirs the same, and we all saw Tony NY Jr. first. So I, I apologize, man, if you think that it's rigged, but I, it's not. I, I wouldn't even know how. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you hit enter on the comments, it's going to dump it right into your stream. Yeah. But like, there's lag on everyone else, so basically yep. to be with a remote person looking at it. Yep. You also got to be on live chat. If you're not on live chat, it's going to make it look like, definitely look like you were first, but you really weren't. We got a minute left on the clock. $50 okay. is the laps in the window. Who's that peeking in the window? See? So far, this is the only one that I know I have extra. I want to see how many I have extra because I know I want to make sure I have one or two for myself. 
actually in the back and forth. Now. Got 15 seconds left, y'all. If anybody wants to hop in here and snipe this book, now's your last chance. You have one on nine. Yeah, guys, this is a $50 book right here. You get that entry. Good night, Billy. Thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you found some good stuff. That was the timer, so it looks like nobody wants to pick up another slab for tonight, at least not pay for it. <laughs> you said you were doing a 50, so I figured I'd try. Yeah, I hear you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, so that's the only one I know I have extra, but I just, if, it, if it's going by the way it is, one for every 10, I probably have two or three more. But at the same time, I got to check because we all know how diamond is. Yeah. Half the ones you might get with. I actually already short them, so <laughs> I had to go to a different source to get uh, 50 of these covers. Really? Because Diamond shorted it completely, which also in turn ended up making me not get, get my one in 500. Yep. One of my one in 100s, two of my, or one of my one in 50s, two of my one in 25s. So they did the same thing with us, something killing the children that I had. They yeah, shorted it. And so, like, we bought 200 between me and the shop, and we only ended up getting one of the one in 100s. Yeah. So I kind of, kind of sucks because the re biggest reason I did it was that one in 500. I mean, yep. luckily, we still got both of these. You know, but. I really wanted that one in 500. All right, so uh, let's see here. Uh, are, are you going to sell any more, Parker? Are yeah, you good? Unless yeah, you, you want to No, it, just, it don't matter to me, man. I think everybody I really except for uh, you and Jay Blitz are done, and I don't know if Jay Blitz wants to sell anymore either. I don't care. I'm all out of stuff. Like, we can just hang out after we're done selling. But I'm all out of stuff to sell except for dollar stuff. And to be honest, I just came on because I figured we'd all hang out. Yeah. <laughs> well, how about this? You do we'll, all people for their prizes. I'll this. Like, hey, we'll call it quits. We'll do all the giveaways and everything. And then we can just shoot the shit for another three hours. <laughs> Make sure that we keep Max awake all night because she's got to work tomorrow. What? Mm. What? <laughs> Nothing, Max. Huh? What? Nothing. Let's see here. Oh man. Man, oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I have. I'll put her on. And I'll go through and get my secret variants. See how many I have. Oh look, here's another one. Yeah, that's you know. Yeah, that last one you showed, I think you said was like a one in fifty. My LCS had that it mixed in with the other ones for cover price, and I skipped over it. I was like, ah, this is a few dollars. I don't, I don't love this. <laughs> Wish I would have realized what it was. Um, a couple random X Men books. Um, two books, two dollars. Start bid. I can absolutely build on it. I have a bunch. I have a full X Men short box back to for sale. Um, or a couple more cheapos. I'm gonna do a little five dollar, ten dollar lot. Do that too. The one dollar starting bit, two dollars. Excuse me, sorry, two dollar. Kind of a mini key here. New team. You said two dollar starting bid. Two dollar starting bid. Yeah, the next man universe. It's a wrap around cover. Number one. Either they pack this in their pockets. Nice. Two dollars. Now the check condition. Probably gonna throw it on eBay for like twenty-five or thirty. Um, 
I, I do free shipping on, or on eBay. Just cover. I think it yeah, helps. They're already selling for that too on eBay. Twenty five. Yeah, yeah. so. Um, here I'll do twenty with shipping. So. Or, I'm charging the shipping here, so it's twenty plus the shipping. Plus shipping. Yeah, 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 twenty plus. Yeah. Secret variant that thing there, it's near mint. And I also have two copies left of Last Ronin. Uh, $30. Hasn't been read. First print. Let me know if you're interested. I'm not in a hurry to sell it. Kind of, I'm asking like kind of the, I think the going eBay price. I'm not really trying to sell it quick right now. I'm happy holding on to it. Um, but yeah, we got right now $2. These are in there. No one's interested. That's fine. At ten dollars, I'll throw both these in. So you're essentially getting these two dollar books for free. Or that's an option. We're at five dollars. I'll throw this in. It's, uh, Children of the Mutants, number one. No, oh, Cursed. I can't read. I don't know what I'm looking at. Children of the Mutants. Children of the Atom is what I was thinking of. Curse of the Mutants, number one. An Adi Granov cover. Gorgeous artwork. So if you want, for five bucks, I can do all three of these books. For ten dollars, get all these in. Mm -hmm. Or it's uh, just these at two. Okay, yeah, Gino, sounds good. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, you, I think you have like two books for me. That could be more. Um, but yeah, we'll figure that out. Nobody's interested. Oh, no, that's okay. Um, What's the timer? I have one more book. I can try to see... Slow down, Parker. I'm trying to call you. <laughs> Thanks, Z. I appreciate it. Um, if someone wants one of these, it's uh, I've done a two left. Thor number four, the Virgin, Virgin second print, Virgin exclusive. Um, I've been selling them for um, I sold one or two for thirty. And now they've been selling them for around twenty-five. Um, I'll do fifteen if anyone's interested right now. I think I, yeah, nobody, nobody bit earlier. So a little price drop. If you want for fifteen dollars, I'll do this. First appearance of Black Winter. This is the last page of this issue. Um, blown up for the cover. And the second print. Fifteen dollars if you're interested. Thor number four. Thor, four. Thor four. And that's gonna wrap me up. So, um, you wanna see my slabs really quick? I got two slabs to jump. I don't really meddle in slabs whatsoever. And I've been trying to sell these for six months now, as long as we've been doing these auctions. Um, Spider-Man 50. I'm not even trying to sell them. That's kind of why they're not going. I'm not want to get decent price. 350. I'll do free shipping. So what would that be for me? Like 341. So I'll cover the shipping. 350. Uh, you got Tony M. Watt Jr. said he wants to bend the Thor. Yeah, you got it, buddy. I'll put this in your pile. I think I have three or four books for you now. Yeah, you got a couple Carnage variant variants and um, that old World's Finest book. So, yeah, I'll hit you up for these probably tomorrow. It's late. Thanks, Tony. And then my other slab is Venom number one, the Virgin. It's a one in 100, I think. Virgin. Parent. Nine, six. Uh, 140. Same thing. I'll do free shipping. 140. And if anyone, yeah, and this was 350. Again, just showing it one more time. And that's it. That were, that's a wrap on. Beat that back out. That's that fun. What a good time. Finally hit the like threshold. Good job, guys. Yeah, it took long enough. 
<laughs> I shouldn't complain because we did do it. It just took a really long time. You only had to go on for eight hours straight. That's not the first time we've done it for eight hours, though. <laughs> like, we literally did one where I was, what, I was like three minutes away from being there for nine hours or something. Yeah. All right, I'm about to come back there and, and put everybody up on here. I'm just adding some names to the wheel. Showed this earlier for I already knocked it on 70. I'll do 65. Oh, oh no, uh, with shipping. I'll do 60, so it'd be 69 ship. Yeah. I was trying to think like 70 ship in my head. Yeah, so I'll do uh, 69 ship. Or $60 if you have a file <laughs> going. Yeah, if you're already getting books with me, 60 bucks. Or either way, whatever. You get it. This was uh, exclusive. The uh, Wolverine number one, homage to Hulk 340. It's, uh, I think, Comics Elite and Unknown Comics exclusive. Mostly only sold at C2E2 earlier this year. The last Comic Con, probably. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we are, G. All right. I'm trying to uh, track down people that I don't know who bought from them. So bear with me. Oh, out of Red Bull. What a night. I think Shelby. Wait. Shelby bought from Mo. And Shelby, I can't remember how much he paid for that book. I remember you saying that he was on the fifty dollar thing. Did I? What, okay. book, what was the book? The uh, journey. I yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that was it. Okay. It was in the fifty. It was uh, a more than fifty. I couldn't tell you an exact. Number. I think it was less than sixty, more than fifty. Okay. Is that a pack of uh, secret variants there. What? I have four. Of, I ended up with four. Left over. Which so means three lucky people are getting a secret variant. If, if, if it's by the count. What's up, chemist? I got those. I got a four king and black. No, no, three king and black. One one hundred left. Plenty of the one twenty-five. What are you talking about on universe? Ah, uh, awesome. Gino, good info. Um, okay, that's where I wanted it. Right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, Smokey. Uh, I don't know if Amy Cleaver got a hold of you, but she was been trying to get a hold of you. I do believe that that's everybody... That bought from anybody except for shit. I mean, Gorilla Todd left. He didn't tell me all the people that bought from him. And everybody was fucking buying all that shit. <laughs> I bought something from both Gorilla Todd and Cat60. Cat60 left a message in the chat. That's what I was thinking. I knew I was missing something. Yeah. Neat. You're missing me. I bought like all yeah, kinds of things. Yeah, whatever. I got hey, GMO <laughs> Gamers Land. Cat 60. Cat, oh, Emmy Comics. Is Emmy Comics on there? I think he is. I'm going to put something up so I can Emmy's get him on there. Stars. Okay, so uh, Keith. I didn't put Keith on here yet. What am I doing? Hey, Barbarian, if I buy something yeah, I got $50 for myself, does it count? If you did what to what who did what what? If I buy something worth fifty dollars for myself, does it count? No, sir. It does not count. That's not the way the game works. Um. Let's game see. Uh, so, did who was it that claimed one of those uh, King and Black things from you? Somebody. Oh, Parker did. He's already on here. Parker okay. one. Yep. And Max, who you sold something to somebody? Who was it? 
I bought it from Gino uh, on the Shelby. I bought the fifty dollar mystery box. No, I got you for that. Somebody bought something oh. from you. Oh, that was Lost Cause. Oh, okay, Lost Cause is not here. Hey guys, I got a mystery box. If you want to hurry up and get on the wheel, it's one twenty-five. Twenty-five goes to charity. <laughs> And that's two fifty dollars spots, basically. Okay, so Fuck, man. I wish Gorilla Todd would have wrote down all the people that sold. Them. I got. I can pretty much name most of them. I might miss one. I mean, most of them are probably on here. That's the thing. I just don't know for sure. And I, I ain't trying to look back on the, the stream right now. That would take too long. I'm going to message Gorilla Todd and tell him, send me the list of the people that bought from him. <laughs> Don't care if you're sleeping, Todd. Wake your ass up and send me names. Uh, okay, well, um, did you get Gino on there? Yeah. Not yet. Did he buy something? Okay. Yep. Yeah, Cameron. Um, I guess Shutter Duck needs on there, but I don't know who he bought from. He or, he or she. Did Shutter Duck buy from Martinez, you? Is he on there? Hold on now. You're, no, not stuff, you're not even typing nothing yet. Oh, Tim what? Martinez just bought one for something from me. So you said Gino bought something? Shutter Duck? Gino did. Tony NY Jr. He also bought from Todd. Tony, Someone, I think I they're saying you. I don't know. Wait, on there, but I don't no, I don't have Tony on here already. Smokey bought from Mo. Shutter Duck bought Keith auction. Smokey bought something from Mo. Yeah. Okay. Is Smokey on here? I don't know. I don't see him. Um, I got uh, Mr. Taz. Mr. Taz? Yep. Uh, yeah, he's paying for Anybody else? Do you have anybody else, Parker? Yeah, Lost Cause. You got them, uh, Papa Wheelie. I got Lost Cause. You got Papa Wheelie? Got Papa Wheelie. Got Papa Wheelie. Uh, Shelby. Well, from got me, Shelby. On there. Um, me. I don't think Cleaver's bought from anyone. Um, I'm trying to think of more of the... Me, they're up the, here. Uh, the odd ones. That uh, Sterling guy, he bought stuff from... I got Sterling on here Ashley. somewhere. Ashley. Okay. Where's you, got Tim, yeah, you got Tim Martinez on there? Hey, where's Sterling? Oh, it's it, it panned down. Sterling's at the very. I was gonna say he's like the first one I wrote on there. Okay. Uh, that should be it for me. Uh, I don't think there was any others. Okay. Um, oh, no, no, hold on. Let me who double that book from you. Who bought what? Who? From Keith. Who bought that book from you? That was Shutter Duck, I guess. That was Shutter Duck. Yeah, oh, okay, I got him on here. Yep. Um, so, Blitz, what were you just saying? Somebody bought something. They bought a mystery yeah, box. Yeah, Tim Martinez is buying one of my mystery boxes. I believe that's what he said. He said, I would, uh, and should I let them know? I'll ask him. I don't think Tricky is going to get on the wheel whether he bought anything or not because he has a bad attitude today <laughs> I, got, I got one more uh what the comic can anybody think of anybody else yeah uh, what the is he on him. i know t-pain bought 50 dollars oh, worth of stuff from from gamers land Fuck. barb i got did you get what the comics mm -hmm. on there what the what the? Nope. No. Did they buy something? Yeah, for me. No, you Happy didn't tell me that. Happy birthday, chemist. I just, well, I just thought of it. Oh, it is chemist's birthday. Happy birthday, chemist.
I need to recount this. Okay, I'll just make it sure for something something unrelated. Tim Martinez, I got you on the wheel. Like Cat sixty. I think I think I think, from, from I, think I got Agu. On, yeah, Agu's on here. He bought something from me. I, anybody that bought something from me, I put him on the wheel as I was going. So I don't think I missed anybody that bought from me. I think that's everybody that bought from anybody tonight. If uh, somebody doesn't see their name on there, then tell us now what you bought and who you bought it from, and so we can try and verify that. The only thing I can't think of is whoever bought from Gorilla Todd when he was selling all his books that come out tomorrow. There was a lot of people claiming them, and I couldn't keep up with that shit, man. They're going crazy. It was like chum in the water. I think it was me and Max and one other person, or two other people. Okay, Tony's saying that yeah, it was it was Max and Parker and Sterling and you. I know you would know if you bought from him. So okay, so yes. we'll uh, we'll go ahead and make this happen. Uh, let me. I'm gonna move my little dude down here and swap it out with J Blitz so that people can see. If you look down at the bottom corner, what just happened? Oh, the wheel went away. <laughs> Yeah, if you look down at the bottom corner, you can see where my little hickey do is down there. Yeah. Just to find everybody. This is the book. Uh, this is what's going to be given away is the Moon Knight Marvel Legends toy. So that's what we're spinning the wheel for right now. Looks like we got 24 people in the chat right now. Shout out to 24 people hanging out with us on the late, late. So I'm going to shuffle this thing six times and spin it once. And whoever it falls on, you are the winner. Undisputable, undeniable. If you don't win, I'm sorry. Here we go. Six times. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Spin it once. And let's see what happens. Everybody can see this, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I would hate to spin it and be like, wait, there's nothing happening. Ooh, oh, yeah, it went past you, Max. Yeah. If that lands on Parker, you're not getting it. Because <laughs> I can't fit it in your box. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's going to go to Mr. Taz. Yeah. Congratulations, Mr. Taz. Hopefully you're here, because if you're not, whoever bought sold stuff to mr taz is gonna have to give me their info uh -huh. oh, <laughs> it is rigged it's totally rigged it was it should have landed on my name all right so that is that for that one the next giveaway is for the Sabrina, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, number one. And I got to make a new wheel for it. There's Taz. Oh, there's Mr. Taz right there. Okay, cool. Mr. Taz, if you can hit me up on Instagram so I can get all your shipping info. And I will get that out to you as soon as I am physically able. Uh, let me close that out. I got to take all this off because it's easier just to do it that way. So I have Cameron with one spot because he bought $50 worth of books or more from me. I got Shelby with one spot. I got Tim Martinez with one spot.
We got what the deuce with one spot. I got Weapon X with one spot. I got Max with one spot. I don't think anybody had more than one spot. Anybody spend a hundred dollars or more? I only had one person spend, you know, that one person spend fifty dollars with me, and uh, nobody else named anybody that had it more than once for them. So, and then T Pain. Just one spot. He spent over fifty dollars with Gamer. Yeah, Tim Martinez. He spent a hundred dollars from with me, hundred twenty-five. Okay. Yeah, it's only it's fifty dollars. Like so, yeah. So he gets one oh, okay. spot. Yeah, it's not it per fifty dollars. Yeah. Oh. Smoky. Smokey said he paid spent fifty bucks with Mo. What did you buy, Smokey? I just can't remember. That sounds about right. Let's see. <laughs> It's so impossible for me to tell exactly where it's at. Let's see. There's Mo. What's Mo doing? Alpha Flight Gambit Book. Okay, Wait, I remember, I remember that, that going up. I should be on there. Who did you buy fifty dollars worth of books from? Gamers. Gamers didn't say that you did. What did you buy from him? Um, the She Hulk exclusive for thirty, and then the Venom three fourth print for fifty, for sixty, or whatever the hell that was. So like, um, it's like eighty total. Shit! Why did it just I do that? I haven't paid for it yet, but. And I don't know if I sold 50 to anyone. Um, let me triple check. Oh, I think 30 was my high. I think I had a couple $30 sales. I don't remember having anything for what you did, so you would have to pay something. So if I already had books for you, then yeah, I'll wow. just... Parker, what did you mean? What is, what is it doing? Take you back in that zone. I didn't know. You're leaving. What's happening? I'm just watching where Mike sold that. The, uh, oh. Freaking Alpha Flight and the X Men Annual. Oh, Tricky's saying Shelby. I put Shelby on. Oh, yeah. yeah, Shelby's on there. And I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming out without you guys. None of this would be possible. Does it include shipping? No, it don't include shipping. In the group and everyone. Just how much you spent on the books. Hey. Again. I still have blitz boxes left. <laughs> Get in. Get a blitz box full of greatness. And 25 ship. 25 goes to charity and get on the wheel. By the way, uh, another quick thank you to Tim Martinez. He brought up. We bought a box the other day that uh, other allowed us to re auction it for, shit, for charity. Hey, we got Smokey coming in at 45, so we're going to have to do some Smokey in there. So, what are we bidding on? Is that an Alpha Flight Canadian variant? Shelby cracked me up. <laughs> so, it's just the normal, that's just the normal Alpha Flight one. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't know what the Canadian brand would be. Uh, yeah. I know it's a dollar right here. Okay. Yeah, I need a dollar twenty-five or something. Uh, I mean, I got the other book. Never mind. No, carry on. Thank you for your Christmas show. Are you playing the piano? <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> Nemo is throwing up fire tonight, man. I wanted to keep up. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> so it's just 
recording on my piano. So that is the time for what to do. Gonna battle out of the smokey and smokey's gonna pick these up for fifty dollars. There you go. Bye, All right, so we need to put smokey on there. I just couldn't remember, and it's late, so I know Mo's not gonna write me back. Where am I at here? Turn that shit down. All right, so I don't think there's anybody else to add. Does anybody else know of anybody else? Tell me now. I'll take that as a big fat no. So there's still 24 people, so I'll shuffle these names. Should I double them up or should I leave them the way they are? You can double them. It's fun. Double trouble. And now I'm not going to shuffle it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. No, shuffle. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, if I shuffle them, it mixes the names up. Oh, so I, just, I, just meant 50. I didn't mean to spin it, so we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen because I was supposed to make the thing big. No, it, than mine. And have you played the lottery yet? Crap. My headphones fell. <laughs> oh, you're going to keep forgetting that luck's going to run out. So, yeah, that's the book that we're going to be uh, giving away. Oh, that's a good book. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's book. Just, you know, what? Now, how did I make this thing big before? The same way you make yourself big, but you do it on the that screen. Now there was something. Uh, I can't. I can't figure it out. Ah, oh, fuck it. Who cares, right? Okay. Let me go back over here and put that back up there, like it was. Whoa, that's not how it was. <laughs> Hello. I'm All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel. Whoever it falls on, you will be the winner of the Peace Bomb Blitz. Peace Bomb Blitz. Peace Bomb Blitz. Number one. You're not even on the list. Oh, damn. There's a lot more people on there than I realized, though. Look at how many people are on there. Well, that's because you doubled it up, Bing Dong. <laughs> All right, I'm spinning it. Congratulations to the winner. <laughs> See, I just clicked it Come off on. of it like I did last time, and it didn't do it. I don't understand. Congratulations to whoever wins face because there's going to be excitement in it. Oh, who's it going to be? I'm calling it. It's going to be either Max or T-Pain. That's my guess. Is it going to make it to Max? Oh, my God. You guys saw it. Nolan Ryan. <laughs> it's so close. Ah. Oh, it's Max. It's Max. Wow. <laughs> Max is the luckiest person Yay. I know. Oh, and Ryan for the win. Dude, the I had to run over to a different stream because I won something and I didn't know. <laughs> and I know. We were like, hey, Max, go do that. Well, congratulations, Max. You get the slabby Highly slab. Sucked. You think that sucks? That's a jerky thing. The highly, sus highly suspect. You don't even collect slabs. No, I can care less. I'm just trying to be fun for the chat. Goodness gracious. That's, that's not fun. You're so negative, Peter. Rigged. It's only rigged okay, if you don't win, not... Louie. No, I'm not happy. Right, hey, uh, Tim Martinez, did you want to open up your box live or you want to save it? Oh, yeah. Do you want to see it? You want to see it? I opened mine live and it was exhilarating. Oh, yeah. He said it. Yes. I didn't see his. Uh... I'm just going to grab random from the middle, but because uh, I kind of moved them so they're not. Wait, so what did you win over there, Max? Yeah, what did you win? On Thunderstruck. I was I was nervous and flustered, but it was Captain America. Right? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I was nervous and flustered. Oh, yeah, it was just Captain America. Oh, and you know what? You know so, what? 
Is Chris Evans coming to live with you now or something? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I won't get any more Titan jokes. <laughs> All right, what is it? An outfit for Titan to wear. That's probably what it is. A shield and I, a little hood. I offered to buy him the undies from the interview. From the interview with Sebastian. I was like, oh, there's your Christmas present. Mistletoe <laughs> undies. Oh, Smokey said the first Sam Wilson is Cap. Is that the one? Mm hmm. That's oh, there you go. That's cool. Oh, look. I'm even going to do the drop, even though it's not during our auction. Ooh, you get to pull a thingy out of the box. You get but to pull was, he was like, out of like, the box and pull, pull something out. out of the box. He was cool. Like, like I said, he was cool the other day. He bought a box and. Uh, he let us auction it, and then all the money is going towards the charity that I'm raising up, which I'm hoping to get $1,500 before the 15th because that's when I'm sending it all in. Right now, we are almost $700. And apparently, I thought I made 25 boxes, but I made 26. That was the booby box. I think Tom, Tim Martinez is a DC fan too, so he might like this. Got Doom Patrol 2036, the first appearance of Flex Montel, which is this character right here. So, first appearance plus cover appearance. Beautiful cover, too. This is a 9 8 candidate. We got Legion of Superheroes number 7, the 1 in 25. Then we got Batman 3 Jokers, number 3, the 1 in 25. Then we got Dark Knight's Death Metal, number 4, the 1 in 25. And the last piece, is, which is actually really cool, is a sketch cover by 36 Chambers. This is all sketched. Oh, nice. You know 36. Yeah. Wrote it on the back as well. Awesome, awesome cover of Bizarro. So that is your box, Tim. Yeah, see, I knew you were DC. I could not remember. Uh, I did remember at the same time. And we'll see what you get from the box. Uh, a lot of stuff has been taken out, so you still have a really good I have not pulled a single one of the slides yet. You just got one. Walking Dead, 9.8 Walking Dead, 115. Nice. Which is this slab right here. So congratulations. Not the best slab in the world, but it's a nice slab for free, right? 9.8. There you go. Winner. Any of y'all are interested, I still have uh, nah, 10 more. Because I, apparently I made 26, no, one more than I wanted to, but that's mm -hmm. all right. It just means one more lucky person. Thank you again, Tim. I really appreciate that. I will get all this out for you tomorrow. Along with the other stuff you've got. Oh, Barbarian. I'm coming. You good? You gotta get more uh, vegan jerky. Get off me. Vegan jerky is delicious. This is carne asada Isn't flavored. It just flavored. It's just flavored bark. No, bark is hard and beef jerky is delicious. Well, they marinate it. You're marinated. Parker left. Peace. Yeah, so we're done selling everything. Thanks to everybody for coming out to what the sale. You can't have Moon Knight unless you uh you gotta talk to uh who was it that one Moon Knight? 
Oh, somebody did win it already? I was probably Mr. Taz. You got to talk to Mr. Taz if you want to get his Moon Knight. Get right there. Mr. Taz, I just put my IG in the chat so you can get a hold of me. So I can get all your info. Make the make it do. Got to make it do what it do. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, just, we're probably just going to sit around and hang out for a while now. If uh, anybody feels like hanging out, I'll drop a link in the chat. But the sale's over, so I'm going to end it. First, I'm going to drop a link in the chat for anybody that feels like hanging out. But we will uh, – wait, why did I say paste? No, I don't want to put people's names in the chat. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. <laughs> I kill me. I slay me. There. So there's the chat. Are we hanging out live or are we hanging out? No, we'll hang out backstage. We don't need to be oh, on. I'm going to brush my teeth. People have seen all of this. They've seen all this. They've seen all this. They don't I need do to. A quick shout out. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll go around. Everybody can say something. Yeah. And, uh, and then everybody can hang out backstage if they feel like it. Yo, guys, if you haven't already, if you didn't watch our interview uh, yesterday on my channel, go check it out. It was with Sebastian Jones, the creator of Night Obi. Um, the Untamed series and a bunch of other great books. Um, go check it out. Uh, it was really good. We went live for three hours with him, which was a lot longer than we were expecting. But if you wa if you do watch it all, you you'll be entertained the whole time, I think. Um, also, if you guys get a chance, he gave us a special promo code on his store website for his comics uh, called StrangerComics.com. If you go in there and you buy anything from them, use the promo code Key Unit. K-E-Y-U-N-I-T at checkout and you will get 10% off plus a free variant on each of your uh, purchases. So, uh, and there's no limit. I mean, just don't over abuse it, of course, because, you know, uh, he's like, keep it up there for a while. And also check out his Kickstarter for ruining Christmas. It's going to be awesome. And the key unit's actually going to be getting their own exclusive for that. Nice. Okay, I want to test the theory here real quick. Stay still. You ready? <laughs> it worked perfect. I should have done that so many times today. <laughs> well, you got to do it. Wait, do it again? No, nah, see, it's not working. You know why? Uh-uh, why? It's, block it's blocking Betty White. Oh, well, I can't change that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that. Betty White. Yeah, and y'all, if y'all don't already sub up to Jay Blitz, go sub up to his channel. They do bingo yeah. over there. Bingo's so fun. Sunday nights, right? Sunday Barbara, night, bingo night. Uh, we, we're just, we kind of been throwing it in here and there on Monday nights, Wednesday nights, you know. If we feel like the auction, regular auctions aren't playing well that night, you know, people want to play bingo, we'll play bingo. It's a little more fun and a good way to still get books. I mean, why play? why pay GPA when you can – Pay, play bingo yeah when you can pay ten dollars and win a book it's like yeah. playing uh it's it's like doing one of these freaking raffle things only like you have fun doing it it's yeah, interactive exactly. and you it's have fun really and you have a better chance anymore. i feel like most of the time it costs less so yeah. it's fun and it's it brings the community together as a whole it unites us like voltron i agree all right so we'll see uh what parker's doing Oh, he's a uh, couch. Hi, couch. Okay, good, good talk, Parker. Wait, I, I understand what needs to happen here. So, Mr. Gorell, you got anything you'd like to say before we take off tonight? Oh, yes, I would like to say a lot. <laughs> but well, I don't like say anything at all because I'm cool like that. Tune into the Hunter really, on Monday. I really wish Parker would stop poking me in the back of the head with his fingers. <laughs> It's not that much. Whoa, hey, where I just bit. Oh, I'm back again. <laughs> ah! Ah! I love it. You guys want a unicorn? That was my impression of how Mr. Gorell sounds in my head. <laughs> now it's Sean Connery or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm Mr. Gorell. <laughs> if you'd watch the show, you're not I'm that far off. You're, I give that like I a know, seven. At first, I was like, whoa. 
Wow. <laughs> it doesn't sound anything like him. It doesn't sound anything like him. <laughs> More like Mr. But, McGrew. <laughs> but, but if you if you never heard his voice and you were like Mr. Gorilla, this is what he would sound like. Hello? Let me know. That's a little bit right. I hate you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Well, that was a good show. We're going to hit nine hours probably. Well, probably not. Nine because... hours. Not oh, good. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Thanks to all the people who rolled through, left the thumb, whether it was up or down, whatever. We finally got that slab out of here. Um, thanks to everybody who bought, who bid, who just sat back and watched. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, cool. Go sub up everybody in the chat, including myself. I just dropped a link. Um, oh, I make yeah. haul videos. And then every, pretty much every other Monday and Friday. I do a live sale on my channel. Um, Mondays depends on what Barbarian's doing, but it's usually Fridays. Uh, me and Gamers Land are doing a Friday show from here out. And we're going to alternate channels. Um, so check me out there. Give me a follow. I also post haul videos every week, typically. Uh, and yeah, otherwise, thanks. That was a good show. I had fun hanging out with y'all. And cheers. Yeah, what's up, Bob World? Thanks for coming out, man. I hope you're doing good today, brother. Yep, thanks for coming out, Parker. Selling book. You did good tonight. I'm proud of you. You stick you stuck it out. You were there almost Woo! the entire time. Till the end. Let's see, uh so Keith, you got something you want to say before we leave? Not really. I just enjoyed coming on. Uh, you know, finally, you know, put hopefully people can see the people who are bidding. It's interesting because a lot of times it's kind of an anonymous rivalry you have with people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got a I'm lot saying. of slides behind you. Now people are gonna be intimidated and be like, I ain't fucking with that dude, man. I see some good books back <laughs> there too. Mm. A lot of people think I'm a guy. And then they're like, oh or at least I think what I see. <laughs> oh, I see something's killing the children. Yeah, I got I got a couple of those. I got some more at CGC right now too. So nice. You have cool. to do a room tour for us once we close down. Yeah, we don't want to show everybody. You don't need the world knowing what you got. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Too many of these folks got your address. You don't need that. Keith, hey, Keith, I know where you live. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's see what Max is up to. I turned off the music just so we could listen. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do the grill face. Do it. Oh. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I changed the thing. So I couldn't get to it fast enough. Ah. Yeah. Mr. Gorell's got a ponytail. <laughs> lost a lot of weight there, Grab. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> well, hey, don't match your body, sir. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why did we come back and your face looked evil? Like you were straight up coming out of the exorcist just now. That, yeah, that needed a screen, screenshot that, I hope. Go back. Hurry up. Do it now. <laughs> I had to get Wait, this is live. We can do it later. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nearly as scary as that is. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> it's hideous. <laughs> what a deformity. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, Joey's asking for a duet. I was about to play Max's theme music, but I don't want to give it away. Let everybody know what I'm up against. I want to win this giveaway. I can already tell you you have it. I tried so <laughs> No, you'll get the outro, bro. Whatever. Yeah, just what I want to be. I want to be. I want to be on the losing end, literally. It's, it's not rigged. Whatever. Oh, it's Keith, on... left, man, you didn't have to leave, Keith. We're about to shut this show down and hang out and really talk yeah, trash. Yeah, the after party. Mr. Gorell, what's up, man? Oh, you're here. You got to see the awesomeness. Bam, ba bam, bam. <laughs> bam, ba bam, bam. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? <laughs> so shout out to everybody. Thanks for coming out to the show. Thanks for Mr. Gorell showing up here. Hold on. I got to do it for me too. 
I gotta get closer. No, you don't. Oh yeah, you did. Hey, this is what Mr. Garrell would look like if he had a beard. Well, you can't. That's see what it. he would look like with a beard. Here, we gotta move that. It still can't see it. I don't know why. Even oh, when you hear it, I still want to sound like this. <laughs> it's not what it sounds, it sounds like, like a at bang. all. <laughs> I know it's not what it yeah, sounds like. Yeah, doing I know it's not what he sounds movie. like. But if anybody in the chat had never heard him talk before, and they just thought Mr. Garrell. They would think, you know, you kind of imagine a voice. You Mr. had it a lot Garrett. earlier when you first did it. I was like, whoa. Oh, yeah, it's your earring. Yeah, so uh, look for us here every Tuesday for sure. Mondays, if my wife works nights, then I'll do a show on Mondays doing just buy it now stuff like I did today. But every Tuesday is the sale, the Symbiote Comic Book Club Tuesday night auction and sale. Because there's stuff for sale in auction. Um, Barb, I like your haircut. Thank you. You got a haircut. Yeah. Yeah, it's all shaved off. Uh, I don't. I only look scraggly up here now, so it's all good. Um, go, uh, yeah. Follow everybody that's on the Jeez. panel. Everybody that was on the panel, you know, go find their channels and, and sub them up. Go check out the stuff they're doing. Other people sell, like Parker said, he sells. Jay Blitz sell stuff. I'm doing my hands like this, like I'm really touching them, but I'm not. Um, and go sub them up, and there's all kinds of people out here. I don't sub consider it selling or trade for me. Plenty of people Stop. out there to, to fill your comic book needs. So hit them up. And, uh, you heard me, I, Barbarian? What's that? I don't sell. I just trade for money. Okay. Trade <laughs> for money. <laughs> kind of me off there. Trade Thank you. Trade for money. He trades old paper for digital paper. For digital paper. Pretty much. Till next time, y'all. Take it easy. Enough said.